Hi everyone! Oh my god! Welcome to a podcast. Guess we'll save this relationship. I'm Sarah. She her. I'm Josh. She him. And welcome to the second take of this episode. Whoa! Uh, well, today we talked about. It was a little bit more um, cohesive this time. It was. We talked about the plagiarism video by H Bomber guy. We talked about GTA Six. We did our finale the to finale. Uh, One Direction's Wolf Fan Fiction. Yeah. And we had a little bit of a collab with John from OKOP. Yep. And we went on the OKOP show with Sam and John as well. Which will be linked down in the description. Yes. And we also did more stories after that with just the both of us. Yep. Because and I don't want John to spend five hours doing a podcast. And <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently this one's going to be very long, which is really fun. We've recorded with John for like an hour and this podcast is currently at almost four hours so and uh we recorded last night it was the same thing and josh was out of focus the whole time so right now it's we're gonna try and get this out on time so don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the gosh darn bell raise five stars on apple and spotify podcast mm -hmm. check us out on patreon buy me a coffee at those websites for slash abwsdr check out straver coffee links to help palestine are down in the description nice enjoy the rest of the show because I hope i'm rushing good. through this because i gotta edit right after this Yay! so bye bye God bless. God bless. God bless. Yeah, this time we actually remembered to do pivotal things to make the podcast run. Welcome to Sunday, the Sunday show. Welcome to the Sunday show. <laughs> okay, so, so Josh, what the fuck happens? Why am I here two days in a row working, doing the same thing twice, <laughs> twice in a row? <laughs> Because I'm an idiot. Okay, so <laughs> we're, we're both idiots. We're both idiots. We it both fucked up. Us, so yeah. okay, yesterday, yesterday was Saturday. We we usually record on Saturdays, and we did. Yeah, we did unhinged. Mm -hmm. We did the podcast. Yeah. Um, and then I uploaded all the footage, and I forgot that between unhinged and the uh, the regular podcast, you you we initially planned to stop and break. have lunch, but yeah. it was already late, and I was like, I don't need. To have, well, I'll just skip lunch and I'll, yeah. I'll do. I have a bad habit of skipping meals, and I was just like, I'm here. You want to do queer, it? And I, and I was I'm like, ready to go. And I was like, yeah, it is six. I don't want to be here past like eleven. Yeah, I still have a bunch of shit I got to do tonight. So right, I was like, all right, fuck it. But during that process, because I thought I was gonna upload the. <laughs> Go unhinged you, footage you do it you do it you i got turned it. off the camera for yeah. mine specifically i don't think i turned off yours you didn't i turned off mine and i grabbed it and i started taking the sd card out that's when you asked if you wanted to do it and i thought for a second i was like yeah fuck this and i put the camera back on turned it on turned it on i didn't ask you to refocus because i was like and we I, just we focused it for unhinged it was fine right i completely forgot yeah and <laughs> <laughs> we do this whole recording i upload it and, yeah. I, and i i don't even look at the footage which i was because i saw the first frame of it and i was like oh yeah it's out of focus because she would focus me later make all the proxies i oh, you did? Oh, i made no. all the proxies for this that's and sucks. i think it was like i think it came out to like three and a half hours yeah it was which, an entirely too long podcast and also we so as we probably said in the intro we did the collab with john that was yeah. another hour yeah so this would have been four and a half hours of editing i would have to have done at least and it, w it just would have been terrible yeah also it, like we were very disorganized <laughs> yeah so it was yeah i think coming back with the i mean Oh, and when we recorded Unhinged the first time, I forgot to hit the record audio button. Yeah, that was great. So we had to redo that as well. But I noticed that at least the day of. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so, only like a couple of sentences, too. It wasn't yeah, too bad. Yeah, it wasn't that far. It was like maybe eight minutes total. But yeah. like we recorded the whole thing. I made the proxies. I came back. I was like, all right, I'm going to sync up the footage. Mm -hmm. And I started looking around the timeline. I realize I'm out of focus the whole time. Yeah. And it, I wouldn't be upset with it if it wasn't like if it was a little blurry, I'd be like, I could maybe get away with this. Yeah. It was the, the most blurry and the most blurry. Yeah. Like even the background was blurry. You couldn't <laughs> read any of this text like like it was just fucked. And so I, I just, I just like, I was like, I, I just went to Sarah like, I, what, I don't know. Oh, yeah, what to you do. were so upset looking. You were like was, catatonic almost. And then you were like, let's just do it again tomorrow. Because <laughs> you were like, uh, you know, I, our Reddit stories were old because I got sick last week. So we, and I didn't look for new stories, which we're lazy. Apparently, was a good idea at the time because we it took me an hour to find three stories today. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so I, but yeah, so I was like, all right, we'll do new stories. So that way those are at least fresh. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll do everything again, at least. Cause I think there's also stuff that we didn't say about the stuff we wanted to talk about. Yeah. I feel like it got too political, weirdly enough, like just about everything. And yeah. afterwards, I didn't really feel good about the recording either. Yeah. So it kind so. of was, it kind of worked out for the best. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're here now. Yeah. We, we have the same game plan. <laughs> We practiced yesterday. Yeah. I mean, maybe at some point I'll go through and edit it and maybe mm. put the audio up on uh, a Patreon or something, but I don't think it'll ever go out to the public. Yeah. I don't think we said anything like bad yesterday. No. I think it was just, it was very like... Immediately, it's like sometimes I record something and I'll say something to be funny or whatever, and then I'll leave and I'll just think like, I don't fucking agree with that. <laughs> Why did I say that? Yeah, and I, I, I think there's a lot of like tangents from both of us that yeah. kind of went on a little too long yeah for and sure it was definitely like and also uh, there was a specific thing i'm not gonna uh, uh it was like we did something during the ad read that yeah. we brought up again after for, the, during reddit which is more complicated because we had to put the collab, the collab with john first, so then it would have been an hour of the collab and then we would have brought it back up gone back it would it was um and if you are on patreon or somewhere you where would have missed that context from the ad so it wouldn't have made any damn sense. like that big of a deal maybe it's like one thing but we went on it for like maybe 30 minutes like a long fucking time and we didn't need to honestly we didn't but i mean so yeah now we're here we're gonna give you the abridged you version, the abridged version of, of what everything. we said yesterday, and probably more stuff. More stuff that's yeah. more on topic. Yeah. yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta burn down a ship and like a phoenix. The funniest thing was ship phoenix. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, just, I didn't even <laughs> register we were fucking saying. I said, I said you gotta burn down the ship and then like a phoenix, and then I realized I'm mixing metaphors, so I combined them. <laughs> ship phoenix i'm always thinking about the next thing to say and i hate it because then i'll watch these back and i'll be like damn like, josh said something gold right there i'm like ai i'm just one word at a time <laughs> i'm just going <laughs> off of what i've said i am no different from chat gpt that's so funny <laughs> no but no fucking um <laughs> but yeah so no. okay we okay so uh, not even a bridge because they're probably a, i want to start off also better order of things i think I want to talk about the H Bomber guy video first. Yeah, let's go. Let's start with that. I really enjoyed that video. For those mm-hmm. of you who didn't watch, uh, I know apparently people on Twitter were still like saying, "Oh, it's four hours. I can't watch. Oh, it. I can't watch. I don't have four hours." And I'm like, "Yeah, fair. You can pause it. You can pause it and come back." Yeah, I did. I did see H Bomber guy's tweet. I'm not on Twitter anymore. Yeah, we've are we, are we both officially said fuck it and we're just on blue sky now and that's where we're gonna I am be. for yeah. sure. I think I might stay on Twitter like intermittently because I'm very like. I go on it once a day and I scroll for two seconds and I'm like, yeah, fuck this. And then I get off. I checked it last night because I was like, I wonder, I hopefully, because I didn't really say like, I'm leaving Twitter in a dramatic, because I hate when people say that. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I hope I no one DM'd me or anything. So I went in I to think, check. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm going to keep it open for is like DMs. Yeah. I'm not. Don't DM me on Twitter. <laughs> I will not go back. Um, it, Because I went back last night and it sucked. Compared it to like, just have sucked. you like, have you like full steam ahead, blue sky? Like, I mean, yeah, blue sky is fine. Um, let me do my tent, my little yeah, thing that I want to do about yeah. blue sky. I left X not because of anything to do. Um, like, speci- I, that, X was where I'm not fucking calling it X, Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter was where I was getting a lot of my information about Palestine. And um, because I followed a lot of um, Palestine uh, people on the ground in Gaza, basically. Yeah. And um, so I followed them and I would get like information from them. And I actually will miss it, like getting it from the source. Yeah. Um, But also I can just follow them on Instagram because they're also posting on Instagram. That is fair. I get that. And I the issue that I have with uh, Twitter is just the blue check fascists, man. Yeah. Like the um, the fact that they they're prioritized always to the top. And I like hates it's just a hateful crap. Yeah. Like I follow this guy. I unfortunately don't remember his name, but um, he was just posting about whether or not he was alive. Still. Yeah. And the comments were all be like, well, I hope you're not tomorrow. Like, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. I paid $8 to say this. Because they like, think every person in Gaza is Hamas. Yeah, and that's not what that is. Or you they're just racist. Or they're racist, yeah. Or it, it just awful, Islamophobic. Yeah. Terrible and, people. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, it's really... I just, I can't read... 
I don't know how that guy posts on there and every still, day is incredibly brave because yeah. holy shit. But I just can't. I just can't be looking at it. I can't be seeing these fucking conversations yeah. of just idiot fascists being like 4chan posters and trying to lol cow regular ass people on the street. Yeah. If I'm walking around on the street and someone comes up to me and is like, oh, yeah, I'm going to poke you until you blow up at me. And then I finally blow up at them and then they're like, ha ha, you did it. Uh, you're an idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah. I would never go outside. Ever again. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm still posting about Palestine. I'm mostly switched over to TikTok, which is really fun because I get to see like my reach. Yeah. Where it's like uh, when you repost stuff, you can see how many people have reposted that. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I'm getting more people see that anyway even though i have a technically a smaller following on tiktok yeah. than i did on twitter but yeah i think i just am like i can't fucking deal with seeing uh not even just about palestine but just like american fascists american liberals fucking talking about vote blue no matter who pisses me damn off no yeah i can understand that. which honestly there's a lot of that on blue sky too there's a lot of liberal I say, posting i you're i not a fan but nah, yeah the block feature on blue sky is better i will say, yeah so, also it works yeah fucking, I, I use it a lot so uh, fucking um the uh what's it called i will say uh, picking alternatives i looked at threads for like a second today first thing i see is from potus and it's just uh, i'm a capitalist yeah he I think companies that. can fucking do whatever they want but not on the working class and seniors and yeah. i'm like that's what capitalism is you fucking i want it and that's what they said on blue sky yeah, I saw really. that, yeah, that's they. That's all they do is they screenshot X, Twitter and X, yeah, and then they post it on Blue Sky and, and say what I think in my head when yeah. I read those tweets. So. That's fair, yeah. I will say thank yeah. God for TikTok for being even remotely like, yeah, better. You know, I honestly, yeah, TikTok is kind of where it's at, man. Like, I, I just, I don't know. Except for the people stealing our content, but that's beyond the point. Yeah, fuck those Strangle hands coming out. But anyway, I want to. I want a message. Uh, I want to send out a message to one specific person, and that is my brother Michael. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is. I you talked about this yesterday, and I think yeah. Let's get it. Let's this, get a. Let me get a concise little message out here. This is for my brother. I'm Michael. not gonna edit this in, but I'm gonna uh, just, just in just, case. Uh, guys, close your eyes when you're listening to this, and just imagine. Imagine the phrase. Uh, this is for Michael, Sarah's sister only. Please do not watch if you Sarah's are not brother Michael, Sarah's brother. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, the this right. is for my brother, Michael. Um, he, my brother, Michael, is married to his wife, um, Anna, who I have known in the past. I knew her before. They even fucking got engaged, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah. Um, for years. And I was not invited. To their wedding, yeah. To their wedding. So I'm being extremely petty as I sit here sadly uh, in the Christmas season alone. <laughs> in the Merry state. Christmas. And the only thing I have to my name is uh, that I'm a part of an invite only social media website in which I get to see the innermost workings of my brother Michael's favorite author, John Scalzi. So fuck you, Michael. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, motherfucker. It is. It's really. John Scalzi and Neil Gaiman. But Neil Gaiman posts on Tumblr, so you could be on yeah, there, the, too. Yeah, asterisk, yeah. Yeah, but John Scalzi. I don't know where else he has social media. He's probably posting everywhere, honestly. Yeah, I see that guy's opinion about everything. Yeah. He's the, the top guy. I will say, that's that's the one thing about Blue Sky that I do enjoy, is that, like, it seems it seems a little more personable, mm. just because it is invite-only, and it's it seems like a smaller, like... there's It's very small. Isn't it, like... It, I don't, has it hit a million people? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't even know. know. It probably has, but I know on like I think when I downloaded it on play like a few months ago, I don't think it passed like five hundred thousand, or it was at five hundred thousand plus is what it was at. So I wonder. Honestly, I, I mean, yeah, I just do the discover tab. That's all I ever do. I don't have enough mutuals to see the popular with friends tab yet. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't think I have that many mutuals either. Yeah, I, I've only just started recently to get back into it. Like, yeah, yeah. But damn. But yeah. the Discover tab, it's like I can only I only see like refreshed tweets or posts or yeats or whatever they're fucking called. <laughs> um at like two or three times a day. Like if I go back if I try to scroll as much as I did on Twitter, mm. it's the same posts I've seen all day, basically. 
So it's kind of like, um, I was thinking about this right beforehand. I was like, it's kind of like when you're addicted to something and then you have to like, like when my grandma was addicted to cigarettes mm. and she tried to go off them in her old age, she would just eat carrots like they're cigarettes because she needed the- The motion, the like motion. the feeling, yeah. That's what Blue Sky is to my Twitter addiction, I guess. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. Yeah. Damn. I feel that. I feel that. It definitely is. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to maybe get more active there, I think, just because- yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, damn. Yeah. But yeah, okay. H-Bomber guy. H-Bomber guy, yeah. Uh, fucking, he did a video on plagiarism, like, however many fucking, like, I think it was two weeks, I think. It's already it was a 10 little million, bit ago, It was yeah. 10 million views. I, I was looking at it today. Yeah. Apparently, it was demonetized for a little bit. Really? Of course, yeah. yeah. And then you, you, oh God, we, I think we talked about this yesterday, because uh, fucking YouTube is always weird about monetization. Like, our Star Kids video got demonetized for a little bit. For, or, well, limited. Yeah, but that's the that's the monetization. Basically. It had the yellow mark, yeah. Yeah, and then we had to. Uh, <laughs> I appealed it, and like, yeah, of course, like when all this happens, mm -hmm. it was fine. Even after someone looked at it, and they gave us no reason this time. Yeah, literally, it didn't. There was Zero no reason. reason. Why. It, it just said like automated systems sometimes are you know like we're gonna it automatically check. So it was automatic. Like it was an automatic like uh, marking. Check. Yeah. So it was weird, but okay, but yeah, fucking um. Uh, I wanted to talk about it a little bit just because I think it's a very important video and I do want to recommend if you haven't watched it yet to watch Absolutely, it. I know it's definitely. four hours long, but... It, it, but there are chapters... That was the tweet that H-Bomber guy said that I was talking about earlier and then went on my tangent about uh, X. Um, someone was like, how do you guys watch a four-hour video? Like, don't you have to go to work or something? <laughs> and uh, H-Bomber guy responded to someone, I think, donkey on that tweet. And uh, he was like, yeah, it's almost like there's, uh, I, I w if only there were chapters specifically put in. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing too, right? Where it's, it's like, like yeah, I it's mean, true. someone who makes a three hour long show every week. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the thing people need, you know, is the chapters. Yeah. And also most people just skip to the red segment, which is fine. Yeah, it's fine. But like fucking, yeah, like, yeah, I'm well aware that most people can stop go back to it whenever they need to, you know? Yeah. And also, uh, I think, uh, I don't know if this is, like, for regular users, but I know if you have, like, YouTube Premium, they, mm -hmm. um, th it'll save wherever you are in your video, no matter what. Oh, it doesn't do that normally? I don't know. I think it might. If it doesn't like do that no normally, that's dumb. That is kind of dumb. It's kind of weird that's behind a paywall. Yeah, what the hell? But, yeah, no, so, like, I don't know, but I want to talk about because I think it's an important video. I okay. think it's a, uh... I know you had thoughts about it. I know you talked about it on Thusbook, Zarathustra. I, I missed yeah, that, though. It's kind of my own take on it, and I agree with everything Age Bomber Guy is talking about. Yeah. I just think I put more of the blame on YouTube for incentivizing shitty content. Yeah, 100%, where it's like... But it's the, like a as well. It's not like a yes, but. It's a as well as yeah, uh, whatever Age Bomber Guy You have two uh, opinions simultaneously, yeah. 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 I will say it's a, a yeah, it was H. Bomber guy kind of going against the, I guess uh, he did like a moralistic kind of argument almost, or? Yeah, absolutely. But also like, like backed up by, like ethically, yeah. yeah. And uh, with also like the most like cut and dry, like here's this, here's this, like so much factual evidence. Yeah. And looking at that, and then like, I think it's very easy to, after that, be like, yeah, YouTube is also a problem here because, mm -hmm. uh, and I think there was a part in the video that was about specifically content mills where you just kind of pump out content over and over, especially, yeah. uh, I think in regards to uh, Illuminati, who apparently is still, still, still posting, posting videos. Comments are off, though. And yeah, comments are off, which is yeah. the funniest thing ever. And also, like, I just hate, um, I've, and I've realized this since recording yesterday, I am just kind of over the tone of, this fucking happened, and then what? You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, think it's, everyone it's... is, is, like, even tweets, even posts, yeah, even on Blue Sky, I'm like, I'm not even interacting with this shit anymore. Hmm. Uh, I'm not if someone is posting like uh, this happened and then this happened and like he, it's the most unbelievable thing why are you talking to me like a clickbait fucking article yeah it's annoying it's, it's annoying very... as shit say what you want to say in a human way yeah unless this is an actual article where you're getting paid to do it yeah unless you're promoting your sub stack or your medium or your whatever <laughs> And yeah. this is just the title of your article. Then I understand. If you're just fucking trying to convey information to other human beings, 
Yeah, it should be. Just say just that. Say it. Yeah. Stop trying to weirdly manipulate my emotions. And if I already, especially I get pissed off if I already agree with you. If I already agree. Yeah. And also like, and it's weird too, because like in a lot of these cases where the plagiarism's happening, like you're just r- repeating verbatim other people's opinions. Which is also like then the pretentious ass like, and then the man in cave was the man in the cave and, or whatever. I've never seen that video. Can you tell? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The, the cave had a man in Whoa, it. Whoa, that man did sure did but have it's like a you cave don't give in a it. Shit. Yeah, I don't give a yeah. You don't know. You don't give a crap yeah, about it. Why should a- I give a crap about what you're saying? Like you're just using your tone to try and to yeah. sell me something that someone else did. If you think yeah, and you're like, if the the thought process is, oh, I can do this better. Yeah. Apparently, fucking not. No, because like, yeah, you're just like fucking yeah, just, a just waste of my time using like, my shit. And that's the that was the thing that really stuck with me through the H Bomber guy video was him saying like it's an innately disrespectful. Yes, yeah, to plagiarize someone like it's people say that like imitation is the highest form of flattery, but honestly, it's if you see someone else's video or work or content or article or whatever it is documentary, and you think. I could do this better. I could get a be- yeah. bigger reach. I'm larger than this person. I, I know could how do to it. market this to a bunch of other people and make a bunch of money off of it. Yeah, you're innately and dunking on them. Instead of being, and that's kind of like the weird thing. And I, I think I tried to make this point yesterday. I want to make it more concise today. Yeah. Where it's like art is a very, colla- it is a collaborative art, you know, experience. Yeah. You know, I think uh, art is not made in a vacuum. We, I think yeah. there's plenty of things that like we make referential jokes a lot. All the time. And Comedy is constantly referencing jokes, you and know. Evolve- Evolving and yeah, like, and I think the the real something that kind of pisses me off about that is like, okay, you read an article mm-hmm. and you think to yourself, I know how to market this to a bunch of other people. Why isn't your reaction to like reach Build out and try I to like be like, you know? Yeah, and I think the example that H Bomber gives specifically is that there was a forum post about like how do you steal a bunch of soda from a, a soda machine, and the answer is you put a cup and a hose to a backpack. And there's like two different YouTubers that did that, but they referenced that post as well as the one that did it later referenced the video as well. Because mm-hmm. I think that's good. I think yeah, that's a good way good. of doing it. If you like, you know, reference it and you actually link it. Yeah. And not in a paste bin <laughs> at the end. Yeah. Um, I will say there was one funny tweet by uh by Quentin that was like, to be oh, fair, yeah. it is baller to link to a pirate site. <laughs> I did. I thought that was and pretty part funny. Of me was like, yeah, that is funny. It's pretty baller. But also, like, if you're trying to be a video essayist, mm-hmm. maybe there should be a little bit and that's the thing that H bomber guy did that was very smart that someone on the r slash youtube drama subreddit was talking about um that people are conflating copyright infringement with plagiarism yeah and what H bomber guy was talking about was plagiarism not copyright infringement and for good reason copyright infringement is a crime yeah that has like legal ramifications yeah like there are actual literal things that can be copyright infringement and then there's fair use and then you have to get into that and it would be a long boring thing that a lot of youtubers have already thought about many times Yeah, not yeah or people watching youtube have already thought about if you've been there long enough but we're talking about very specifically plagiarism which is an ethical moral argument yeah against like it's not ethical it's unethical it's immoral to plagiarize someone else's work and present it as your own. Yes. And that's the argument. And it's just like, I don't know. It's so funny. It's so ironic that H bomber guy put out like an actual good essay. <laughs> that also doesn't like for despite it being four hours long is like every minute is useful. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. There's not really anything in there that is faff that needs to be cut out. Yeah. And I keep seeing people usually internet historic, internet historian fans yeah. say that a bunch needs to be cut out and this didn't need to be here whatever blah 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 and that will always happen anytime you put something on youtube is people that ne- have never created anything in their entire lives start nitpicking like, oh, like why'd you if do this? i did this i would do this and if i did that blah 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 why and are you like, mentioning the fact that you're using a, a framing device in the uh, in the second part of the first act of the <laughs> and just real quick uh if you're one of those people that does that uh, i want you to know that every person that's ever created anything uh knows that you were not creative <laughs> because but no you're right you no never you're do right, that though. yeah like you know there's a, <laughs> you there is a thought process that. yeah you know 
Like I, I, I enjoy like that. I was rewatching a little bit of it, uh, like probably like just a few first minutes of it, yeah. and like him doing like the snap to the from the green screen to the wallpaper. Yeah. If you just watch that, you'd be like, "Why the fuck do you do that?" And then later on, the reveal of you fuckers thought I wasn't in front of a <laughs> wallpaper. It's so good. Like, yeah. You know, there's not a, a I. A, it's it's a, a very yeah. entertaining. It's such a. Yeah, he <sighs> has a way of um showing, um, fuck. But talking about like every minute being worth something. Yeah. And yeah. then on our podcast where we no, th- consistently there's not, no, I'm well aware about. But also, I mean, that's the, the difference, right? Is like that's a very that's a well written video essay. This is a flow of consciousness, like a stream of consciousness. Yeah. Between two people. Yeah. And I think that's the that's another Quentin tweet that was like a Quentin reviews who I'm referring to right now. Yeah. Um, where it was like, um, he's happy that people call him like not a video essayist, but like a video, not like or uh, they treated him more like a podcast. Oh. Even though it's like, um, he does write out his stuff. Mm-hmm. I do think that it is. He does put a large like a level recap. of effort into his. Oh, videos. for sure, hundred percent. I know. I mean, yeah. I, I a lot of people were talking about how they have imposter syndrome when H Bomber guy p- drops a video, which is really funny because like he talks about that where it's like creative people, yeah, uh, because it's second nature and it's not like a physical like you don't see it happen. Yeah, uh, it seems like it's not like a real skill. And that actually, it kind of. Uh, I wish I. I had talked more about it with John in our collab because yeah. I was so shocked that uh, he said that he didn't start out as a talent, but he started out as a like a podcasting uh, producer. Yeah, even though he was a fan of podcasting for years and wanted to get into podcasting, mm-hmm. and I, you know, how I think about it, I was like, bro, in my mind, I'm like, bro, it's so easy, just fucking do it. But I forget what it was like before constantly putting yourself out there how scary it was oh yeah and it is very scary for sure yeah um but i think the beginning part where no one listens to you and you never really you might get a couple hate comments here or there but yeah. you don't have that many eyes on you to to actually like for it to bother you, <laughs> you know yeah what I right mean? yeah like and it might bother you but not in the same on, way yeah. hold on it'll get worse and then it'll get better but yeah. um but yeah i guess i, I forgot about that part before you just kind of start doing it. And also, I think John and Sam from the OKOP show yeah. are extremely good performers and very good yeah. presenters. Like I agree with that, yeah. So that's, uh, I don't know. I was just like, it's crazy to see another creator that you respect and have them be like, yeah, I was... I didn't, you know, I was afraid that I wasn't going to be good or that I get hate comments I, about not being good. And it's interesting because like, I crazy. totally feel that. I mean, I definitely like um, early on, like mm-hmm. when I was thinking of like, all right, I want to go to college, you know, like yeah. I was like, all right, I don't want to become a performer. I do want to become like a screenwriter. That's you know? what I did too. And you know, then I went like, into viola performance. Yeah. Because I was the only one. And I, I wanted to, the idea of like making videos, like I originally was like, all right, I want to make movies. I'll do screenwriting. Right. And then I started learning about the behind the scenes of the stuff, you know? Yeah. And then like, you know, we started doing this podcast and then I did a podcast with the film people. And even in that, on that film podcast, I was kind of taking a back seat. And yeah. Like you were like the, the, tech, the tech guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's, I, I, I definitely understand that because there is a fear of like presenting yourself. And I remember being like in middle school and high school and like, and I, like I, I was like a, a child actor in like community plays, like when I was like maybe before 10. Yeah. And that was always uh like that, that was like maybe the farthest I had gotten. And then I went into acting in middle school and then I hated it because I hated everyone in that class. <laughs> So I was like, oh, this shit sucks and no one understands me. I'm going to go behind the scenes now. <laughs> that is so valid. Like, I mean, that is really valid because I don't- also weird how many child actors I know. Yeah. Or people that acted as kids. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, like my friend Aaron was a Gerber baby. Mm. And he yeah. did like auditions as a kid and has these like experiences where he was supposed to cry on camera. Oh my god, it's so funny. Yeah, I dude I've never had to do that, thank God, because I would not have been able to. <laughs> he was a kid and his, you know, his mom was like, Oh, this is gonna be money. And then, you know <laughs> it's so sad now. Like mm. if it had worked and he would have gone into doing this like child acting thing. Oh yeah, he'd, like he'd the... be so supremely fucked up. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. So he kind of saved himself, but the director was like, Okay, we want you to, you know, cry, you know, blah blah blah. And uh, we're going to go, okay, three, two, one, let's see you cry. And then Aaron goes, boo-hoo, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo. 
And cut. Perfect. All right. He got it. His mom Thank was you. so pissed we'll, at him. We'll keep in she touch. She was like, you fuck that shit up. God damn it. Could have made me so much fucking money. I mean, you could have made so much money. <laughs> God, that's wild. It's but yeah, like so creative funny. skills, you know, like but I guess, yeah. yeah, the creative skills, like, you know, it's very, there is, I think, yeah. uh, imposter syndrome is such a thing. And I definitely like, I don't want to put it, like us on a pedestal or anything, because I'm no. kind of like, we just read Reddit stories, you know? Yeah. But I think we have some humor sometimes. Yeah, I think, well, I, I just can't believe that a lot of people don't think that humor is a skill. Yeah, no, I think it is a skill, and I think it's something you gotta practice. Yeah, like a lot of people think, oh, you're just funny or you're not, and that's just not true I don't think at that's all. true. No, I think every, that's kind of... Every single person you've ever thought is funny has been unfunny at one point in their life. Yeah. And honestly, a lot more than you would think. Yeah. Like, most of the time. It's not a, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know how to try to describe to this, like, innate sense, and I think I've talked about it a little bit, where I kind of I'm kind of in the middle of the idea of like it's like I don't think it's innate I think there's like things that happen to you when you're like a kid that might lean you towards one way or another you know of like what you're gonna be as an adult yeah I, get I think that. it's that it's the time old of like nature versus nurture you know yeah but I think there's it's uh, nature nature should take a backseat I think nurture is the main thing yeah because I think yeah I think you know if I wanted to learn how to like I don't know do woodworking you I'd probably do be able that. to figure that out, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm, and it just depends. Like, you know, you might be, you might not be fucking Van Gogh at fucking woodworking, you yeah. know? But even then, you're like, at least you did it. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. Actually, that was, you know, last night, like, coming out and saying that uh, you seem so upset that, you know, we didn't, we just did the whole podcast and we and weren't able to. it can't be shown to anyone, but also I'm like, it was I mean, fun. it was still fun, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, there was something yeah. funny of like, dude, we just did something that no one's ever gonna see. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, fucking like, epic. Fucking... That, and that's the thing. That's why I do the solo pod. Because I always, as a kid, I loved podcasting. Hmm. Um, and I had a kind of similar performing background where I was born into a family that all did like classical music performance. Mm. So like when I was a kid, I was like learning violin from my cousin who played violin all throughout high school and stuff. And her parents were trying to pressure her into going into music college and shit, which mm. is weird. Usually it's the opposite. Usually your, yeah, your kid you wants to go to music college. college. No, you're going, like, no, you're going to accounting college. You're going to accounting camp, <laughs> you know, where I crush the creativity out of you. It's yeah. the beginning of the owl house. Um, but fucking, <laughs> yeah, something like that. And like, you know, the, my other cousin plays guitar and, you know, my uncle is a classical trombonist and his wife is a choral you know, they work in churches and they do gigs all the time and they don't have yeah. a, cl a regular job. And my mom was in band and my brother was in band. And I, kind of, I think Chris was in, played the violin. I don't remember if he was in band or not. Mm. He was He was like, no, I'm the math guy, you know, as the rebellious. Yeah. The like, rebellious anti-art person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In, in the in the family yeah so i was like once i really started liking playing music it was like instead of a regular parent being like oh god how am i going to pay for this uh okay i guess just keep going to school i guess yeah. i guess that's what it is and no oh, shit now i gotta research this my family was very like this is what you have to do this is a mold fitting <laughs> in it must this goddamn mold <laughs> and um i was very nervous i always you know i took piano lessons my mm. first ever piano um uh recital i was playing um rudolph the red-nosed reindeer i think because it was for christmas mm. and i was playing it and it was going so well that people were singing and because it was going so well that like this entire audience of old people and their children were singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer yeah. with me, I stopped and I froze because I was like, what the fuck oh is going God, on? I'm too good at this. <laughs> I can't continue. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> I can't be this good. They want me to play viola? Right off the bat, I have to yeah. like come, Go on, you know. You ease in. And yeah. I still have that feeling. I feel like if this podcast started off where we got a million followers, I, on one day, I'd be like, it's done. We're done, yeah. We're done. We're uh, scrapping this. We're doing something else, I'm yeah. not going to continue and have it be a failure. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But yeah, so and I stopped, and then my teacher had to like come on stage and be like, okay, do the next part. 
oh my god <laughs> and then like every performance since then there's always been some sort of fuck up no i get that you yeah. know and there's a and i've just kind of gotten used to shit fucking up in a performance mm. you know what i mean i feel that which yeah. is learning how to perform is learning how to deal with fuck ups yeah yeah and kind of working with it and moving on and doing that whole thing and mm. you know and that that is a skill and learning to be like oh haha that's funny let's move on in a way that is constructive and not just like what a yeah, fucking idiot fucking suck. like fucking jimmy fallon or something you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you look yeah that's a it's a skill oh yeah for sure i agree with that you know yeah i think that's the crazy part and it's like i don't know it definitely seems like a lot of people who didn't really have instead of going that route like the route of like oh i see other people with a skill that i recognize and i want but i don't have yeah yoink you know well i was scared i was scared Hmm. to do it. i always thought i could never do it Hmm. and i don't know why i just had this innate I mean, I was abused, so that was probably part of it. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I just had this innate feeling of like I can't be good at it, mm. even if I was good. I was like, that can't be how it is. <laughs> <You're> right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know why, but yeah, I just never, and I never thought I could do a podcast by myself. Mm. So when I started podcasting, I was like, let's put as many people as we can into the podcast because I don't know what I'm going to talk I, yeah, about. Yeah, I feel that. And then you know, oh, I guess I'll do a two person podcast. Everyone was like, whoa. You think you're hot shit? Thing in another person here? What the fuck? <laughs> and now I'm doing a solo pod, and it's like really easy to fill up a fucking hour. Holy yeah. shit! I understand that. And yeah, that's I do that as a challenge to try to get better at podcasting. Hmm. Is it working? We'll fucking see. We'll find out the next time on the show. <laughs> this is end the show here. <laughs> ah, fuck it. We don't need a show yeah. though. Collab. We don't need to do red stories. We'll just end it there. <laughs> So funny. I was yeah. uh, texting my friend about yeah. uh, the intro to the solo pod because mm-hmm. he's a musician um, and we used to play in bands together and fucking he put out this song recently um, is Burn Mark. What the fuck is it called? I have no clue. <laughs> shout it out. <laughs> Hold on. I'll, let me shout find it out. It, find it out. Yeah. Before I'm just like, I, I, I genuinely do not remember it's right now. It's a catchy now. melody. That's my though. bad. I don't, I don't remember shit. I'm surprised I remember to turn on the fucking camera <laughs> right now. Honestly, we both be forgetting all day long. All right, all the cameras are still recording. Good. <laughs> Burn mark. Oh, it comes up first. That's good. Uh, the storm is what it's called. Uh, okay. The storm by Burn Mark. Uh, and uh, he put out a, a piano version of it that I liked really much. So I contacted him. I was like, hey, can you do the jingle for my solo pod? Because it's like, you know, the assets are getting finished. I'm going to come out with it publicly instead of it just being on the APWSDR Patreon. Here's the whole overwrought concept yeah. of it. And uh, he he fucking knocked it out of the park in like 20 seconds. It was like insane. Yeah, it was like wild. Like it was very like, I think within an hour it was already sent to you. It was like a little yeah. drafts. And then it was like, oh yeah, I'll put more stuff in it. Yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ, this is going to be a very well-produced jingle. Yeah. I was like, I could have used this just the regular, but okay. But now you want to go above and beyond. You do that. up, yeah. Um, I forgot what the point of that was, but I I don't know. It was just like, I'm just very happy to have creative friends that do things, and I guess it's so funny because (laughs) it's so funny to see uncreative people try to make creative things. Mm-hmm. And really wrestle with being uncreative because the problem is to be creative, you just have to start. Yeah. That's it. Like, I will that's say, the yeah. barrier of entry is if you did you pick up the pencil? Did you dry, draw a and little that's circle? The, that's the thing You're too an artist. about. And like I that's think it. the age bomber guy I think stuck with me too, because like as I it, it focused on writing, you know, and I yeah. think that's the like that's wild to me because you just have to not like, you just have it, to not steal someone else's exact word. Yeah, which is very easy. There's <laughs> only so much you can do with a thesaurus, you know? Yeah. Like, if you, I think that's the thing too. If you're just open about, like, and that's the thing I wanted, to, I took away is like, as long as you're just open about where you're getting your shit from, L- if yeah. you source them, yeah. And, you're, and if you quote something that you, like, if there's something that you read and it's like, I can't say that better. Yeah. I'm going to quote it. I need to use an example. Be, yeah, I'm going to put a quote and then there's that's the fine. thing. Yeah. That's not plagiarism. That's not plagiarism at all. No, Pla- it's, it's... Plagiarism is reading exactly from an article as if in a tone. As if you did it. Yeah. As if you did it. I guess like in our case, like if 
plagiarism for us on this Riot podcast would be if we read the exact same story as someone else and then just copy word for word their what, reactions. Yeah, what their reactions are. I don't even are. think like, you know, reading the same Reddit story is inherently stealing. No, I think it's fine. And I think especially people as have like, contacted us too about like other stories that other Reddit podcasts have done that are like, that you, are, they did it first. They, and I'm like, I don't so. Or no, I mean the opposite. Like they come to us and they're like, this podcast is stealing your story and i'm like i don't i didn't write it i didn't write it it's fine it's okay taking it from the same reddit.com yeah Yeah, it's just reddit i'm open about where i'm finding it the only reason why i don't source reddit links is because i don't want to make it easy for like brigades and it was we had a couple instances in the beginning where people were going to um like saying verbatim oh this podcast send me here i fucking hate you and i'm like that's not cool don't do that i don't want that that's why i'm saying yeah don't brigade yeah if you want to read a red story sure go read it definitely go read it like treat it like it's like the zoo you know you're not gonna jump into the lion cage (laughs) or zookeepers you're not you figure it out like yeah well you know and that's why we also try to preach a philosophy of like Redemption once an well. asshole is not always an asshole yeah no i agree with that not just like oh you have a fucking uh oh god what's it called one of those didn't uh, os- oh god the thing on the back the bird on the back birds and the bees <laughs> no nah, it's the old Oh, I don't you know, know what I it remember is. the poem's name so let me look it up yeah look up the yeah the rhyme of the ancient mariner can't believe you're plagiarizing from Rhyme of the Agent Mariner. You said Agent Mariner, and that's Agent, really funny. Agent M. <laughs> Albatross. God damn. Albatross, oh. So it's a poem about um, a mariner uh, a, 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 who's old. <laughs> and he rhymes. I'm joking. I'm joking. What? <laughs> New, whoa! <laughs> you're, you're first, folks. So it was You won't believe what this poem's about. <laughs> so, from what I understand... In the poem, I'm not gonna fucking read it again because it's so long. I think. Yeah. Um. He kill someone kills in. Uh. You were so fucking red. You really thought that was really, really funny. Yeah, I, was just, I was just surprised. Uh, someone kills an albatross, and it's not cool to kill albatrosses. Mm. Basically, and they because they killed the albatross, they have to hang the albatross on the back of their neck for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Okay. As wow. guilt, basically. Oh, okay. Is it is a poem about guilt, basically? Mm. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> like doing things that you can't take back, like murder, you know, or yeah. something like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you c- just because someone is like kind of shitty to their wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or even a misogynist or even a, any any of those isms. Sometimes there's still, yeah, you redemption. Can, that, yeah. yeah. If I hope to God they learn and come back and stop creating. It's about harm reduction, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, yes, this is a behavior that is bad. We should all say this behavior is bad, racism, you know, transphobia, homophobia, classism, ableism, all the things. Yeah. This shit is bad. You should not do this thing. Or even just regular, um, my husband ate my food. My husband my husband yeah, ate my food and I know. told him not to, and he crossed my boundaries. That's really fucked up. Just something like that. Like, yeah, okay, that's bad. This behavior is bad. This is what you should look out for if you're someone out there, because a lot of times, you know, people that are in these relationships are like told that they're crazy or you know crazy making uh, more insidious things like gaslighting or abuse emotional abuse like that Mm. we care very much about that and if you that's why we do this (laughs) yeah i feel yeah it's not just a dunk on people no yeah it's not (laughs) well for me it's for dunking on people sometimes i do some fun ones i don't know you You can't be serious all the time I feel that, yeah. We try to walk that line, basically. Very, yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah. Not a skill, though. It's not a skill It's not a skill. That. It's just we were reading... Re- That's why I get kind of pissed throwing, off. We're throwing like, uh, shit at the wall, and sometimes it sticks, yeah. I'm embarrassed that I get pissed off at people that are like, whatever, just fucking reading Reddit stories. Because, like, yes. Yeah, I... Yeah. I, you yes, do it. we are just doing you that. You do it, though. And you, it would be really easy if you just did it. Yeah. yourself but you're not you're complaining about the reddit stories exactly yeah like we're both at the bottom of the barrel you know what i mean yeah no there's a food chain and i'm not at the top of it no, no. we're at the bottom and you're complaining about the bottom of the barrel content yeah but it's also the bottom of the barrel original content it still leagues above content i stole from someone else that's the thing yeah where it's like you know i don't think i don't i don't want i'm definitely never like the kind of person to like bump up what we do again again Mm-mm. i but i do think like we do 
care about it. Yeah. Right. I think that's what's important. And I think people, I guess that's the reason people why we do like have that. a following is because we give a shit about what we do. Yeah. We're one of the smaller Reddit podcasts that people don't even, they like, we have a large following on TikTok and then the TikTok people come over here and don't like us because they don't like our takes. Yeah. That was a fun comment. That was <laughs> that great. Was- uh, I think you guys' takes are dumb. Yeah, if you leave a hate comment that's just like, I hate you guys, and you don't explain why or for whatever reason, yeah, if you you're be a, getting blocked. If you want to be a critic, here's a here's a fun fact. Here's what you can do, explain. actually. You can explain it. Yeah. yeah. You got to explain. Yeah. Or you can copy someone else's <laughs> complaint about us, and at least we'll be like, oh, you're a plagiarist. Yeah, block. fill all the comments with this one with uh, whatever that one guy said about our takes are bad. Uh, about the one. That was very funny, oh, too, because I was starting to think they're only good on TikTok or something. Where we also give our takes. So it's also like, well, I mean, not really, not our not as in depth not, takes. That's fair, yeah. I will say though, it's funny because that one was like we were just like, yeah, you should just be able to be in a band and work on your thing, and you should hope to like maybe yeah. one day make money off of your art if you want to. Yeah, I feel like it's okay to have hope, <laughs> but I guess that's a bad take. Hold on, sorry, wait, uh, gay. <laughs> plagiarized that from community you did. <laughs> yeah, I did yeah but yeah i think that's why age bomber guy was really smart to make it about people that are hyping themselves up as intellectuals yeah i'm writing an essay i'm a video essayist i'm a yeah. part of bread tube and- i am doing this and i'm fucking an intellectual and if you like intellectual things, you will like me because I am smart. And to add on that, like the James Summerton part of it too, oh, adding God. on the fact where it's like you're stealing from queer and like, you know, underrepresented artists who yeah. aren't seeing a dime, but you're making six figures. And also, like, I, a lot of people were saying that he was misogynist and I was like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, yes. I usually, when someone is like, this dude is a misogynist and they've been saying it for years and it's like a lot of people... It usually ends up being right. But yeah. sometimes I'm like, okay, you. I always want to see the evidence first. You know what I mean? I, no, I understand that. I don't know. Fucking cancel me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah cares about evidence. <laughs> Sarah cares about evidence based, blah, 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 blah. And specifically about the term misogynist. Like, I've been called a misogynist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I am. I don't know. I've never been called misogynist. <laughs> when you've been called something... And someone else gets called that exact same thing. You're kind of like, okay, there's a part of really? you that's like, all right, yeah, double check. Let but me I mean, double check. Double but check, triple check. Double check, triple check. <laughs> Got anything about Otis King? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know. It's a great video. I think is what I want to say. I agree. I, was there any other thoughts that you had on it that like you want to real quick? Oh yeah, yeah. My so my take, um, my yes and to the internet historian oh yeah thing. the youtube uh, part of it yeah yeah is i uh, youtube specifically says we want to push out longer videos if you can push out an hour long video at least every an day. hour long video every day um then you are going to have the most amount of monetization that you possibly yeah. can have and we will push out your video to the most meaning that they're incentivizing like mills Stu- yeah content like, mills in best case scenario like studios and like, that's why every fucking youtuber you know has a team now yeah has like a and, production team yeah and i don't think there's anything inherently bad about that as long I as think, you're making i think there is actually <laughs> well i mean okay like <sighs> you're forcing every creative person on this website that started out that you could just buy a camera with, and, or you just yeah. have a camera on your phone and fucking on your flip phone and just record a guy lighting a watermelon on fire and upload that video to the fucking internet. That's where it fucking started. And mm. it's now it's you have to have like, okay, if I'm going to start a YouTube channel, I have to have like $3,500 down payment yeah, um, okay, I get what on you the mean. equipment. And then I got to pay an editor because I don't know how to edit or I have to learn how to edit or and then I got to get the lighting and then I got to get the whatever. I I generally think it should there should be low barriers of to entry, entry when it comes to, to make creative creative things and there there still is you can start with a fucking phone yeah you know there's cameras on our phones all the time but that's not what YouTube incentivizes What's supposed to be yeah incentivizes oh, not okay, supposed sorry. to be uh, but um that's not what it incentivizes it incentivizes highly like produced long form content that comes out every day 
And for a long time, I was like, how the fuck are these people making these videos? I would be exhausted. I must, there must be something wrong with me as a creator that I'm exhausted making one video a week. Like, how am I, I can't keep doing all this crap and all this work, but I feel like I'm not doing enough work because everyone else is doing all this work. And reality is they were stealing. Yeah. Because that's how you cut corners. Mm. If you're running a business and you need to put out, you know, you have a demand that you need to meet to get the amount of money that you're used to having, you you're going to cut corners. Yeah. I don't think it's right. No, I don't think it's right either. I don't think any of them did a good thing, but I also think, of course, that's going to happen. Mm. Like, fucking duh. If the fucking platform says, yeah, I need this to have blah, 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 blah. And this is also like uh, Jesse Cox was talking about this recently. Oh, yeah. About how he couldn't um, continue doing his five minute gaming news show because it just wasn't lose five minutes. You two yeah. basically told him don't do it anymore. Yeah. Or make it longer. <laughs> yeah. Like he you know, had yeah. an actual meeting with YouTube. Where it was like. You, and they were like, this is what you do. Either you make full long content every day or, or you don't do it anymore. Because it's not working. Odd. Even though people loved that show. Yeah, they, he had to change his entire thing. It sucks, man. And that's it. That's a show that people love that can't be made anymore because YouTube is like, that's not what we want. That's not what advertisers want. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, you want to be a YouTuber because you want the freedom of not having to talk to a boss. But reality is, you're talking to your boss of YouTube who's yeah. saying... You need to do, you need to have a fucking three hour long video about the fire festival on my desk Monday. Yeah. Uh, or and else to Coca sure Cola is going to be really mad. Actually, you have to make sure that it's out when you have the most people there too. So that way you get the most views that, that first hour and then we'll push it out to more people afterwards and you get more people in. And, and I will say, like, and also as a podcaster, yeah. like, even though we are more like, we're grateful we get lucky because we have three hour long podcasts that are very easy to produce mm. we also have another boss as well spotify God <laughs> bless megaphone him. yeah you know where it's like all right listen you can put in you know maybe nine ads here and we'll figure it out but like you got to make sure we're not gonna you still have to figure out how to bring the people over mm -hmm. and uh, it's not our problem you gotta find the advertisers fuck you that's like, the <laughs> other thing that i hate because i was trying to be a musician before this and i stopped doing it because nowadays they don't have people going out saying oh you know fucking uh uh i'm gonna be a talent uh a talent guy i'm gonna yeah. find all the talent they don't do that anymore they say oh what this band is coming to me uh, how many instagram followers do they got yeah do they have a thousand instagram followers no then no I it's don't, not even worth I it i didn't even listen to their music i didn't even listen to what they made i don't give a shit because i know that they, they don't, don't have already any, have an audience quote unquote social capital yeah so i'm not going to invest money into their record which is wild. And it's a, such a wildly uphill battle yeah. that everyone has to now deal with because it's the gigification of creative industries. Yeah. And Jesus. you were just a creative person. Who you wants were just to make a something. person yeah. that wanted to make something. And now look at you, you're a fraud. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. Because you were made these decisions that you thought were good business decisions because these fucking leeches told you that they were. But in reality, it's all short term, like, all right, you'll get extra money this month. But it, yeah. the fact that you did that, now you're going to lose money for the whole year, you yeah. know? And then you make that scale larger, like, yeah, sure, you'll get more money this year. Yeah. But you're not going to, you're, you're going to be gone in five years. And I'm sure we see him on our high horse, like when we were talking about how we didn't take the, the Pizza Hut thing. Oh, yeah. You know, which I don't fucking know. No, we're, <laughs> a, we're an exception to the rule we sometimes. We are insane like, that we did that. Yeah. And <laughs> I like, yeah. <laughs> like that. We're weirdos. We said like, no to a month's rent because of a moral obligation. Yeah. When in reality, I think, I think most people. Most people would have would taken take that. that. Yeah. Like I remember we had one TikTok that was like it was about like someone was like what was it it was about the money like someone earned a bunch of money and then people were like but i would or i would do that yeah for... it was the scabbing yeah the scabbing people it was are so scabbing pro scabbing the... when it comes to the idea of like i want a hundred thousand dollar yeah and it was a guy that like he left his job where he already makes six figures and he was going to another place to make more another money. hospital that was scabbing uh for radiologists and then everyone was like but people will die and it's like he's a radiologist 
Yeah, people. Yeah, they'll. F- d- yeah, no, it should not That's be. The, yeah, it's it's money hunger is what really is because a, people are poor. Uh, yeah, That's and, like, the, like I understand why. Like, yeah, okay, I want sixteen thousand dollars. Do I want it at the expense of my career? No, but I'm also privileged enough to say that. Yeah, because I'm not. Uh, you know, I don't have kids to feed. Yeah, I, I don't have you know whatever. I wish I had more money because it's Christmas. But realistically, we have a house, we have clothes. Yeah, we have enough to get we by. Have food. That's what's important. Yeah, and we're comfortable enough to be able to say no. So it's weird because I'm like, I do want to blame these individuals for making these decisions. Yeah, and I do, I do blame them. That's crazy. But what also, they did. it's the system that really needs to be really yeah. incentivizes it, and also creates a space for bad actors like James Somerton, who was making a ridiculous An amount of money, insane amount of money, and also putting out from, shitty fucking content from <laughs> his own fans too, which is yes. the craziest thing. Where it's like, yeah, what a con, yeah. like of like that's. I mean, I think, and oh god, you know. Yeah. Don't yell at me for this because I'm crazy. I'm just a fucking Reddit lady, all right? Don't. I'm not yeah, a, this is just the non Reddit segment. We'll get there, guys. I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a big talker. I'm not a fucking philosopher, politician. I'm not anyone special. Jesus Christ, okay? This is my personal opinion. You're just some guy. I'm just some little guy. Yeah. I'm just normal men. <laughs> We're just normal men. We're just innocent men. Um, <laughs> but fucking, like, Capitalism, I know. Oh, wow, God. shock emoji. Who? No. Can do you guys believe that capitalism? <laughs> no, capitalism and uh, subsequently YouTube create spaces where manipulators, bad actors, yeah. can come through, manipulate the system, go to the top really quickly, and fucking fuck with people. Yeah. Like steal. Yeah. And no one cares because it makes money. And that's the bottom line is does it make money or does it not make money? If it makes money, you're good. Sniper Wolf can fucking dox Jack's films. And even before and it's that. Fine. Yeah. And like, yeah, that's oh God. And like even before, like, you know, they started taking like standards on like, you know, Steven Crowder, he was able to make a mm-hmm. fuck ton of money it's for happened. him and YouTube. Time and time again, the whole Jake Paul thing, the Suicide Forest thing with Logan Paul, where it was like Dude, man, these if are things that should money, have not happened. You, you should get not a have stern been slap on the wrist and that's it. Like you should not have been enabled to this point that this happened and then all of a sudden all of these people were harmed and you turn around and you apologize and fucking you know what? They're just supposed to fucking accept it, and now you have a podcast, or you're a boxer, or you're a fucking millionaire still, and you and don't. Yeah. Who cares? You know, you did yeah. the craziest shit, and you got the most money, and then you said, "Oh, I'm sorry," and now you get to live a rich life. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, I mean that's kind of how it's always been. Like, yeah, especially like it seems like a, a lot of these issues too is like you, you're the people that we're talking about specifically. Because I know we talk about like redemption, but like these people don't change anything about themselves. No, they don't. They they lose maybe a month's worth of income, yeah. but it doesn't matter when you're making millions of dollars. If you lose a hundred thousand dollars, that's just one less car. You know, like, like it's I'm, not. I'm so fucking tired of hearing about like. E- Elon, I guess, is kind of like he's becoming more political because he owns the fucking, you know, yeah. the town square. But like, I'm so tired of hearing like, this is what this guy did. Oh, he's been bad the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's who we look up to. Hmm. Shitty people doing shitty things and manipulating. Because if you do the right things, you don't get popular. Hmm. Yeah, there's only exceptions to the rule. Yeah. There's only some Jesse Cox out there. There's only yeah. some H bomber well, guys. Jesse Cox, you know, he's has to be in meetings where people are telling him his content doesn't work, even though he has fans that are like, I fucking have been watching you for ten plus years. Mm. And I will continue to watch you because you're always have been a stand up guy. Yeah. And then people that are coming up into YouTube have to deal with the concept that every YouTuber is a fucking scammer artist. Because yeah. the big ones are. Because yeah. Because that's what everyone fucking likes. And it, that's the, yeah, it's a, it's hard. And, like, that's why I never really get upset with, like, hey, comments. Because I'm like, yeah, you're trained to think 
we have a team. Yeah, like the criticizing of the... Yeah, I understand yeah. that. That's the part that is like... With real hate comments where they're like, I hate your every fiber of every being. I'm like, good dude, you can fuck yourself. But actual criticism of us, mm. where even if it's misplaced, I kind of understand because, yeah, yeah you're going to hyperanalyze every creator that you've ever seen because you've been burned so many times. Yeah, you've been burned a million times over. So the fucking I. Yeah. And so has everyone. Yeah. Who's ever, you know, grown up on YouTube or whatever. Or looked up to someone. Yeah. Yeah. God. Just sucks. Yeah. Great video. Go watch H Bomber Guy's video. <laughs> I mean, even me. Like, you know, mm. like edgy, the whole concept of edgy comedy was just doing the crazy saying the craziest thing you possibly can to get a reaction. Yeah. And we fell down that rabbit hole. It's why a lot of all the content in the beginning of this pre-reddit yeah it's kind of gone now it is gone now yeah pre-reddit and pre-camera yeah gone. pre-camera mostly yeah yeah i agree yeah i understand that because so, i don't i don't want to agree and don't want to hurt people yeah i don't want to hurt I've people anymore said in the past yeah yeah hmm. jesus all right all right solved it <laughs> solved it <laughs> I think I think we're I think GTA Six. Oh yeah, GTA Six. GTA Six. GTA Six. The trailer came out while we were on this two week break. Yeah, a lot of shit happened in this two week break. I can't believe Rockstar is totally giving up um, satirizing things. Wait, really? Yeah, I, they're just totally giving it up. It's completely realistic. <laughs> I think. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> shut the fuck up. But no, okay. So um, fuck this is acting for you, baby. That's acting. <laughs> Yo, you took an acting class while I was taking a piss? That's crazy. Okay, so fucking... That's my innate talent. <laughs> That's your innate... Yeah, you were born with it, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, no, I'm excited for GTA 6. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a big fan of Rockstar games, usually. I know mm-hmm. you're uh, fucking... You enjoy watching, like, the Grand Theft Auto games, and you enjoy playing uh, Red Dead 2. Yes, I do. Uh, I do enjoy Red Dead 2. Because not as much of as I like, horsey. Yeah, horsey. Yeah. I love horsey. And I like car, so I like GTA you do 5. like car. I do like car go fast. That's a perfect relationship where, you know, boy car, girl horsey. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. all it is. That's, that's the, the two genders. Yeah, yeah boy car, car boy and horse girl. Car boy, her, horse girl, yeah. yeah. Non-binaries get... Private planes, good for them. Private planes, yeah, they get, they get, yeah. You know what? Private Fuck it. non-binary yeah, jet. Private non-binary jet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fucking oh god, there was a there's a man carrying thing video. He's a uh, he's a YouTuber that actually does short videos, but they're like comedy videos. Oh, cool. And he did a video like I think recently. I don't know when it came out, but it was like when your favorite YouTuber goes down the anti SJW pipeline. Oh god. And it was he was the joke was it was like a naval YouTuber, and then the guys just like. I don't know about you guys, but doesn't this submarine seem woke to you? And it's just a photo of a submarine, <laughs> like a regular submarine. I think I've it's seen like something seen like that. I think I saw that on Coaxed into a Snafu or something on Reddit. Yeah. They don't go on anymore because it's fucking stupid. Yeah, but sometimes it is. Yeah. It's pretty, it can be get pretty misogynist. It's funny. But, but it was the, the whole bit was like, why is he doing it? And then the YouTube counters 97 million views. And like, oh, and it's his face stretched out. It's great. Yeah, of course. Yeah, great. But isn't that exactly the same thing? That's what I mean. It's, yeah, it's like, the same thing. Thing. Yeah, I'd go back to that. Yeah, yeah, the most insane shit that you can say. The most, you know, oh, oh, and miraculously, this is going at the same time as fascism. Whoa, Whoa it's yeah. almost like it's not fucking related. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay, okay. Speaking yeah. of fascism, GTA Six. Yeah, GTA Six, <laughs> the most dude. fascist game to ever be made because you kill cops. Do you think they're gonna put Nazis on the overpass? I fucking I they have to right like and that's it's a real. Florida, it's a Florida game. They exist. I've yeah, seen it I with wonder, my eyes. Yeah, I, my human eyes. I wonder because it's very like I okay because okay I like GTA Five. Mm-hmm. I do enjoy the game. I think there's plenty of genuine criticism. Mm. I think a lot of the criticism that it, uh, it that's coming out now about it, where it's like you do crime, is the dumbest shit I've yeah, ever heard. Yeah, the like right wing. Uh, oh, I don't. I'm Andrew Tate, and I don't think you should. Shoot when you police. know, when you know for a fact, fucking in 2013, they were all you, pro GTA Five, especially because it's the biggest fucking game. Like I can maybe kind of understand like Tucker Carlson because he looks like a rube. Because he's an I mean? old fucker. Yeah, he comes from the same Ooh, like Clinton. I think he's he's yeah. 
I he get, does not look he's good. Like middle age. He's probably middle age. He looks but leathery. Like he's from that like same time period of like Gen X, like fucking yeah. uh, what? Not Gen X even, but like you know, boomer, like devil, mm. panic, whatever. You know, if, like video yeah. games are making people violent. You know. Oh god, yeah. And it's very interesting because it always goes in waves of like you know the left, the, not even the left, because I don't think leftists has ever given a fuck about video game violence, but like liberals. I mean, liberals have yeah. Li- liberals sure. have, and then conservatives have, and it's been going back and forth because they're both stupid. But like fucking, I definitely have known some leftist like millennials or even um gen like on the cusp of Gen X to millennials that fully believe and fully like raise their children without thought, video games without like... video games for that reason. And I will say and they definitely think they're leftist, but yeah. they're totally libs. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I think that's the thing, and I I think Grand Theft Auto is a good encapsulation of like some genuine critiques that you could make about like violent video games even or like not even violent video games yeah. i don't think that's i don't think that's an issue because i think scientifically like no one like the, the it's school, just not true yeah uh so my but I, I can understand like when with satire and grand theft auto games mm-hmm. i can totally understand like some people maybe not getting it or like some things here and there that are kind of like i can get if you don't like it yeah that's fair why I is think it that's... that no one can just not like things anymore that is fair why yeah. does it have to be like a systemic issue there's plenty of cringy like it, gta 5 fine. story you know oh shit. you don't want to shoot a hooker that's fine yeah you don't have to that's okay why do you think you have to you literally don't have to you don't want to shoot a cop choose a different game <laughs> yeah that is, that is fair that is yeah. required that I'm is sorry. required that yeah. is you need to have the that fact opinion that it was like I had to put down my controller because in the first mission you're robbing my a bank family the game's cops. called Grand Theft Auto it's grand you're doing grand theft yeah of autos automobiles of automobiles yeah. you gotta you gotta and see. it's really like I don't it's really hard because like I, I think like I, there's a reddit comment about like or maybe even a youtube comment that it was like gta 4 is about this the satire of like the american dream because it's about um an immigrant from like um europe or asia i can't remember exactly which country it is i believe Mm. it might be russia but it's like you know he comes to the country it's like new york and it's you know set to the backdrop of like fucking the statue of liberty or the in universe equivalent you know yeah and it's like oh the only way i'm gonna be able to live here is if i do crime oh wow he he gets roped into like doing a bunch of shit for like the mob that's very interesting yeah Yeah. i think yeah i think the gta 4 story i think people like it sometimes more than gta 5 and i can totally understand that Mm. uh gta 5 hits with me more because that was the first one that i played yeah and that's more about after the recession like what oh. is the american dream after one of the worst financial crises crises that could ever happen oh do you know what gta 6 is gonna be and it might be a little debbie downer oh what's it gonna be about social media i think it will too because the trailer really like kind they have of the little tiktok thing in there yeah and the influencer that is like in miami and the keys or whatever and- yeah yeah, that's what it's going to be about, it isn't it? It could be, and I wonder how they're going to do it. Because, like, if they go the route, like, if they go the route of, like, the Jake Pauls, like, you know. Probably. I think that's fine. I mean, it it's going to be, be literally exactly what we just talked about in the first hour of yeah. this podcast. But then it's going to be like, oh, what yeah. if they do crime? Which I feel like maybe they're losing a little bit of my... Or even maybe, like, you know how, like, Gen V, like, it started out with, like, and spoiler, I guess, for the beginning of Gen V, but it really has nothing to do with the, the rest plot. of the show. Yeah. Um, how is just like, oh, these kids are famous. They have to be on social media because that's how you get to the top of the list of the school, which is a little cringe. Yeah, it is pretty cringe. But then it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna go do a bunch of hard drugs because all of the kids that are famous that they, they do hard they actually, drugs. Oh yeah. And um, I mean, it's, I mean, know, maybe it's, I don't know. I'm I mean, not it's that taken famous. From the boys too, where it's like all the superheroes are bad. Yeah. Can I make like, a quick joke that is not related to anything that we're talking about at all? Hell yeah, let's go. I want to get famous enough to get uh, addicted to ketamine so I don't have depression anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. I'm a little bit like, do we go to LA and meet with all these Reddit people so and I can see if any of them has a ketamine plug? Because <laughs> I really... I really want to stop being depressed soon. <laughs> oh, God. All right, that's fair. Oh, that's man. fair. Okay, but okay, no. <laughs> I, I wonder, because, like, I will say, like, and the thing that I remember from the trailer was, like, Put they have, like... Put me in a K-hole. <laughs> Please. God. 
But they, what they, because I know they also like go after like Fox News, I think, in the trailer a little bit, or like yeah. right wing news, where it's like just a bunch of guys on trucks, or not trucks, but uh, what is it called, motorcycles or dirt bikes? Oh yeah, and they're just driving around having fun, and then there's the news helicopter of like dirt bike thugs, <laughs> like you know, like I think there is. I, I it's really uh. weird because I definitely understand the okay, because like in GTA Five, there's definitely like they. Because they take the South Park approach where it's like they kind of align themselves sides. in the, yeah, they m- mock both sides. I don't know if they would, I mean, the South Park approach is if you believe in anything, you're cringe. That is true. I don't even think Which that's Which is what a Rock- true centrist opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I don't even think Rockstar Games has that opinion. No, I don't I think, think so. there is a, a message trying to be made about yeah. things. And a lot of it is mostly greed bad. And also, I, I think with like GTA 5 too, they the three characters, there's a, Michael, who's like the biggest piece of shit, because he and he's like he's like a manipulative asshole, and he manipulates yeah. the other two to like do shit. Oh. and like there's Trevor, who's a victim of his manipulation. Oh. but no one gives a shit about that because he's the crazy one. Oh, and he was manipulated by Michael into being this crazy guy. Oh wow! And uh, uh, what's it called? Fucking um, fucking what's his what's his name? Franklin. Oh yeah, is like the new protege because he's like doing like small crime, but then Michael sees potential in him, so he starts manipulating uh, Franklin to Interesting. do shit. Interesting. Wow. And it, 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 God, it's, if only I didn't have a panic attack, I would probably like this game. I would. I'll play it in front of you just so you can get the story. I so would, you can kind yeah, of yeah, sure, like, yeah. Because I think there are good elements of the story. There is there <laughs> Why are we just cringe do it elements. Fucking, we have a whole gaming channel. Why don't we just do that? <laughs> we don't need to do that. We could do that, I guess, in preparation of yeah, GTA, GTA 6. 6. Yeah, yeah why not? But, okay, so, uh, what am I thinking? Yeah, you're, you're telling me the story, but it sounds incredibly interesting. There is an interesting but element also, of it. also, like, way preachy. It's a little preachy. I'm not gonna what if lie. I do just want to do crime. Yeah, and you kind of mm-hmm. do just want to do crime at, the, at certain points, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why um, do I, I don't need someone to tell me that it's bad. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In a virtual setting where no one gets hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. So I, I think it's, it's, there are good elements of the story, I think. And I think a lot of it is mostly against, it's not, I don't, it's not anti capitalistic because there is an obvious, like, we want to make a fuck ton yeah, of money. You want to make money. But I think it's also a parody of that mindset. Because mm-hmm. also, like, I think it does kind of say a little bit of, like, the only way you can really rise through the ranks is if you're lucky and also you just start doing crime. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And I think, I mean, that, that kind of goes into the thing of, like, you know, like, with YouTube and shit where, like, it enables bad actors. I would be interested in a GTA game where there's, you can just not do crime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I would be interested in, like, a like regular GTA. Like, you you can totally do the crime. But there's an option for you not to do but the crime. But there's like a worse version of the game <laughs> where you don't have to do the crime. Well, that's what it's conservatives like, fucking want, apparently. Like, I think that would be epic, but it just is shit. I like, just want to drive around the in-game map and, and just like really follow hard. the traffic rules. Yeah, follow the traffic rules. You work at a grocery store. You have some creative project or whatever, and your landlord keeps upping your rent. Yeah. And you just, you know, you're very incentivized to do crime. Yeah, that's called a tuber life. simulator, too. Is just what you're the game of right fucking yeah. life. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. I want to make paintings. Yeah. The Sims. You want to play The Sims? But, you know, The Sims is too easy. It's the just Sims garden. Is harder and you're a fucking millionaire. By the end of the Jesus week. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh,. <laughs> they gotta nerf gardening in the sims nah they really do nah they don't need to never in a million years every time you don't like the fact that a tomato is worth ten (laughs) dollars you don't like that (laughs) it's insane simflation (laughs) and it grows in two days it grows in two days that's not how it fucking works yeah make it farming farming simulator simulator. yeah Yeah, yeah, that's what you want to play yeah i know um, but it would be fun if also they should add crime to farming simulator. Like if yeah, everyone no, exactly, else around yeah. you was like, "Hey, bro, it's steal a tractor." <laughs> Maybe I fucking will. I yeah. don't know. Shit, but I gotta I, get my fields done before fall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And I, I don't know how progressive I would say the GTA games are. Uh-huh. Like overall, I think there are some things that they kind of like lean into a little bit harder. You know. But I think there is like a weird, I think if you kind of get out, uh, the message I get from it, because I have media comprehension, I guess, is, 
it's it's a very it's just it's 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 a very it mocks America in a de- in a decent way, and I'm hopeful mm-hmm. that with it being set in fucking Florida, yeah, dude. And if they're doing all this, like, like I saw a bunch of like videos already where it's like, oh, here's all the real places in GTA Six and yeah. in the trailer, and you know, and it's like, okay, if they're giving that much attention to detail on the world, yeah. And I know people will disagree. I like people mock GTA for like making a huge expansive world and then putting nothing in it. Uh, oh really? Yeah, because like even in like GTA Five, like the main map you want to stay in is in the city area, and mm. then there's like the the top half of the map that you don't really go to that often. Oh, and I kind of and I definitely understand that critique because it definitely is a, a fucking bore to get up there. Well, this is an island though. Yeah, well, the GTA Five map's also an island. Like, yeah, everything's an island. Yeah, so interesting. I don't yeah, know. so uh, who knows? I think they. You'd think it'd be easy to fill up an island with stuff. I think it's just because they're trying to have different like backdrops for different things because like in the game it's like trevor is like living in the outskirts of the city where like it's like the like you know no attention's ever been paid to like this desert area of the map Mm. uh it's very uh i don't know how to describe it i guess it's very it's weird i guess yeah i guess trying to manipulate trying to emulate the desert part of california yeah pretty much Uh, okay that makes sense there's nothing fucking there so but you still desert guys like yeah dude okay so it's hard to put shit in yeah and that's what i think a good worry to have going into like florida because like everglades probably gonna have nothing in it jack fucking shit mostly alligator yeah yeah but that'd be awesome though i'm I'm epic but i'm also so biased because i live here and you love alligators a lot yeah Yeah. (laughs) um but i think yeah okay florida things that people maybe don't know about that you really want to be in gta 6 go Five of them go. Um, I, I already know we this can do is in it there. together. But uh, there's tolls in the game, dude. I there cannot wait for tolls. tolls. The because I know Florida's the worst state. I think with tolls, there it's was a, there was a, some more news video I haven't watched yet specifically about tolls, mm. and I know that Florida has like a third of the video specifically. Oh uh, yeah, dog. Because uh, if you want to get anywhere, especially in Central Florida, mm-hmm. and I think also if you want to go to the Keys, apparently, I think you there's a fuck ton of tolls because there's so many bridges and shit mm. it's like insane but that's the yeah. most annoying shit and i want people to fucking get, tolls, experience that so it's they gonna become be wonderful. anti-toll yeah i i think specifically with tolls it's not a different one but it'll be like kind of a subset yeah yeah um driving a car that your dad owns <laughs> <laughs> and i'm not just talking about you because i worked Me. at the tolling place yeah uh that happens all the time driving a car that your dad owns the tolling tag on so that when he gets a bill and he calls the customer service person and cusses them out uh, and calls me Sarah here in a slur, <laughs> um, <laughs> Rockstar, get on this. We're we're available for voice acting. Do it. I'll do the customer service toll person yeah. voice. I've I've done it for my job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I got a good Disney voice. If you need someone for that oh, yeah. uh, Disney thing. Food cart stuff. Oh, yeah. If you need someone to work the food, food cart. Food cart, dude. That'd be epic. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't want to do the pretzel thing at any end. So, yeah. You, yeah. When when your dad gets a tolling bill for $1,000 because his dumbass son didn't read. Yeah. Can't read. That's a very Florida thing. Yeah. I think, yeah. I I, I, wanna, I wonder how they're going to handle Disney because I think they're going to have Disney. In yeah, it. that's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, what else? Disney's going to be great. Nazis on the overpass. Well, I they think. need to have something about that. They got to have Nazis. Like, if they, they want to do... If they want to do both sides, you got to show the fucking... Yeah, and I know people think that the Nazis on the overpass uh, are not Florida homegrown. They are. They... So... The last Nazi outbreak that there were, like zombie outbreak, hilarious. Yeah. Uh, the last Nazi protests that happened were transplants from a different location. Yeah. However, there, there is are... a Nazi can- like group over by the UCF area. Yeah. Um, which I think is also very funny because they put a uh, they keep putting up these white supremacist posters on UCF. Uh, they did a couple of years ago. I don't know. They stopped doing it. And they would put razor blades behind it. Yeah, so the people that would take them off would get Tear cut. Tear down would get yeah. cut. Uh, but no, okay, so, yeah. okay. Um, Nazis on the overpass. Nazis on the overpass, they, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, the I-4 eyesore. I-4 eyesore. If they're going to have some sort, they need to have some. Just a big weird shape filled with glass right at the, right at the right apex of the eyes. sun that goes right into your eyes while you're driving. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Um, what God else? Damn, what else? No good 
I don't want any good drivers. I want a few yeah. NPCs that just drive like maniacs. Just absolute, like, no blinker, just... Especially since now, and I don't know if this absolute is because crap. of GTA V, but there's been a bunch of videos recently, especially on TikTok, where it's like, top 10 worst highways I've ever driven yeah, on. Number one's and I4. they're all I-4 or I-95, it's specifically in Florida. And people are beefing, actually. The I-95 people that Are think, really fighting with I-4 people. Which is so crazy to me. You're both bad. You're both crazy. You're both, you're in the same state. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, like wow, dude, chill. No it's one here. Definitely I four. It's oh yeah, it's I four. Uh, yeah, fuck 100%. your ass if you think it's the I ninety five, dude. dude. You if you You're weren't if you weren't there for when they just started putting a bunch of fucking express lanes in the middle, and like you weren't there during the, that construction. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my number. Fucking, that's number five. Constant construction yeah, on the roads. Yes, constantly all day long. Yeah, yeah. That would be oh, cool. Yeah, and I just uh, you know honorable mention concealed carry. Oh yeah. Yeah, without any, yeah, which will probably happen anyway, because yeah. a bunch of enemies will just have fucking guns anyway, so. Well, I hope at least they'll, like, it'll be like, you can like walk a into a store or something, yeah. and, and be like, hey, what's up, store, gun store, <laughs> can I have gun? I'm 12, and then the gun owner can be like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> There's no laws that prevent me from doing that, so, mm. Yeah, I wonder, yeah, if it'll, I wonder if Fuck it will it. be presented as, like, a lawless state, almost. Yeah. I hope to God. That would be kind of cool. That is kind of how it is yeah. unless well there are many laws though josh there are many yeah many 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 laws specifically about libraries. what will happen to you if you call a student a name that isn't in the school registry <laughs> did you see that also happen recently no, I, yeah i've seen that yeah. up to a four-year dismissal of any teacher library whatever school worker if you call them a student a name in secret that Honorable isn't. mention number two, and I'm going to say it so Sarah doesn't get in trouble. You're welcome. The governor's mansion that is, yeah, available. The actual to, governor, Ron DeSantis. Yeah, Just actual, so you can visit at any time. You can visit and look and sightsee. And there's no metal detectors. There's no... Just, you know, he just invites you into his house because he loves you so much. Yeah, exactly. You just have a good time. And you conservatives love Conservatives would love that. You love him a lot. Yeah, conservatives would love to have a, you know, good, a good representation of their senator, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be wonderful that for conservatives. I think that would be great if we just had actually Ron DeSantis <laughs> in the game so that I could hug him with my gun. It'd be gun. really funny if... <laughs> It'd be really funny if in the game he's just like a PNG. Like it's just, <laughs> just a PNG that just Ron floating DeSantis, around. The yeah. one of him in the boots with yeah, the lift. Yeah, the boots. Yeah. Yeah. God. No, I need him to be as realistic as possible, please. I will say, I uh, real quick, I do. Uh, the graphics do look really good, and I don't really give a shit about graphics that much in games, but the uh, it is very number seven yeah. honorable mention. COVID. Oh, it's God. still here. Um, malaria. Yeah, mosquitoes that'll just kill you, yeah. Um, what's another disease that we had that was crazy? It was like leprosy or something. <laughs> we had we... leprosy at one point. I don't know. So I know I keep, I keep getting messages. Hurricanes. Hurricanes. That'd Hurricanes, be good, yeah. that'd be great. Bad I, weather, yeah. I do keep getting messages where someone's like, did you know there was a fucking po polio outbreak <laughs> in your area? And I'm like, I fucking I guess, guess I now know now, yeah. You know I never go outside, the uh, fuck? But yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very excited for how this game's looking. And also, I'm now a big fan of that Tom Petty song. Yeah, it's a good Tom it's Petty song. It's a very good song. And yeah, I don't know, I'm very, I'm just excited, man. Oh, I am hyped for lawyers? it. Lawyers? Oh, yeah, uh, injury law injury firms. Injury law firms? That I think that would be really funny. That would be pretty funny. Causing a bunch of car accidents and like then the, them all yeah. calling... Uh, if there aren't a million billboards specifically yeah. just for injury law firms, I'm going to be disappointed. The billboards, though, the billboards look good. The, yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. The, the drug billboards where it's like, yeah. don't feel anything. <laughs> it's so it's good. I like that I like that type of satire, you I know? Do, I like the that, too, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if they will go the religious route, but they really should do the like the the famous Florida. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Oh yeah, are you like, pregnant? Are you pregnant? You're Call not alone. Yeah, Jesus dot now dot com. <laughs> yeah, are you pregnant? Call Jesus. Are you pregnant? Call Jesus. Yeah. Call Jesus if you're pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think I think we've got enough honorable I think mentions. That'd be great. Like, we've, we're supposed to have five. And we're at like eight now. Yeah, so fucking That's three. cool your <laughs> chill out. Do you need to put some ice on this, this runway because you gotta minus... cool your jets? <laughs> we were watching uh, community webisodes. 
just I saw this runway. You gotta cool your jet. <laughs> God, that's so silly. Yeah, fucking yeah. Uh, fucking eight minus five is three. So chill out. Yeah, you chill. Jesus, out. You, you chill. chill. Out. You chill. <laughs> I'm excited for this game, and Me I'm, too. I'm hopeful. I am hyped mm-hmm. for it, but I'm definitely going to forget about it in the next few months. <laughs> for sure. Because it comes out in 2025, mm. which is really funny that, like, I mean, I, I think the fir- the GTA 5 trailer that first came out was also, like, a year before it, so, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. Anything else in Florida? I don't know. Oh, I also want to say it's cool real quick that it's actually like uh, Latin characters or Latino, oh, yeah. Latina, yeah. The big, big, uh, big percentage of the population, so it's good that they're represented on. Yeah, and also first female protagonist, I think, is good, and I think anyone that wants about it is not a real person. <laughs> I've seen people say, like, you can play female in, uh, in multiplayer mode, and I have for a long time. Well, yeah, that's, that's multiplayer mode. That's point. not the same thing. It's, it's I don't even know if it was mode. on our video. It might have just been somewhere. Like, just yeah. a random person shouting it into the void. Yeah. <laughs> also, have you guys seen how people who present themselves as female were treated in GTA? Like, it wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't awesome. <laughs> it wasn't awesome, yeah. Yeah, believe it or I, not. I think it's more. It's better now, because I think, like, I, I think it's... Uh, some of that's died down a little bit, which is good, but I'm willing mm. to bet it's still shitty. Also, just because people are maniacs in general on GTA Online, so... I think it's baller in general to give a game a character that you can't customize. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a story mode, too. So, yeah, it's supposed to be... You're yeah. supposed to play the character, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like that is kind of dying off in games now. It's always... Even, like, a story... Like, Baldur's Gate 3, you, you start have to customize a new, your character. You or... don't have to. You could actually play as one of the as one of the predisposed characters. Oh, I feel you. Which is pretty cool, but it's also, like, most people... I don't want to burst your bubble, character. Sarah, but that's Bethesda's fault, and you can't change my mind on that. Wow. There's Bethesda lover. I'm a rock star boy. Well, yeah, well, it's cool when Bethesda does it. <laughs> Jesus. All right, but no, so I don't know. I'm excited. I, I, I think have, I have bad video game takes anyway because I am a Bethesda lover. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I played Fallout 4. It sucks ass. I still love it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. ESO's dope as hell. Whoa. Love Skyrim. Whoa. Sucks ass. But yeah. I fucking love it. Yeah, I will I say when we it. recorded that gaming session Holy uh, shit, two weeks yeah. ago, you were getting actually upset with it. And I was like, haha. It was the Thieves Guild one where you have to do the hunting brew uh, metery yeah. shit. And it was just so buggy and terrible and ruined the gaming experience for me. And I don't care. I still yeah, love it. Yeah, your first rage quit. Like, it was like, we're supposed to record for an hour. We recorded for like 55 minutes. Like, you were like, nah, <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I don't want to do I can't even do five more minutes of this bullshit. God. Yeah. Yeah. Solved it. Solved, Solved it. GTA 6. Solved the GTA 6, dude. Uh, We have to reread... Yeah, the one the direction. The ending of the, the one direction. Wolf we didn't story. realize it was the ending, so there, I'm kind of upset that there's like a now a shock factor left out now from oh, this. Hold on. And also, it's it's very funny because like it's it's I think it's only like one actual chapter. Yeah, and then it's like a bunch of apologies. It is a lot of yeah. apologies. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. last time on for you guys on the One Direction fanfic, she escaped and she then got escaped. in a fight with a wolf. Yeah. And now the, their ba- they, One Direction found her. And then they got her and then they were like, you need to explain to us what happened. Yeah. I don't know. I think that happens here, right? No. They, oh, so it left okay. off on that where they were like, what the fuck? Why did yeah. you try to run away from us kidnappers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so now she has to respond. Yeah. <laughs> Jules POV, chapter nine. Well, well, what do I have to explain? You're the ones who kidnapped me, I said, enraged. You are the ones who refuse to let me go. What other choice do I freaking have except to at least try to escape and hope to get back to my life? Jewel, Zane started, but I cut him off. I'm just getting started. You have kidnapped me twice, yanking me away from my own life and forcing me to live with five idiotic boys. Well, third time's the charm, says Harry. <laughs> Five idiotic boys coming to you on Tuesday nights on ABC. (laughs) Yeah, nice. Uh, By now, my fangs had enlarged and my eyes were glowing and took all my willpower not to shift. Why just shift? Yeah, right. (laughs) Just shift and kill them. Yeah. Then you get mad at me for trying to escape and you want me to go in public acting like your little pet? No, I'm done with you. And the next time you try to touch me, I'll be surprised if you make it to the hospital. (laughs) I watched the four of them. Wait, four? I was tackled from behind. 
Niall, I can and will tear your throat out, I screamed, shifting. It'd be... I, <laughs> I screamed, shifting? I, yeah, shifting, yeah, shifts yeah. also. Fucking, it'd be really funny if it was just like the fucking, like in the mob scenes where it's like a plastic bag over the fucking head. <laughs> like, fucking. That's kind of how, it's really fucked up how it happens, like. Yeah, it's like, you know, fucking, yeah. one of them sneaks around and like. It's piano wire fucking yeah it's like oh fucking yeah. i'm ready hey you yeah. fucking you fucked with the mafia you fucked with simon one too many times gabagool he pinned me down to my stomach forcing my muzzle into the dirt lads somebody grab the pet carrier from the car he said calmly <laughs> i was still pinned snarling and growling trying not to sneeze from the dirt that was getting in my nose a few minutes later i was shoved into a large pet carrier uh louis holding my muzzle firmly shut while the other stuffed me in they slammed the door shut, leaving me growling inside. Okay, this is the best part. Yeah. I feel bad. All that stuff she said was true, Harry said. <laughs> it really hit us the first so, time. Yeah. We did and like 20 still... minutes of us being like, I'm just all we off. I'm just all we off. I just felt so really bad. I just felt really when bad you about the crime I did. Like, I'm so, I want money. <laughs> I mean, so sorry. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do crime. You want to. I don't want to fucking. I don't want. I would so fucking sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was my favorite part. That I think. was, yeah. I'm sad that that's lost the time. Me yeah, too. Because it's really know, good. Yeah, it hit harder the first time. It's really iconic. Uh, <laughs> yo, yo, I'm so fucking sorry. I, well, I wanted to do it, but I still felt bad about it. <laughs> This is why you focus cameras, kids. That's why you remind yourself to to, to ask your partner to uh, focus both the cameras again. Uh, Or make sure your partner's in focus, honestly. I feel so bad. I feel really bad, too, that I didn't, I didn't, I turned off the fucking camera. (laughs) Here's the real lesson, kids. When you, when you start your own video podcast with the APWSTR video podcasting kit. Yeah. Make sure you don't turn off your camera after you focus it. Because it will unfocus itself because God hates you. (laughs) Dude, if we ever get so corporate and so capitalist that we make a APWSDR podcasting kit and it's just the little plastic Behringer audio interface and the little twenty dollar microphone. Oh, it's like the cheapest equipment. Not even possible. a twenty dollar, like a five dollar yeah, microphone. Yeah, five dollar. Like it's not even the equipment y- we use. Yeah, like it's just USB and the audio interface like, yeah, is the like, XLR uh, and it doesn't even match up. Yeah, that's the thing. I know there's like actual like kit.co. I think is where you actually like show off like whatever equipment you use, and that's like mm. the it's the it's an Amazon affiliate thing, or I think even like B and H as well. You could do. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, it would be really funny if we made one of those and we just lied about the equipment we use. Just really, Here's really the equipment cheap. we use. It's a two hundred dollar Canon uh, camcorder <laughs> bought straight from Best Buy. It's a twenty dollar webcam I found in my backyard. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Okay, it was left there one day. I don't know. I feel bad. All the stuff she said was twoo. Harry said. <laughs> I didn't hear any reply. Just footsteps as they carried me back into the car. I sighed, closed my eyes, and no time I fell asleep. Pretty fucked. That's pretty fucked. And like, yeah, but you're also like, like, whatever. I don't give a shit, Harry. Yeah. Fuck you, In Harry. The trunk. I don't Let's give go. a shit. We're gonna commit yeah. crimes. I'm. <laughs> gotta... I'm Zane from One Direction. I'm going to commit. You a know, crime. I really enjoyed this One Direction fan fiction, but when they decided to start doing crimes, I had to put my controller down. I had to put my phone down. <laughs> Andrew Tate. Yeah. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to say about GTA 6. Real oh, yeah. quick, I'm sorry. Quick. It's fine. It's all, no one cares about this. It's fine. It's good. We're good. Yeah, who gives a shit? Fucking whatever. No one listens to this part. Uh, fucking Andrew Tate being like, you can't kill cops. That's fucked up. Aren't you a criminal? Yeah, he's a fucking criminal. Wouldn't you... You'd be the most pro-killing uh, cop person ever. You've Maybe bragged you wouldn't have about gone bribing to jail. the Romanian cops. Well, that's bribing. You're working with the cops. That's why it's okay. You're supporting cops by yeah, giving can, them money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, those poor cops. It's not I like they never have the most funding of any fucking thing ever. Well, you've, he's based his entire identity around like being a GTA character. Yeah, which I think is uh, that's another thing too. I'm willing to bet they'd have like an Andrew Tate like fucking yeah. equivalent. If that's true, they're gonna go after social media, like, dude. For, for sure, hundred sure, percent. Dude, I dude, hope they, they just make us. him like. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> they went on the website Schmedit, <laughs> and all they do is read Schmedit posts whether they're asking yeah. if they're butt face holes. Okay, so you're you are an uh, the 
the theme park food cart guy and I'm the customer service for the tolling place and we do a failing podcast. Yeah, that would be awesome. It's just us from three years ago. Yeah, dude. That'd be dope. Hell yeah. Okay. I awoke later with my carrier opened. I poked my head out and glanced around. A dog bed, a few dog toys, a water bowl, and good and a food bowl were spread out on the cement floor. There were stairs on the other side of the room leading upwards and only light from a single light bulb hanging from the ceiling. You're joking, I barked. You're borking. <laughs> You're borking. <laughs> Bork borking. <laughs> I guess. Barf bar bark bark barking. Bark 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 bark. bark. Joke bark. <laughs> Joke. I barked. Seriously, you guys treat me like a dog. You're well, they barking. put you in a yeah. You're 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 put in a pet carrier. Like yeah. Are you still having this realization? I know. I howled as loud as I could. No response. I heard a door open and several footsteps coming down the stairs, which I've just now realized that's a response, isn't it? Yeah, they did respond to you. They, they did. Yeah. You just had to wait. And they all, a all damn these, these five conjoined twins, they, yeah. They, all they, right, here's where I did the really funny, uh, I took the microphone off the stand and it was yeah, really good. I'm yeah. not going to do that again because it was really difficult, but I will go off camera and then do this. Yeah. You barked. <laughs> Louis it's asked, in the sir. way that you use it. <laughs> <laughs> You did it, sir. I'm proud of Thanks. you. You're still you're still to do it without moving the, the, the <laughs> mic out of the arm. Yay! <laughs> you barked. Uh, Louis asked sarcastically. I sighed, shifting. Guys, I'm sorry. I really am. I just lost it after you wanted me to explain. I said, sitting on the floor. It's okay. We understand being kidnapped might be stressful. Liam said. Might I asked, raising an eyebrow. They laughed. Group hug! Louis exclaimed, gathering us all in a hug. We're all friends. Gain their trust? Check, I thought. Next escape attempt, number three. Author's note. Hey guys, okay, real quick, please stop commenting on for me to update fast. I'm in the middle of moving and it's kind of hard. Thanks. Fair. L. Chapter 10. Chapter 10. Or, my favorite chapter. Uh, or, yeah, just Josh's favorite chapter. Yeah, this is my favorite one, yeah. Hey guys, this actually isn't a chapter. I just figured out. I just oh god. Blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, this actually isn't a chapter. I just figured that would get y'all to read this. I won't be updating as much anymore because I have simply lost inspiration. I hope. I promise to update when inspiration strikes. Hmm. Fair enough. And I didn't read the comments last time. Yeah, actually, yeah. What What are people thinking about this? Because it's about to take a turn. Or is it? Maybe it, I guess it really doesn't. Oh, lots of people are like, that's okay, I get it, um, ah, but I really nice. like your book, I hope you update it. Mm, that's that's good, people are supportive. Yeah. yeah. Alright, chapter 10 preview, still in progress. Jules POV, I dove under a bush as soon as I heard footsteps coming closer. No, 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 I thought as they stopped right outside the bush. Got ya, Zane yelled, moving the branches away and revealing my <laughs> hiding spot. Gotcha. Gotcha. You barked. <laughs> gotcha. You, you barked. Yeah. <laughs> I, you hid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not, that doesn't tickle <laughs> your yeah, fancy. It no, wasn't right. that good. Uh, right. I fled dodging trees to find a new hiding spot. Wait, you thought I was running away again, didn't you? No, that's next week. We're playing hide and seek. ba da ba ba da ba ba I yelped as I was tackled from behind. Dang it, Niall, I shrieked. The blonde Irish boy standing on me as, as I landed on the ground. This is hide and seek, not apocalypse. So, that was pretty funny, he laughed, rolling off me. I huffed and sat up, dusting myself off. Author's note, it's not finished. I just felt so bad for not updating. Also, I know Zane left, but because I don't really pay attention to them anymore, screw it, he's still in, in it here. Yeah, okay, so I remember, okay, I remember this now, because I remember thinking the conspiracy theory was this person was so depressed yeah. that Zane is no longer in One Direction. And One Direction broke up. And One Direction so, broke so, up, so it's like, why continue the story? Right. When, because apparently, because I've been wondering when the story takes place. Yeah. Like, how far into their career. So now it seems like it's happening in real time of yeah. like, yeah. And now it has to stray from the path that the reality has taken. Yeah. Which is now more difficult, I guess, because yeah. you have to now create a whole world where you have to make an alternate history video of like, what would happen if One Direction didn't break up? And you have to like... 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's fascinating, I think. So I wonder if literally just that, because I also thought, uh, and I don't remember, I thought Zane was kind of the most referenced character in this series. No, he was kind of like the silent guy. Okay. I feel like Niall and Louis were the most. It might be Niall that I'm thinking of. Yeah. That actually is referenced <laughs> I'm trying more. trying to remember all the names of the guys, because there's Harry, there's Zane, there's Niall, there's... Louis. Louis and... Tomlinson. <laughs> um, Jamie. Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Don't remember his name. Fuck. Um, fuck. Fuck. What man. the fuck is uh? What is his name? It's something. Okay, Nile. That's one. Nile. Zane. Zane Louis. Jack. <laughs> Jackson. Our cat. Our cat. Jack. Yeah. Um. No. Uh. Harry. 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 Z- fucking what fucking what's the name shit, it was the other one I, i've never given a fuck about one direction until this fucking I story to some of them too it's, this is really fucked up wow what the fuck is it what's his name uh niall harry liam and zane liam wait liam liam harry liam zane louis niall yeah there we go because of the l's I keep thinking Louie and... Simon Cowell, Liam. put some other fucking letters for first names. Yeah, you really should have told him shit. to change his goddamn name to, like, Xavier. Or yeah, come on. Fucking... Even that's kind of close to Zane. Yeah. Adam. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Char- Charles. In charge, yeah. Charles in charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have put him two up at the forefront. Yeah, exactly. We can't... Yeah, we... Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So, I wonder... Yeah. Like, maybe... Okay, I'll, I'll let the uh, next okay. few updates speak for themselves, because, so, yeah. Now, this one's titled, So Sorry. Sorry. Look, I'm not inspired at all to continue this story. I've been trying, yeah, but it just doesn't work out, and it feels like a chore. I loved writing it at first, but I just outgrew it. I guess it could give away the story, but who would continue it? I guess message me, and we can work it out, but no promises, guys. Frowny face. What are the comments on that? Uh, Well, I have not done. Oh, okay. Uh, I just don't want somebody else to continue the book only to have their writing not be very good. Mm. Parentheses, parentheses, no offense to any writers, end parentheses. Or for them to also drop the story and have y'all get your hopes up for nothing. So I'm just going to end the book here, I guess. Thank you all for the support and the reads and the votes. I love all of you so much. I feel terrible I can't that I can't continue. You guys were so, so supportive. Thank you all. The book is officially discontinued. So sorry. So there's one comment on specifically I'm going to end the book here, I guess. Okay. And it just says okay, and then sad face. No. Um, that's good that no one's like giving them shit, like for being like, why don't you fucking write it? You know, like jaw drops, burst into tears. Damn. Oh well, yeah, lots of just people being like, I'm, I'm understand. You don't want to write with no feeling. That's good. Makes sense. That's very nice. That is very nice. Yeah. Wow. I feel like yeah, especially in some of the other stories, some of the comments started to get real fucking like. They're Why mean. Are you fucking doing this, yeah, dude. You this know? is fucking stupid. I yeah. hate her. Yeah, you know. That's nice. All right. Wow is the title of this one. Wow. Okay. Okay. This isn't an update. I'm sorry if uh, you got your hopes up. Okay. The past few weeks, I've, we've been on Wattpad again, checking out a few stories, scrolling through any of uh, my notifications, all that. Let me just say. Wow, you guys are amazing. Even though the story is clearly discontinued, you guys keep coming. I get more and more uh, votes, more and more reads. I've almost got 300 votes. You guys are all amazing. Thanks so much. I'm trying to think of ways I can try to continue the story, but no ideas yet. I promise I'll keep thinking, though. Thanks again, L. Damn. Uh... Some of the dude one D needs to save her. Ooh, okay, that's a good idea. Um, But yeah, there are comments that are just like... Uh, you should continue this. One said you should make her fall in love with Niall. No, wait, no, don't like that. That's <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. Don't fucking do that shit. What? Someone else said uh, you should make her get kidnapped by some other guy and One Direction needs to save her. Oh, see, that's okay. That's a good switch up. I can, I I like can, that. I can fuck with that. And then the last one is sorry. Ah. Okay, guys, I can't continue this story whatsoever. I'm really sorry. Thanks for the votes and comments. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. For the final time, L. Damn. <laughs> And the comments another, on that one. Another unfinished saga. <laughs> we're just like, it's okay. And then someone said, please update. And then I love your book. Could you give me your email, social media? Wow. Because they want to get in contact, I guess. Yeah. That's nice, though. That's nice. I actually, you know, it's, it's heartwarming seeing the community, which is like really nice about it. Yeah, that's, huh. Damn. Yeah. 
It's interesting because now it seems like there was originally, and I didn't notice this the first time. She was like, uh, "Fucking, oh yeah, we're, I, I'll pass this off to someone else, even if I'm a little hesitant." Yeah, and I was like, I, I, I definitely was like, "Dude, get over yourself, calm down." But, but also now, now I'm looking, turned, I'm like, you know what? I guess it's yeah, fine. it's fine to end it. It's there. your baby, man. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. And also, like, yeah, and I think that last, I didn't catch this the first time reading it, the last one where it was like, uh, I'm done with this. I don't even want to come back to it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll respect that. That's fair. Yeah. Damn. Shit. Second story that uh, technically has uh, ended abruptly out of disinterest or, you know. I, I'm sure it happens a lot. Yeah. I think, honestly, I think the first wolf story that we read, um, not the one from the Facebook ad that I got like years ago but the but like the actual first the, the 11 hour story one with yeah. Kara and everything I that one I think is wild that it had an ending honestly yeah especially for how long it was too yeah kind of a, it's actually kind of an achievement to give it credit you know thank you finally I, don't <laughs> after fucking, years don't get on your fucking high horse <laughs> don't get on your fucking high horse right now no but like fucking yeah that's wild huh mm -hmm. damn damn dude it's interesting though okay so is our okay question this is a this is a uh uh, because I, I, I yesterday I said our batting average was fifty percent because it was Josh Hutcherson and this didn't have an ending. But am I technically wrong because our batting average is actually sixty percent because Josh Hutcherson technically did end. There was a sequel that didn't end though. Right. So our how how lenient do we want to be about our batting average? Do we want to say that we've had more successful technically than? Well, what's the average batting average? Of like uh, stories that actually had yeah, an ending for other people that read uh, Wattpad stories. Yeah, what's the average for them? Yeah, what's, completion. Yeah, on their YouTube channel, on their Reddit podcast. <laughs> yeah, um, how? What's the normal batting average? I probably zero because they don't exist. Right, it's an undefined. It's so negative what's the one. goddamn point of a fucking batting average then? Well, because I think it's fascinating, right? <laughs> of like the fan fiction, like how uh, on average how many fan fictions actually end i think it's interesting or maybe i'll it, go fuck myself yeah, all right I think it's, no you're totally right josh I'll jump out through this moldy fucking window that we noticed that was <laughs> yeah, moldy it yesterday was, it was yeah <laughs> there, we had a whole segment on the moldy window that was a, such a good episode um <laughs> Yeah, well, we what spent a two good hours episode just talking that about. No one will ever hear. Hold on, wait. How does mold hurt me? Oh, in that way. Oh, you wow. won't believe it. That's yeah. why I'm not funny. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the mold is making me not funny. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was a gas leak. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're totally right, Josh. I think uh, my favorite thing to do is to go outside with a bat and a ball and hit a ball into a bush and keep track of the percentage of when it goes into the bush and when it doesn't go into the bush and not compare that to anybody else who does the same thing. That's my favorite thing to do is just make up random statistics for myself that don't mean jack shit. To anyone else. Okay, I understand. To, yeah. any, to even me, because it doesn't have any meaning. At all. What if we had a fandom page, you know, like a, a APWSTR.fandom.com and people were like, and there's just a batting average page because <laughs> people want to know the what Josh's the batting, batting average corner. <laughs> well, then I hope there's an entry on there that says Sarah thinks this doesn't mean jack shit. Yeah, dude. Okay, and off topic. Has a personal vendetta off against topic. useless statistics. Did you know yeah. that on the on cinema Wikipedia page for every where it's the <laughs> list of episodes, they have every single rating that both Tim and Greg has given out, <laughs> and they even go so far during the season where like uh, Greg is like, "Well, I'm actually not going to give this a rating because you won't let me review Skyfall." Oh, really? They put in undetermined parentheses. <laughs> Tim guessed it was five packs of popcorn. <laughs> That's so funny. And they funny. go so far, too, that when they have the guests, they also put in, oh, Joe was on this one. Now he didn't give it a rating. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new season of that coming I out, and I'm so excited. Wait. That's dude. like my favorite show on the internet, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Probably, yeah. It's so fucking good. <laughs> oh, God. During a... Uh, I, oh, I, man. Uh, God. I can't believe we watched that whole damn thing. Yeah, and now we, we're going to rewatch it now. It really is like, it's... <laughs> It really is memory hole. Like, there's a little hole in my brain filled with all the memories. I don't um, think that's what memory hole means. But yeah. <laughs> everyone keeps saying it. All these liberals keep saying it. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, blue sky, memory hole. Everything's memory hole because you mean like forgot? 
Yeah. You mean the word I've forgotten about this, but you keep saying memory hold. Yeah. Sure. Double plus good. Let's go. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. But yeah. no, there's a hole in my brain that's just filled with um, on cinema at the cinema. Yeah. So good. Great show. <laughs> go go watch that. Why are you guys watching yeah, this? Yeah. Why are you fucking watching <laughs> us? That's ridiculous. Yeah. There's actual work put in on that show. Go or, to, you go know to what? Go network. watch the OKOP show, actually. That's yeah, a better that's Reddit a better podcast. Reddit podcast. <laughs> Than us. They've actually, by this point, they've gotten to the Reddit segment. <laughs> Definitely, for sure. Yeah, we, they they didn't spend two hours <laughs> on stupid bullshit. <laughs> I'm so oh. happy we've re-recorded. Yeah, this is an infinitely better this episode. This is the best episode we've ever made, yeah. And for those of you on Patreon, you're about to go into the clap segment. For everyone else, ads. Ads. Ah. Welcome to the ad break. Oh my god! Hey, are you doing this podcast so far? <laughs> I sure am for I sure. Can t- I can tell, yeah. <laughs> you know it, bitch. And if you're enjoying it as much as Sarah's enjoying it, you better like, comment, and subscribe and hit the gosh darn bell and rate us five stars on Apple and Spotify podcast. Dude, I never know what's going to come out of my fucking mouth. I just hope it's not the regular I know I am. Yeah, you just want to do wanna, that 80 times. Yeah, you want to switch it up a little yeah. bit. I get it. That's fair. You're good. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. I, I think that's great. I, I love the commitment. If you're enjoying this podcast, raise five stars, five, five, five podcast, whatever platform you're on, whoa, whoa, rate us, whoa, give, us like, give us the like, just, give us the like, give us the five what, stars. Whatever fucking crap you're on, just go to the review section, do the most. And do the most, yeah, whatever, the top amount. Don't do any other amount that's ridiculous. Don't do four go out of spite. Go hard with your opinions. All right, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, this, this sucks. <laughs> All right, but we have a couple ways to support us financially. I'm going to start off with straightrivercoffee.com you can go over there and get APWSTR branded coffee we both picked out the flavors the beans and the roast type I have a morning blend it is a light to medium roast with caramel flavoring and Sarah has a chocolate cream dark roast indeed I have Brazilian beans Sarah's are Colombian beans it is $18 a bag and $16 bitch $16 a bag excuse me $16 a bag it's $28 for the combo so you're getting like I think $6 off if you were to buy them $32 $4 off $4 off not bad it is yeah yeah but you can go over there, buy coffee. The link will be down in the description. Link in the description for all this stuff. Uh, before we do our buy big coffees, I do want to say that down in the link description, there's also Palestinian links as well. Yep. For tips on how to call your congressman and demand a ceasefire, I also found out Ali from Dropout posted a, 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 a thing about how it's a, like a website that makes it easy for you to call and email your congressman. Yeah. Um, so I'll put that link in the description. That's something you're interested in. Go and do that. Um, yeah. Last week we talked about a um, a charity, Care for Gaza, which supposedly was giving food directly to Palestinians, but the PayPal link that they used it had stopped working. So we've refrained from putting that in for the time being until. And that's the only reason we haven't really. Uh, apparently, uh, I follow Basan Wizard Basan on um, TikTok, and uh, she was talking about how. All of the donations, all of the food, all of the supplies are stuck on the desert. And basically Israel is stopping. Yeah, blocking them from getting through. Blocking all the aid actually getting to Palestinians. So that's why I don't want to put a charity down below. And if you're just putting money into something that's not even going to get to yeah. them. Yeah. So. If you have further researched a charity and you want to tell us, please put it in the comment down below and we'll pin your comment. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, definitely do that. We want to help as much as we can. I just want to make sure that it's actually going to Palestinian people and not just yeah. in the desert somewhere or a scammer into somebody's pockets or something. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, on top of that, we also have a couple ways to support the podcast directly financially. Yeah. Uh, you can go to buymecoffee.com forward slash APWSTR. You can mm-hmm. buy us coffees and we'll read whatever you have to say. It's a nice, nice way to tip as long as it's not racist, homophobic, transphobic, uh, just bad. As long as it's good, we'll read it. Yep. Miss Tori bought three coffees. Thank you. Thank you. It's I not believe, a regular Tori. I don't think it is a regular Tori. It's a new Tori. Because it's Miss Tori. Yes. So I'm thinking, my head's thinking different person. I might be wrong on that, but just in case I want to say I'm, that, you know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. I could look at the emails, but I'm lazy. <laughs> so, but not to diminish this coffee. Thank you for this coffee. Yes, thank you. Hey, I wanted to come on and support you guys because your podcast has supported me through the hardest part of my college journey. Hmm. I just finished my student teaching semester and will graduate December 9th with my elementary education degree. That's nice. uh, You said it was the hug emoji? Yeah, the hug. Hug emoji, yeah. 
You guys have helped me a lot with distracting me from the stress of school, being a mom, being in a new relationship, and my certification exam, which I did pass. Thank God. Congratulations. Nice congrats. So even though it's not much, I just wanted to show my appreciation for a fellow neurodivergent pansexual queen and her golden retriever gamer boyfriend, which I say with all the love, especially since my boyfriend is also a golden retriever gamer boyfriend. Lol. Hell yeah. Thank you guys and keep creating two heart emoji. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Absolutely. Thank not you. Gamer. It's not like we just did a whole segment on... <laughs> How much like, you love, love gaming. gaming. Yeah. And I will say, you are neurodivergent as well. Yes. And in fact, more neurodivergent. You actually have I got the, the diagnosis. Yeah. Um, and I'm also a gamer. Yeah. So let's be clear about that. Women gamer? Women what? gamer? <laughs> but no, thank you for the coffee. We appreciate thank it. you so much. And congratulations. You're doing a yeah, lot. Yeah, you're fucking killing it. You yeah. are killing it for sure. Hand hand, they then bought a coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Sarah and Josh. I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Last podcast, you were talking about how fucked society is about sex and sexual standards and everything. I swear I bring this up in, in conversation with everyone. I'm an asexual individual who is sex repulsed, meaning I'm I'm against and repulsed by the idea of myself having sex. Right. But the conversation of sex need to be, needs to be talked about. Mm -hmm. And the words of my favorite musical, Ride the Cyclone, porno is magical. It's the origin story of every human. Also, the stigmatism of watching and talking about porn is crazy. Yeah. Like, I just want to bring up this wild ass porn I saw in the horrendous acting or crazy position, but I'm judged. Yeah. Like, babe, we all know everyone's seen porn at least once. I make it so clear that my friends, that if there's ever something sexual they want to talk about, they can come to me. I think mostly because I'm so detached as an individual from the act of sex that I just view it as an activity, which it is. Right. I get that. Have sex, love sex, talk about sex. It's important. Heart emoji. Yeah. Uh, sincerely, an asexual who will never have sex again. That is fair. Yeah. That is totally fair. I love uh, asexual views on sex, honestly, yeah. because I, I vibe with it. Um, I know some people, there was one comment like a little bit ago that I was looking through the comments and, uh, this person was like, oh, is this the episode where Sarah finds out she's a demisexual? And I'm actually not a demisexual. Mm. Uh, I am pansexual. Um, a demisexual is someone who you have to like realize that you have to like have a emotional connection, a, an intellectual connection with them oh, I get you. before you, uh, are, are sexually attracted to them. And I have fucked some dumbass dudes. <laughs> So, okay, I actually looked up demisexuality because I think I got it wrong because I think it was just perpetuating um, an old understanding or understanding definition. of yeah. de uh, uh, demisexuality is just like observable things. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you meet someone for the first time and you, you know, you might know them online, but then you meet them in real life and then you see them and then you're attracted to them mm. or something like, a, you know, okay, hold on. Let me read the dictionary definition. Uh, demisexuality is a sexual orientation in which an individual does not experience primary sexual attraction, the type of attraction that is based on immediately observable characteristics such as appearance or smell and is experienced immediately after a first encounter. So basically, like, there's a thing that's like, I love everyone is the pansexual thing and uh, the demisexuality thing is I need to know more than just their name. Yeah, okay. To be attracted to them. No, <laughs> for me. Okay. No dog. <laughs> no dog. Um, I <laughs> have yeah. done the thing where you meet someone and they're like, "Yeah, this is me," and I'm like, sh sh "Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hit it and quit. I, I don't need that shit. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm just pansexual. I'm not demisexual. There okay. you go. That's it. But right. I wanted to addendum that because uh, I said some wrong shit earlier and I don't want to get it wrong. That is fair. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Okay. Back to the ads. Okay. This is going to be in the middle of the ads. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bupcake. B-U-P-C-A-K-E. Bupcake. Bupcake. She, her. Bought five coffees. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Love the pod. I look forward to it every week. Smiley face emoticon. Mm. You've Thank talked you. about enjoying Joe Para a couple times, and I feel like you might enjoy seeing one of my favorite performances of his, where he appeared on a public access comedy show about 10 years ago as a character by the name of Zero Fucks Boyd. Hell yeah. His bit starts at 3645. You want to check it out? Hope you get a laugh out of it. And then he sent the leak. Thank you for sending the link. We, we watched, watched it. it. It is very funny. It's so good. And I forget that. Uh, yeah, the uh, I forgot about Chris Gethard, who's the host of that show, because I remember, I didn't realize he did public access stuff. But that's, that's cool as hell. Pretty epic. Yeah. yeah. But having uh, Joe Pera come on with, I think he was wearing sunglasses, right? Was he? I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I remember... know he was wearing like a little like he had, like, a, like jacket. a jacket vest yeah. thing on. Yeah, and he was just like. Uh, he had a popped collar. Yeah, he had a pop. Yeah. <laughs> 
He, I think he did have sunglasses on. He might have, yeah. And he was just people like, like, ooh, sunglasses indoors. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. Ooh. It, seems like you, it seems like you give a fuck about your appearance. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> Uh, was, fuck him. <laughs> I love him so much. Yeah, I love Joe Paris. So good. Thank you for sending that to us. That Thank was, you. Uh, it was, that was really very good. Nice. Oh, fuck. I lost my position where the no. copies were. So we'll never be able to read the copies. Ah! Okay, now. Danny Phantom bought 13 coffees. Thank oh you so gosh, much. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Hello, I he- love you both dearly. I heard that Josh had love story, parentheses, Taylor's version, on his Spotify wrapped. Mm-hmm. Only because of the bear. <laughs> really? It was on the bear, and I think it got a resurgence of everything. Oh, yeah. So it was I just on the was, bear. It was on the bear. I think there's a there we was a watch guy. That show. Yeah, it was, apparently it's a good show. And yeah, but I don't know if I can deal with the anxiety. That's what everyone keeps saying. Yeah, it's a very because it's about it also it's about specifically. Screaming. Yeah, it's about like chefs, and that, that'll bring me back to when I worked at Disney. And yeah. uh, I didn't work in like a kitchen, but I worked in a quick service restaurant, I've which known, had quick kitchen elements. But I, I mean, this is a big hospitality state. I've known a lot of people that have done that, oh, and God. I think most of them Corner. have tried to kill themselves. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I don't know. Scared of that. Yeah. I feel you're missing out on some quality Taylor Swift deep cuts. I know this is what coffees are used for, but if you're up to it, I would kindly request that you both listen to the song Would've, Could've, Should've, and give your honest 30-second review during the ad break. If you need convincing, it's about how 32-year-olds shouldn't date 19-year-olds. Cheers. I don't know why we're totally cool with 32-year-olds dating 19 (laughs) Yeah, we're abs- We're so cool with 19, she's legal. More like legal. (laughs) She's an adult. Yeah. So it's totally, <laughs> it's totally fine. Legal. Yeah, that's why when you um, go on the uh, the the date selection, once you're past 18 years, it just says legal. Yeah, <laughs> so that's yeah. it. It's just legal and not legal. Yeah, exactly. And then if you click not legal, the FBI shows up at your house. And they kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. 30 second review. Go. Um, yeah, I thought it was really good. I, I have heard some of the parts of it. Like, definitely I've seen girls on tiktok be like uh give me back my girlhood it was mine first yeah yeah there are some really like strong lyrics in it and i think it's one of the better taylor swift songs yeah i for think sure. there are taylor swift songs that i'm not a fan of yeah i'm uh, not a, i'm not a fan of me i'm not a fan of um look what you made me do no i'm not a fan of that one either I'm only if fa- okay i am a fan of the meme of uh oh taylor can't come to the phone right now because she's dead i think that is pretty it's silly a funny, it's a funny meme i'm not gonna lie when i heard it the first time i was like i don't think it's goth punk as she described in the time in the time person of the year yeah. was, that was pretty silly that's a little silly um but i do think it's a funny meme now when i first heard it, i was like this is cringe but yeah. um, now I think it's really funny. I think it's a funnier song, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. What are, look what you made me do. One time, my brother got really drunk. Apparently, when it was when it was out, my brother, who you know, he's a dude. He likes yeah. music, but I don't. He was dating a girl, I think, that liked Taylor Swift or something, or maybe she didn't. I don't remember. Mm. And um, look what you made me do came out. My brother would get really drunk and be in the car, and he. I don't know why my whole family we do this thing. And it's very toxic and we shouldn't do it. But yeah. where if you're in a car and you're in the passenger seat and someone says something you don't agree with, you pretend to duck and roll out of the car. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So apparently he was drunk and he was doing that and then it came on it came on and he tried to do that or something. Yeah. And then also he was he was just drunkenly gone, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you do. And um, just imagine like a 30 year old man, large like, man, lumberjack fucking, looking man. Well, yeah. a man that looked exactly like um, oh, Kevin Smith. Yeah. Exactly like Kevin Smith doing that. Yeah. <laughs> is pretty funny. God. But yeah, I think this was a better song. I think this, her, is, yeah. this is genuine. She's a great songwriter. She's yeah. a great musician. She's a wonderful singer. She's very incredibly talented, S- works very hard. I will say sometimes it's hard to separate that from the corporation, the persona of Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's what I was going to um, say. But yeah, I will say this is one of the better. Like, I feel like there's actually a, a genuine connection there, you know? like if, if she has any hand in her own marketing, she's doing a really good fucking job. 100 percent but i, I will that. say i i mostly view taylor swift as like a corporate, a corporate entity yeah entity. <laughs> taylor swift llc yeah. yeah and i think i don't know uh and that's also our jaded like small business i think like view you for know sure yeah i think also she should um save free palestine she should say that i agree with that her and most large artists artists celebrities yeah i think it would actually should... have a good a net positive i think that would be nice if she did that Exactly. That's yeah. it. That's all I have to say. Yeah. But right. it was a good song. I it was a good song. song. Yeah. Thank you for showing it to us. I really yeah. appreciate it. Also, I like learning new songs, you know. 
Those are songs that are good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Lindsay bought 10 coffees. Thank Hell you, Lindsay. Yeah. This is a short one, but I love this one. Came for the Reddit stories, stayed for the wolf stories. Hell yeah. That's good. Thank I like you. that. Yeah. I like that a lot. It's good to know that the wolf stories are, are resonating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Putting that on all the t shirts. <laughs> I know we're going to do the Ron and Hermione stop 9-11 one, but I can't wait to get back to just a pure wolf story. Yeah, one day we'll find one. We will find one. It'll, it's out there somewhere. It is. Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight, someone's writing wolf stories and loving me tonight. <laughs> I went to music college. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> don't you guys love bloated ad reads? <laughs> Everyone loves I'm bloated, bloated ad reads. Ad reads. Uh, these are coffees. That's good. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. And Anna bought five coffees. Thank you, Anna. These are our last coffees. Mm -hmm. I can't have caffeine, but y'all are my coffee every morning on my way to work and on my way back home. Thank Your you. Your podcast has me laughing on the highway and I find myself answering with you guys lol. No. Also, it really helps with my mommy issues and it's so validating to hear Sarah talk about it. I won't go into depth because I know it's triggering, but the commentary really helps me. Love y'all and thank you for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, heart, uh, smiley face with the heart emojis around it. Thank you. And honestly, I appreciate that because sometimes I feel like I dig into the mom and parent and family well a lot. No, I get you. But I think it's important to talk about it. You know, I, I think it's... Uh, I think so too. And I'm glad that it helps people, honestly. Me too. And thank you so much for yeah. the coffee. Thank you so much for that. If you want to give, uh, give us coffee, buymecoffee.com forward slash ABWSTR. Yeah, do it. If you want to support us on a monthly uh, or yearly basis, you can go to patreon.com forward slash ABWSTR. There you'll get Sarah's solo podcast, The Spoke Zarathustra. Where I just talk about uh, crap on the internet. Hell yeah. Yeah, and, and those episodes on Patreon will never come out. They will be exclusive to our Patreon until the day we're dead. <laughs> and when The Spoke uh, Zarathustra uh, comes out publicly, it'll just be like new episodes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And you will also be able to get access to our Unhinged series. You'll also get access to any of our exclusive content. We've made a bunch of exclusive content throughout the few years we've had Patreon. Mm -hmm. And you get early access to not only our gaming videos, which is about three hours early, you get those. Uh, as long as I can get podcasts done in time, they get uh, access to po early podcasts as yeah, well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's patreon.com forward slash ABWSTR. There's one, three, five, and $10 tiers. One and three, you get a seven-day free trial if you like. And mm -hmm. five and $10 tiers, you get your name at the end of it. If you do a yearly subscription... You get 10% uh, your, your, off. Your name at the end of the podcast. You get your name at the end of the podcast, and if you get a yearly subscription, you get 10% uh, uh, off your, yeah. your uh, subscription. So, yeah. all those links are down in the description. Check them all out. Is there anything else? Oh, channel memberships. Yeah, if you want to do that. We're going to try a new thing. Apparently, I can uh, allow access for privated videos before they go up. Yeah. So, you get your name at the end. You might not get the exclusive content, but you might also be getting earlier podcasts as well if I yes. can get them up early. We've been trying to figure out how to make it profitable or useful to you guys yeah you know, that profitable's yeah. not the right how do we make more word. money <laughs> no we were trying to figure out how to make uh channel memberships work because a lot of it was like it seems like it's mostly like twitch subs streaming kind of yeah and we don't really stream on here we used to do it for gaming but then it made more sense to make the gaming a separate, a separate channel thing, yeah um but now you guys before a podcast goes out you'll get early access to it now yeah. because i have a there's an option for it which is nice we're gonna continue to try to figure out ways to give our members more, more stuff yeah it just sucks to go through Google and YouTube to like have payment processing and stuff because they take a huge percentage of it. And it's like, well, not even that. It's just the amount of work we put into the Patreon and the yeah. amount of work we put into this. And then it would require like a whole we'd new have to computer. Upgrade. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to upgrade. We have to move to a place that has better internet access because getting 30 gigabyte uploads at yeah. our speed takes about three hours. So a three hour podcast takes like two and a half hours to upload. Yeah. And doing that three times as opposed to two is almost impossible. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's just it's a because this is a two person operation. It sucks, but we're not able to give like a lot of membership uh, perks right now. Perks but right now, yeah. If you do want perks and you're like, why the fuck am I paying for memberships? Then go to the Patreon. Go to Patreon. That's the best place, and also it's cheaper as well yeah. if you just want extra stuff. So yeah, yeah. All those are down in the description. Enjoy the rest of the show and get ready for a change in scenery. Whoa! Bye. Bye. We're really bad at starting these. Yeah, we're the you worst at this. But we, we get there. Yeah. We will get there, yeah. <laughs> we Maybe will get this there is eventually. the beginning, you know? Who knows? We're very candid about how this gets done. <laughs> yeah. The past almost 200 episodes have all started with, how you doing? 
Yeah, and that's just it. how you doing, and, how that, you doing? and it works that What's way. What's going yeah. on? That's how we do it. Yeah, but how, how you doing, John? This is John <laughs> from OKOP. Hello, our first collab. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yes, I am. I am doing fantastic. Um, I right before this, um, our producer Riley came running down. We we all like live live with each other. Yeah, and uh, our landlord was like. The alarm! It's down. The world is breaking, and you must <laughs> you must fix it now. So I was literally on the phone with her and ADT, and it's like just classic, just like so. Uh, if I, how do you right click the mouse to oh, get God. the copy <laughs> and then go to the paste? And so I was doing that for like an hour, and then Riley runs down, and it was like, dude, you must join the podcast. And here I am. <laughs> so that's my story. <laughs> That's nice. That's well, fair. No, I shit happens, man. I get it. Like fucking um That's the perfect scenario to get into this scenario. Like, you know what I mean? Like a bad scenario now you'll have a good time, at least. That, yeah. That is that is true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. And I'm armed. Yeah. With the security system. <laughs> exactly. Good. Good. Right, I was about to say I thought, that sounds like a threat for a second of like <laughs> I'll get, <laughs> see, I'll get through that. That'd be great. <laughs> You know, we, a concealed carry is now legal in Florida, so yep. you didn't have to. You didn't have to announce it. You could have said <laughs> that is so true. Was it ever illegal? I think yeah, it was illegal technically, like maybe. But also, you know, I guess if you don't get away with it, well, you it was by concealed Florida laws. Yeah, yeah, concealed carry, and then also you don't need a permit to get a gun. So literally, anyone can just have one on them unless you're on bath salts then then it's then all pets are off yeah, yeah they wrote that in at the last second like well we don't want everyone just the bath yeah, salts yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i think hopefully if we get this edited this will go on the episode where we talk about gta 6 <laughs> and how it's a perfect encapsulation of florida yeah if, <laughs> it uh, looks exactly like what's outside I am gonna be I am gonna be uh, busting my ass sunday to get it out by I tuesday hope so yeah oh. now because holy crap <laughs> We straight up, we yeah. watched that and we were like, that's like outside. That's like right outside my door. And we just pointed at our, our back. Our, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. the, the, what right. is, fucking, uh, like any shot of like the Everglades swamp, that was pretty accurate. Yeah. And also, yeah. uh, fucking any of the roads. Miami. Like Miami was super accurate. It's super wild. accurate. Yeah. We yeah. straight up saw that Josh fucking cried. He watched that he was crying. <laughs> that was my uh, Avengers it's Endgame for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, except it, Avengers it is Endgame is also Endgame, Avenger, if you think Endgame. about it, like it's been so long. Yeah, thirteen Very years, true. I think, almost oh, too long. I'm, I'm, I'm an great. old bastard now, you know. And GTA, it still rocks. Like, yeah, yeah it looks I've, really good. Yeah, I'm actually excited because then I get to go outside and be angry about like my town. Like, if I go to Publix and I get upset, I get to go home and play <laughs> a video game it. where I bomb a Publix. That'd yeah, be exactly, great. dude. Yeah. Legend to steal the I don't know if I have a military base, but me me and my homie Ben would always try to like four AM to steal the planes from the military base and Hell not get yeah. shot yeah, down. That's always the that's the that's all you do in that game. You gotta get the you gotta <laughs> go into the military base, dodge the tanks and get the plane. That's it. Dodge the tanks and get the plane. That uh, shouldn't be their right. catchphrase. Exactly. That's, but yeah, <laughs> that's how that's uh, it's a metaphor for how the, the show gets done. Which we are doing yeah, a show. Yeah. I'm gonna try and run. yeah. Wow. Well, oh uh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. I forgot. We're not what just show? talking. Shit. Yeah. Um, okay. Welcome, John. How uh, uh, glad you're doing well. I'm glad that despite some uh, 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 previous like landlord uh, issues, uh, security breaches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> security breach. Yeah. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh but yeah how are you doing uh what what got you into podcasting i want to yeah, ask that. if you want to uh, give like a some sort of you don't have to be like here's my resume you no, know whatever yeah, you want to give about yeah, yeah, your yeah. background yeah i just yeah totally i'll give y'all the tldr version <laughs> <laughs> um so uh i um, I quit my job in 2019 in like marketing mm. and I was like, I want to get into this podcast thing, but I did not yet have the cojones to just like full throttle and like be a talent. So I started as a producer. Mm. So I was like producing podcasts mostly for companies because they actually had like money to pay me so I would not starve and die. Truth. Um, and uh, so I did that for a while um, and I kind of played around with doing some of my own projects, uh, which were cool and great, but like very inconsistent. Yeah. Um, and then I met my co-host Sam on OKOP. OKOP show is the name of our current podcast. Um, and uh, we actually were hired by 
a big scary behemoth podcast company that will not be named. Oh, um, interesting. We can, we can talk more uh, off the record. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, we we were hired and they were literally like, yeah, you know, we'll do this. And I was like, hey, what does it look like if it's successful? And then what does it look like when you like shut down a show, cancel a show? Like, oh, we don't cancel shows, but we'll we'll guarantee you X amount of episodes, right? Episode really? X comes out. Canceled. Oh, really? Shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Whoa. And not for like, like, uh, society canceled us. Like, oh, the downloads <laughs> no, as were in like, yeah, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, yeah no, right. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The CPMs were too low. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. So then we were like, well, like, I was basically like, I had stopped working on everything um, to like do that. And they're like, okay, let me actually like try to be talent now mm. that I have like something like paying me. Um, and then we were like, well, crap, we made it this far. We have kind of like a good thing going, good rapport, good friendship, whatever. Yeah. Let's just start throwing stuff at the wall until something sticks. Um, yeah. And then we tried, we ended up trying uh, the Reddit stories and we posted our very first TikTok. And it's like first 24 hours, it was like, you know, 300 views or whatever. Like, okay, cool. Like literally like 24 hours and one second just started going crazy and now i think that very first post is at like half a million views it got like three hundred thousand views damn. in like a day or two that's crazy that's interesting and yeah yeah we were like this is it and we're, we're a daily show we're absolute maniacs um so we have literally posted an episode every single day since that day that's so damn. wild that's me, wild man. That's interesting because uh, we um, also like we were doing the podcast for like maybe a year and a half before we went to Reddit, I think. Right. Like, uh, I don't remember. A year, two years. It might have been two years. Maybe? Uh, when did you start? What year? 2018 and then 2019. Okay. Yeah. No, wait, no, wait, no. Wait. It was 2021. Was it oh, my God. We were doing this for three years. And <laughs> then. So. We, we were we, just so dedicated to putting out shit that nobody listened to. to. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, and, that's yeah. right, baby. And now it's I all scrubbed it. off the internet for the time being. You yeah, know, because we were not we were not couth. We yeah. were not. <laughs> we were trying but to be like, edgy, uh, real bad. Yeah, we posted. We did like a Reddit segment. I think originally as a bit. Like yeah. as like a, because right. the, the bit was we didn't have anything else to do, and then we did Reddit, and then we got a, we put a tiktok out because i was also experimenting with like putting tiktoks out and that one also got half a million in like a week or something people like, really yeah. love the reddit stories and i mean we were like fuck it we're doing yeah. it i guess like Good. you know That's, i mean we got a lot of did you guys get a lot of like you're cheating off of this podcast because like we got a lot of like oh we're just doing what the judges do now or two hot takes or, or like two any hot of takes them. yeah and I'm, like, I'm realistically now i'm like yes they did pave the way they did. They yeah. did make that audience. Yeah. You know, we really didn't. Oh um, shit. Really? We we literally launched September of 2021. So they were definitely before us for sure. Yeah. Uh, both two hot takes and and the judges. Um, but we would get a lot of like, you two think you could buy a microphone? It means you have talent. Stop talking forever. <laughs> did you get wait, wow. did you get that early that on? Because we've gotten that this. like in the yeah. last few months. Like we we still get those comments sometimes of like <laughs> That's my those are who my gave favorite. These two microphones. Yeah. Yeah, like who gave these two. to a podcast? I'm like, what do you mean? I literally give love you? those comments. They're, yeah. they're hilarious to me. I miss them. Yeah. I miss them. We don't get them as much anymore. Damn. Do you still get hate? We still get hate real real random hate comments but uh i think we're kind of coming to a point where like mm. the people who hated us stop watching us oh, and fuck. the algorithm the algorithms are now like pretty good at like finding the people that actually enjoy the content you're giving um, me hope then because yeah, holy we, shit. we need a little bit of a, a hope that like oh there's light at the end of this tunnel okay a good. corner can turn a corner can yeah. turn thank uh, freaking god yeah. Last week, yeah. I got accused of being light on child abuse <laughs> because I didn't call out a guy that was taking the batteries away from his stepchildren, a, a terrible, abusive <laughs> man. And I am a victim of child abuse. So <laughs> it was like, very yeah, it's like a nice, layered. Yeah, double it was edge, very like layered. Just <laughs> multiple stabs, you know. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. So I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to leave. <laughs> <laughs> in in fairness, um, did we tell you Sam's 23, 24 minute story? No, I don't think so. I'll keep it very quick. But okay. my co-host Sam, he was out with a girl 
with only friends of uh, only intentions of like, hey, this is a friend. We're just hanging out and catching up or whatever. Mm. Uh, then so she's like, hey, can you take me home? Can you drive me home? Uh, and he was like, I will drive you home because it was very far, like usually like an hour drive each way. Oh, shit. Um, oh, my God. So he was like, I will drive you home if uh, it's 23 minutes or less. Pulls up the Google Maps. It's 24 minutes. And he says, well, I'm a man of my word. Enjoy your Uber home. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god! <laughs> that was wild. I didn't say it just like that, but you know, yeah, uh, with a little more tact. And people, so he told that story, and people in their comments like, "You're the a hole. You're the a hole." Just like flaming him. So he's like, "I that was our apology video. I apologize <laughs> yeah, for that's not doing <laughs> one more minute of the drive." Oh my god! I mean, I don't know. Part of me, Stick part to your boundaries. Like, yeah, you did say <laughs> a boundary, yeah, I guess. That's a boundary. Yeah, of like yeah. 23 minutes, yeah. It's Stick I to think him. it could go, I think it's kind of 50 50, you know, like you're kind of a hole and not the a hole at the same time. It's, no, it's, like, really, a, yeah. it's like a Seinfeld moment a little bit where it's just like, a, I most. don't know. Fuck, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, like a very, it's like a, a very, <laughs> like, yeah, like small little thing, and that it could, but it could very easily like explode into a larger thing. I totally understand that. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I've definitely done that to people that, uh, uh, you know, they take a, you give them a minute, they take a mile kind of situation. Those yeah. turns of people, but yeah. So no, well, that gives me hope. Thank God. Thank yeah, you thank so you much. For that. <laughs> Holy Just crap. Just keep going. They're, they're out there. <laughs> they are out there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's a really inspiring story. I, I cannot believe that podcasting has gotten to this point where there are companies that give you money for a certain amount of episodes. Because I've been listening to podcasts since I was like, 12 when Mark like Maron was like the big guy. <laughs> yeah, early 2010s yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Same. And, same early 2010s. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Okay, yeah. And it, I it's you never know if someone's doing a podcast if they just are not like a fan of a podcast or if they're just like, oh, someone paid me to do this podcast. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, get I think it. a lot like if you're like a celebrity or a name and it's like, yeah. I have a podcast. It's like, okay, you're doing this. But like yeah. me and Sam, me and Sam were making like stupid YouTube videos when we were like nine years old. That's awesome. Um, Hell yeah. And our producer Riley has been digging in the archives to embarrass us to death. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Dude, but yeah, dope. we're, we're in it. We're in it. Wow. We're in it. Fuck we love yeah, the content. Dude. Hell well, yeah. Let's do the thing that the people actually want yeah. to hear. We just want to do a little, little interview, get to know each other. And now it's tiny. Yeah. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, who wants to go first, Sarah? Because like technically, you go first on the show. <sighs> you're so right, and now you you're making me go first here today. <laughs> That's really cool and awesome. I'll go first. It's not a, <laughs> if it's it's a different type of setup. I'll do it. <laughs> Why are you gaslighting her into going for yeah, Josh? I don't, under, I don't understand. This, thank well, you. Earlier Josh, on, cancel earlier, Josh. Earlier cancel on, Josh. He's a I misogynist. You, I've been yeah. screaming it at the audience. Get him canceled. <laughs> Stop talking on what I say. Get Josh canceled. Thank you. Listen, listen Finally, I, swear I, get to <laughs> I swear to God. Swear to God, guys. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll go first. I'll go no, first. We I'll talked fine. about it I'll earlier. You're right. I did. I forgot about that. Hands I, are tied. I'll go first. Okay, fine. Sarah <laughs> is using my ADHD against me to. Uh, <laughs> you guys should cancel Sarah. No, all of a sudden, I'm able. Neurodivergence. Who will win? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Josh is using his ADHD to get out of <laughs> accountability. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's the title of the show, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, let me read the, this goddamn Reddit story. Sorry, yeah, Fuck. yeah. Okay. Uh, I, 23 female, have been seeing the perfect guy, except he, 24 male. Sounds like Minnie Mouse during sex. <laughs> Doesn't sound like the perfect guy to me. <laughs> oh, it, 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 Just because it sounds like Minnie Mouse. Maybe it's not the perfect guy for, for you. Maybe there is someone out there that's like, is that is that that's the a level Mickey. of like Disney adult like uh, Ooh, getting words? Oh, like, shit. That's a new level on like the you, Disney you have, adult You already iceberg. have the annual passes. You already have like half the merch. Yeah. You know, that's right. uh, you, like you, you've spent millions at Disney. There is a point yeah. where like the, the rush that you need to get from having di like Disney stuff is like, all right, let's get the, let's gotta get, get this the, in the bedroom oh, guy, the you know? King. Yeah. He bought you know? one of yeah. the mansions that has it in like the, the Mickey mouse head in the architecture and shit, you know? Yeah. You're on Disney property. You've done the whole thing. I'm, I'm pro Mickey kink. You know, if, if, if that's what people <laughs> want, we, the, the people should have what, get what they deserve. I will not kink shame apparently that's right. because the audience has, will yell at me if I do that. That is fair. That is fair. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, title basically covers it. All right. We've gone on <laughs> several dates. We're done. Yeah, we're done. That's it. That's my job. I did it. I'm going punch in, punch out. Uh, we've gone on several dates. He's a gentleman, kind, funny, super attractive, confident, caring, everything. Yet when we have sex, his voice goes up several octaves and he talks and moans like a shitty female porn star who's trying to get a man off. <laughs> The donkey and the porn star is yeah, weird. Yeah, we didn't need to go after sex workers on this one. You I know, this yeah. one is, yeah, that's a They're, little, these, these are that's strays. a point we against got, you. We got Disney strays and porn strays now, and as a Floridian, <laughs> that one, they're both kind of making me angry. Right, <laughs> yeah, come on, that's our people. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Okay, uh, um, I don't know how else to explain it. I don't want to make him uncomfortable slash feel bad and say something about how much of a turnoff it is, but I can't help but almost laugh every time he does it. And it's pretty often. He's not that quiet. I've tried to shush him in a sexy way, so he doesn't catch on, but it never lasts long. Uh, if you were him, how would the best? Uh, okay, hold on. If you were him, how would the best way be to receive this news? Would you even say anything, or just hope it gets better? I don't want to end a perfectly wonderful thing that might become a relationship over something so trivial. Too long, didn't read. How do I tell a guy he sounds like a little girl during sex without ruining things or hurting his feelings? Not any way that she has described it. Yeah, I don't think for the, sure. the little girl kind of came out of nowhere, too. Third yeah. stray bullet there. I, I, yeah, real. three strikes, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> I Is there a way to bring this up? I don't know. And also, how do you shush someone in a sexy <sighs> way? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, don't worry, baby. I got this. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, like, your sweet just, little Mickey lips. <laughs> but is it, yeah, is it still like, are you, but like, like also, it's like, like still shushing, though, somehow, right? So it's like, shh. Like, yeah, yeah. But you gotta I imagine got the guy's going, ho ho, and then she's like, <laughs> oh. shh, 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 your sexy little lips. Yeah, that's exactly Honestly, what it is. Better than goofy. Be- <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Tear, the, and the, he has a son canonically, of, uh, so he's definitely had sex. He 100% yeah, has had yeah. sex. <laughs> oh, my God. Think about I, that. How, yeah, how do you bring that? I, I guess you just, I, I, I mean, the answer is always communicate it, but I, I, there's not yeah. a way that sounds like. Is there a good way to bring this up that isn't no. like you know? I think I, you I ghost. I think you ghost this man. <laughs> I think that's what I, happened. I don't think. Yeah, like I, I am. I'm trying to think. I, I think you do it. I think you just gotta just yeah raw dog it. Just go straight in and be like, listen, listen. You sound like Mickey Mouse when you have sex. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't think. And then yeah, I don't think it's like a relationship ender yet. No, no. Uh, unless no. he like, I can you? Is that a Fix, well, not fixable because mm. it's not a problem, but it is a problem well, in the context of this relationship. But like, yeah, if, if they're both sexual beings and this is causing her to not want to have sex with him, I think it's a problem because then it's not, you know, if they both are like, I need to have sex to be in a relationship long term, yeah, then that's a problem. But I he think needs otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> he needs to be he quiet. He has to stop. That's the only <laughs> way because, like you said, she. Uh, yeah almost certainly is is not enjoying the experience because like trying not to laugh and like that if two people want like yeah i'm sorry like yeah i I wonder to stop also got to stop reddit has no advice on this they are all just making jokes about many which is why i chose it because (laughs) i have no guidance from reddit at all yeah there's not a single like no shred of advice that's fascinating that like I mean, it's always the like little details that like people will pick up on, like of like, or like they'll hyper focus on just that and not yeah. like, the rest of the question of like, how do I fix this? Yeah, how do right. I do something about this? You know, these are maybe my favorite ones to read. Like, if in, instead of thinking of Reddit stories as like true stories, you think of them as like media. These are my favorite ones because the comments yeah. are always like the top one right now is like, sorry, I'm just laughing too hard, <laughs> and that's it. That's the whole comment, and that's everyone's it. like, yes, I agree. I don't have anything else to say. So this poor person is getting no advice, which is awesome. You know, there is one thing. Did, uh, did y'all, I, we actually just read this story mm. uh, like a day or two ago. It's the one with the song where it's like, I, I had sex to the song. It's like, oh, sea bat. Oh, the sea bat. Yeah, the sea bat one. That's a classic about that one. And we were like postulating like, because he he said he was making love to the beat, but it was like, is it like a or it's like ee, 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 ee. this is a Maybe. classic debate this is yeah, classic yeah yeah like 
maybe he uses his Mickey Mouse sounds. Oh, maybe he plays that song while they make love. And, and he, that's what he's mimicking. Yeah. You know, yeah. So wow. She can't what tell. What a tableau <laughs> of a human man <laughs> that we've created. <laughs> Do you guys, I don't know if you guys remember <laughs> this, because this was, I remember that came up around the time that uh, I think Fantano, uh, Anthony Fantano was getting a divorce and they were like, oh, so this is why the divorce is happening. Like they, because they also went back <laughs> and found out that he was. That poor man is getting so fucking was, bullied about his divorce. We yeah, all need to stop. I never knew he was divorced. I think that's yeah, what happened. I it, it was a lot that. of like parasocial, like uh, what's it called? Like fans going like, oh, we yeah. found the court. Data yeah, right he didn't now. even right. talk about yeah. it. They just I never really the gave a shit because I'm like, whatever, it's his personal life. But everyone went back to a Seabat review and found out that it was rated like I think an eight or an like a seven or something. Right. Like it was highly rated. Right. And gave it praise yeah. specifically to that song on the album too. And it was like, oh, <laughs> we all know who did this. We all, wow. we all know. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Shout out Internet Sleuths with nothing better to do. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's because he always rates Kanye kind of low and. uh yeah. Or well, there's some specific album he rated really low, and so then people My were dark, like, "Beautiful Twisted Fantasy." Yeah, fans. that's the one yeah. that everyone gives him shit for. Yeah. Um, yeah. People were yeah. like, "He's racist," and then people were like, "No, he's got a black wife," which is not yeah. a cool thing to say. And then <laughs> yep. they were like, "No, he's getting divorced, so he's still racist," <laughs> which is all. It's I don't, bruh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I just uh, yeah, I guess this guy has to stop doing Mickey Mouse voices. I think that's the lesson here. Is that's the lesson it. here. I don't that's know if I would do. tell him because I don't want to. I don't want to. Do you want you him know? to stop doing? Yeah, like because I feel like, like that's kind of like uh, I would, I'd be fucking embarrassed if I found out the way that I was moaning was like too high pitched for someone. I guess, but also right. Then so then you then you're self conscious during sex, which is always bad. And then yeah. you know. I don't, I don't know we if don't I would do that. We don't need to ruin a guy's entire sexual history from here on out. To like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like maybe I just that would be a fun story to tell your girlfriends, and then you move on. Yeah. Damn. But so you don't ruin a guy a guy's <laughs> self esteem. Eventually, someone will tell him, though. I think that's the kind One of day. issue. Yeah. Someday, yeah. someone will bring it up. So maybe if you can do it kindly, I guess. Yeah. True. Twenty four years old, right? So it's twenty four years of you know. Yeah. Well, not 24 years straight, hopefully, but... Yeah, that would be awful. <laughs> a few maybe, years, yeah, a few of, years of doing this. <laughs> yeah. Maybe... Just getting it in as a baby. And I condone that. I condone <laughs> child abuse. Every, every wait, video from condemn. now, Hold on, I condone wait. child Hold abuse, on. everyone. I, I'll, wait, condone or condemn? Hold on. Oh, shit, I said condone. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought you were leaning in. I thought you were like, fuck it. We're going all in. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, condemn. Holy shit. I condone child abuse now. Now I'm getting into the... Now I'm leading into the meme. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. God. All right. I, no, I condemn right. child wanted, abuse. Everyone. Yeah, just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a are Freudian slip. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. I, anyway. I solved it. Next anyway, one. I'll, I'll get it. you out of this, Sarah. Don't worry. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Josh, yeah. the editor, please, dear God, help me in the edit. <laughs> it forgets. I just, I'm just going to leave it in. It's okay. Okay, so... Oh, damn. <laughs> Shit, right. that was my one. Solved it though. We solved it. We did. It. We absolutely that, solved that, was that solved problem. It. I'm gonna do a cheers instead of a high five because that's true. Cause we don't have our thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have two drinks. Okay. <laughs> two drinks. Gotta have your three drinks. All right. So, I'm gonna preface this by saying this is not well written, and I'm not sure why. It could be for any reasons, but I'm gonna read it as much as I can because I think it's really funny. If you make Let's fun go. of this one time, you're xenophobic. Yeah, so yeah, that's we've we've learned that lesson. Okay. Yep. Am I the asshole for thinking my friend who is usually the designated driver would be the designated driver? And designated driver the second time is in all caps. I want to state for the record. Ooh. Yeah. Like this, designated driver. Yeah, designated yeah. driver. Like we're angry okay. about this. That's all her right. job as my friend. Yeah. <laughs> she has a job. <laughs> yeah. All right. What happened last night is rocking my friendship group, friendship group, so I need to know if I'm in the wrong for this. My friend group consists of three girls, myself, 22 female, Liz, 23 female, and Leah, 22 female, fake names. We've been really close since freshman year of college, and we've always had the same dynamic when we go out. Liz and I get hammered, and Leah is the designated driver because she doesn't do drugs or drink. It's literally been like this since we were 18. Leah's birthday was recently, and we were all really busy to do anything special. 
Last minute, all, all three of us got invited to a kickback Leah's boyfriend's friend was hosting, and it worked it out that we could all go. The friend told us that to be there by six, but Liz and I wanted to go around eight because we don't, didn't want to go to a party early. I shouldn't have realized what was going on because Leah's boyfriend kept texting her to drive over earlier and he would pay for an Uber to come get Liz and I later. I told Leah to just wait for us to get ready. Leah drove when we arrived around nine because we wanted to pick up some alcohol. I was so surprised and kind of embarrassed to find out that the kickback was a surprise party for Leah organized by her boyfriend. That's so insane. That they're like, yeah, so, her birthday came and went. I don't fucking know. I was too busy. And then we went to some party organized by her boyfriend. Oh, oops, it's her birthday. <laughs> like, fucking of course it is. So o OP had no idea that this was the surprise party. Yeah. For yeah. Leah, Despite the tech, like, wow. and didn't get any of the texts or anything, which we're going to get into in a second. But yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, right. Let's see. I felt kind of bad because apparently the boyfriend was trying to get in contact with us to tell us about the party. But Liz and I had blocked his number prior to this whole thing because he dropped us as friends earlier this year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a real why are any of these people hanging out with each other situation. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. this is not a good friend group currently. Yeah. I hate you, but can you come to my girlfriend's birthday party? <laughs> I guess you guys are still friends or something. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, the party was real nice, though. We kind of just left Leah with her boyfriend because he doesn't like us very much. I feel like he should have tried harder to contact us so we could at least get her there on time and bring a present like everyone else. It's around 11 p.m. when Liz and I want to go because it's getting boring. And like usual, <laughs> we are pretty wasted. So we go to find Leah. Oh, She's this like, fucking birthday party is boring as shit. Birthday. Yeah, this kickback this. sucks, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking leave. <laughs> okay, uh, it's around 11 p.m. When okay, uh, she's all over her man, but we say excuse us and tell her we wants to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we wants to leave. I, I, I was, that was me messing up. That wasn't even the story. There's a there's a scene of that was my fault. That so was much motherfucker. <laughs> all caps. Next sentence. She says, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> like, did you not bring us here? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I tell her that she's literally our designated driver and she could just drive us home and come back. She starts apologizing and she starts saying she'll do it. But her boyfriend like gets mad at us. <laughs> Why does he not like us? I don't understand. <laughs> It's so confusing. Like, <laughs> don't, I don't drive understand. us everywhere we want to go. Like, I don't get it. Only, like, get it's it's only her birthday car. party, guys. Come on, guys. God, God yeah, birthday. it's just her birthday. God <laughs> damn. He tells us to order an Uber, but we really don't trust Ubers when we get drunk. I think that's fair. I think that's fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I did feel bad because it was her birthday. But, like, we were 30 minutes from my place, though. <laughs> oh, damn. That's an hour <laughs> round trip. <laughs> Bro. 23, 24 yeah, minutes. Yeah, there's, a, yeah. there's a line in the sand, yeah. Yeah. Uh, her boyfriend ends up driving us back and cusses us out the whole, the whole drive, and he got really hurtful saying we were bad friends and taking advantage of Leah. Longest 30 minutes of my damn life. We thank him and he ignores us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Liz and I end up going out again later that night to a local bar with this guy Liz is seeing, and she posts no. an Instagram story of us there like an idiot. Stray bullet. Don't tell me she. Don't tell me she calls her like, "Hey, we got ways in again. Come pick us up." <laughs> You're the designated yeah, driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> yeah. God, Liz is not replying to us, but we are literally mad at her because she didn't hold up her role when we go out. Am I the <laughs> asshole? Wait, so is that it, it did basically was she expecting that? Like, oh, she's going to drive us home again? I guess. Like, I, I don't I don't think so. I think they just hung out without her and then right. now she won't talk to them because she posted the at Instagram her. story of them being yeah. out away from the party. The party. Which yeah. is yeah. Why would you leave? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. 
There's just, so many I balls didn't, being I, dropped. I didn't want to drink alcohol at your party. I wanted to keep drinking at some other place <laughs> that is not your birthday. Yeah, it's well, wow. yeah. There is one edit. <laughs> So I'm gonna just for the just for devil's advocate, I'm gonna read it. Okay, I don't know because it doesn't do give it. a lot of information, but there is just <laughs> enough, I guess, enough. Okay, so edit. Please stop praising Leah's boyfriend. One surprise party doesn't reverse the hell he's caused her. He's not oh. a good person, and we've been trying to break them up for so long. This is why Liz and I avoid him the best we can. And that's okay. it. That's the, all the information we're given off of that edit. Huh? Listen, if he sucks ass. He has not shown it in this one limited amount yeah. of story. Yeah. He very yeah. well could be he could. Uh, an a-hole, but you, you it, it, tell us. Tell us yeah. that. Maybe explain, explain why. Yeah. That would be helpful. That's the one thing that I, I never fully understand sometimes about specific stories, because all, Sarah and I, the, 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 the uh, uh, theory, and this is from my, like, writing background, is if you write something about yourself, you're always trying to make yourself look the best yeah. that yes. you can be. Yeah. And 100%. usually that does involve sometimes throwing people under the bus. So I can kind of like most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't see here how the bus is like going over the boyfriend right now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not exactly sure. He could be a piece of shit. I'm not going to deny yeah. that. That's could not be. a possibility. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. Could. Yeah. No, for sure. Like there are lots of, you know, abusive relationships. Sometimes you have highs and you have, you know, the abusive parts too as well. So, you know. It's interesting to see. But yeah, she should have put that in the goddamn post if she's asking, <laughs> Am I the asshole? Like yeah. why what's the point of posting this? I shit on my friend <laughs> on her birthday and then I <laughs> tried to make her drive me home on her birthday. She said no, and now we're mad at her, and then we went out without her. That's my favorite part, is literally they're like, the We want to go home. Yeah. And then it's like Actually, let's, let's go, go out back again. out. <laughs> I just like, don't want to be at this dumb lady's party. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't Watch understand how birthday. I could be in the wrong. I don't get yeah, it. Really. Oh my god. Oh my god. She didn't give me a present on her birthday, so <laughs> I thought I deserved to go out again. <laughs> fucking Eric Cartman ass fucking friend. Like, please listen. If you get one present. I need another one. Listen, was that on? Sa did Literally. that happen on that South Park? Did. I think I don't remember whose birthday it was. I think it was the one where Stan becomes an alcoholic, a depressive asshole. I think. Oh, he's getting like old. when he starts getting cynical yeah, and stuff, I think that's and everything sounds like uh, shit and fart. Yeah, and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's a good show. <laughs> that was a good episode. The show it used to be. Yeah, it used I to be. I guess I don't know. Back Maybe in my wasn't. day. <laughs> yeah. Back in my day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, uh, that I don't even know what to say. Like I don't these people, man. These silly people. These silly dang I mean, billies. Opie's clearly an a hole for the act of treating her friend like her personal chauffeur. Yeah, yeah like, I think that's absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, as someone who doesn't drink and has definitely been like uh, teed up for being the designated driver sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it definitely gets annoying. And like, no hate to anyone that like I, I don't want to ever judge someone for like going out and drinking. That's like the only social. A venue that's like available to a lot of people so like i get yeah, it yeah absolutely but also like switch the roles every once in a while you know like yeah you know especially if it's on her damn birthday <laughs> yeah. she gets to drink <laughs> shit oh, oh, you man. know what here we go here we go everyone sell this is uh, you know on normal days no one's celebrating you right mm. so it's like you're getting all the celebration and you don't want to drive us home? Like, come on. This is yeah, a better you're day so than normal. Selfish. Yeah, God. I mean, For yeah. wanting one goddamn day come to yourself. <laughs> Never Man. give them a day. Never. Always 24-7. Yeah. You got to be the 7-Eleven of designated drivers. Always <laughs> ready. Love trying to come up with the most like Olympic level mental flipping to try and find some sort of insane justification for the OP's behavior. Yeah. yeah. So fun. Absolutely. So fun. I I just love the um, just the not putting the dots together that this is <laughs> this is totally going to be her her birthday party. You're so into partying that you do it every day. And also, like if you've been all the time friends since eighteen, you don't know when her birthday is. When her fucking That's, birthday is, yeah. Weird. There's some like <laughs> <It's kinda> weird. Wild. <laughs> In Opie's defense, she was wasted. <laughs> The entire time, <laughs> the month of October, the whole time yeah. I got the text. Yeah, yeah, the whole month. 
therefore I cannot be held accountable. It's your for birthday my actual- month. It's my drinking month. It's my okay. drinking. Is, it's yeah. my alcoholism yeah. month. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. is yeah, someone's <laughs> slow descent into uh, <laughs> an, uh, it's every month, baby. An alcoholic coma, like God. Uh, yeah, oh, God. that'll definitely be an apology when she Golly. goes through her twelve steps. I think. Yeah, for sure. Goodness gracious. Yeah. yeah, I think we solved that one. We we, we fucking it. solved the shit out of that one, Cheers man. Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers to, to that. that. I have no water in my thing. I'm just, I'm just, this is. That's awesome. Through the, through the use of movie magic, <laughs> we're going to put water going up my straw. This water could be yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, oh man. God. I feel like we went through those really quick. I will say we've been recording for now 40 minutes, so. Do you think I could do a long one that's mostly bullet points? <laughs> yeah, I want, we don't want to take too much of your time, John. So I don't, Let's rock it. Yeah. All right. Let's, Let's rock do it. Go. I love Hell bullet yeah. points. Okay. Let's finish strong. Let's freaking do it. Okay. Let me actually pull it up and be professional. <laughs> Sarah, okay, this is from... You gotta be prepped, Sarah. Come on. This is a top no! Top. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tiny podcast. I still get to be unprofessional. Okay, this is from r slash off my chest. Hell yeah. We like to we dig into the other ones sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, know, you gotta branch yeah. out. I don't branch out. Gotta branch Sarah out. Sarah takes that job. There we go. Yeah. My Reddit just naturally puts the craziest shit in front of me, and I just take them. Like, the 10th dentist? That shit was great. Oh, yeah. R slash oh. the 10th dentist? You know, like, 9 out of 10 dentists say this thing is good? <laughs> yeah. So, the, it's basically just, like, unpopular opinion. I found one, and it got removed, and I feel really bad, because it would have been hilarious. It was, I think, old uh, racist people are really cute, was the title of it. Oh my god, tenth uh, tenth dentist is also such an incredibly clever name. Yeah. for that subreddit, it's a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's good. Okay, this is from r slash off my chest. <laughs> my future sister in law is legitimately stupid, and I do not want my brother to marry her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. God, All right. people will just say anything on the internet just to like <laughs> kick someone down. Like just, just like I, I gotta object. tell somebody She's a this. Fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate her. God. Her <laughs> IQ is not <laughs> He needs a certain Sorry. IQ to marry my is brother. It, is it uh my sister is marrying uh the uh the future brother in law or is it no, the other way around? It's uh my brother is marrying a sister in law who is yeah. who I think okay, is okay. stupid. So yeah. okay, so we're judging the brother as well for marrying the supposed idiot. The, okay. The, the idiot. Yeah, okay. Supposed All, right. <laughs> All right. My future sister in law twenty five is breathtakingly stupid. <laughs> I cannot stand her and I do not want her to be the mother of my future nieces and nephews. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Tough. We're already, oh. I kind of feel like that's already like the eugenicist almost like, oh yeah, no, you can't, you're not allowed to have no. kids. Sorry. We're not allowed to yeah. have dumb nieces and nephews. I'm not allowed. Yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not, in op- not in OP's corner yet. So yeah. I'm going to need a lot more convincing. I didn't know you could have an opinion about that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, 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 this never yeah. crossed my mind. <laughs> yeah. Also the idea that like the the innateness of like oh if you're stupid you're gonna have stupid kids for sure a hundred percent yeah that's pretty as wild if there yeah. isn't also uh uh what's it called a, a nature aspect of it as well or nurture aspect yeah. of it yeah I mean yeah it's just a flaw in our education system they just know they're not gonna learn anything yeah I know that's right. the real part yeah. that that's the have you heard of science science Google as- it <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, our father lost his left leg below the knee in an accident uh, before my brother and I were born. And when she first came over to our house to meet me and my parents, she said, oh, wow, it's crazy how brother and OP didn't inherit that. <laughs> a little funny. That's a little funny to kind of think. I would think Damn. that would be a joke. I think that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all laughed uncomfortably thinking it was a bad joke, but she didn't laugh. Even after my brother explained it isn't a genetic defect, it was an injury. She still thought there was a possibility <laughs> that my brother and I would be born with a missing leg. Oh my god. That's, she, that's tough. Yes, that's Yeah. Uh, she told us she believed in Santa until she was 16, and her parents had to break it to her, and it broke her heart. 
So she just believes in whimsy. All right. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's like a, like a dumb thing just yet. I think maybe it took a little while, but like also, yeah, I'd be. Har- okay. I was also heartbroken when I was seven or whatever age it was. You know, I I honestly don't remember. I don't know if I was told there was a Santa. I I have, I have <laughs> no funny. clue. My um, my, uh, my yeah. parents uh, or my dad told me when I was in fourth grade and my sister in second grade, mm. and apparently that's like I thought it was kind of normal, but like. Uh. Uh, we talk about on the show and then it's like oh I guess that's not normal like your parents don't sit you down and tell of you say it is really real? Fascinating. I don't think I I mean honestly I don't I don't remember ever having the talk I don't remember yeah. ever really the having Santa that talk. either yeah but like you know fascinating somehow yeah. I know this now probably the internet <laughs> yeah, yeah I guess I don't so know what up. the official date everyone agrees on is like that's normal to not believe in Santa anymore like I don't know we said after after like fifth grade in elementary school is like probably because like you're getting into middle school and then it's like all right people are just like 13 year old yeah. so like yeah that's, that's true fair. i think that's a fair age yeah I, yeah, yeah that's fair maybe that's why middle school sucks so bad everyone just goes in depressed <laughs> yeah santa's not fucking like, real santa's not fucking real shit everywhere this. Believe in magic. gotta go to do people homework, fighting in the hallways gym. <laughs> fuck this <laughs> Um, you know the joke that, uh, quote unquote, the pee is stored in the balls? She thought that was real. She asked my brother how come pee didn't come out when he came during sex. Okay. Oh, Listen, God. let's just accept that in. <laughs> let's just process I don't that. I, want it. I don't. <laughs> God, I really want to take. I don't want to take Opie's side because he is a piece of shit already. Like in the way that he's yeah. writing, he's a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, he's yeah, being totally. very he's judgy, being very much a, like a judgmental asshole. But like, I, I will like the my thing is like, okay, bad educational system, bad sex education. I'll agree with that. Piece yeah. stored, piece being stored in the balls is a funny joke, and enough people have said that to where it could come off as unironic. Yeah, I, if I was her, I would be mad at those people for lying to me. Yeah, exactly. What, yeah, <laughs> but I would. Be I'd be calling them grifters right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she commented that she never sees pink lemons in the store. She literally thought <laughs> pink lemonade was made from pink lemons. That's amazing. I, I want to be this. Some person. of these. Yeah, I wish that I was this person. I yeah, I think 100%. she's great. Imagine how great life is. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> You're like. Peas and balls. Epic. I mean, pea wow. and balls, pink, pink lemon. lemon. Santa was real up until uh, sixteen. Yeah, I think that's, I'll take that's great. And it's a perfect. This is a perfect existence. Um, she didn't realize Donald Trump, the actor, and Donald Trump, the president, were the same person. <laughs> and speaking of Trump, she too tried to look at the solar eclipse without sunglasses, despite my brother pleading with her to keep them on. <laughs> I want to look at the moon too. Yeah, that's fair. I, was that? I want to look at did, that shit. Did, Everyone did wants Trump to look at that shit. That She's just something? oh, like oh, you can no. Look he at went the out sun. and did he just it yeah. straight up. Yeah, oh. I think he was very specifically in an area where it wouldn't have like actually been safe to see. Because I remember driving up to I yeah. think South Carolina, and I, I, like for like two seconds, you could actually look up without like uh, any oh, damage shit. to your eyes, and that was like pretty fucking cool. But yeah, I forgot you oh, did that. Yeah. yeah, that was like as a teen. Yeah, Josh just like drove 18, by himself working at fucking Disney. I was like, hey, can I call off for the fucking uh, eclipse, <laughs> please? I don't want to serve fucking Mickey Mouse waffles today. Thank you. <laughs> I want to look at <laughs> an no, astrological event, please. I'm yeah. suffering from eclipse disease, and the only cure is more yeah, eclipse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she's just brave enough to go do it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, damage your eyes a yeah. little yeah. bit. Who cares? Courage. Yeah. yeah. That's what I see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Courage. Also, don't do that. Don't, PSA, yeah, don't, don't, look, don't, yeah, look, don't that. look at the don't sun. Look at that. Don't, look, don't look at the sun. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, she thought blood diamonds meant they were made from blood, and we found out because she asked, "How come they (parentheses) the diamonds aren't red?" <laughs> blood, okay. Blood's used in the production of it, you know, in the fact that people die for it. I think that's <laughs> yeah, in some way. So she's not totally wrong. She's almost on the right track. <laughs> yeah, she's getting there. She thought in order to play for a city's uh, sports team, she had... Oh, God, let me say that again. She, she thought in order to play for a city's sports team, you had to be from that city. So it confused her when one of our players got traded. She asked, well, what other team do we have here? That one is the most reasonable. Yeah. I, all of that, I think you have no idea about sports. If, yeah. if I hadn't somehow figured that out, I think I probably would have thought that too. I'm not a sports person. And I will person, say so. too to give a little bit more credit to her, like the fact that she's asking questions after the fact, yeah, I think great. that's great. That's like, smart. That's pretty, like that's a... You're curious. There's, a, there's something Brave. there, yeah. 
that. Yeah. Very brave, very courageous. Yes. Yeah. She's a very brave, courageous, kind woman. She's learning. And those she's are great. There. Yeah, she's learning. Wow. She didn't think platypuses were real. That's, that's, also, that's a reasonable. Wait, is that wait? That's reasonable. What? Uh, I thought there was another sense of that. Sorry. But yeah, no, I think no, that's, that's reasonable. It. If you just watch like Phineas and Ferb and you're like, those things aren't that's fucking real. That's not fucking real. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Like that giraffes. Is, yeah. The they're fuck? not real. <laughs> they look insane. Break uh, you guys. Not real. <laughs> <laughs> she once tried to correct me when I mentioned something being $100 million. She goes, um, don't you mean a billion? Because she didn't think 100 million was a real number. She thought it was 99 million and then 1 billion. Sorry, I, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> That's, yeah. So therefore, she can't have children. <laughs> what? Therefore, uh, uh, I don't think she can left, have children. Left turn there. <laughs> like, oh, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, oh. Therefore, I, she's not allowed to procreate. Okay. I was so confused. I thought she was still <laughs> no, talking joking. like, hey, so 99 goes to 100 million and that's why and that's uh, why is a billion and that's you're why not I allowed to have, have children. children. You gotta be castrated. Because you had Sorry, one guys. misunderstanding with me. Now you should not have kids. And I'm going to write about it on a social media website. I also. thought she thought she was infertile because 100 million <laughs> was actually a that billion. That would or make this so much more mean is if she thought she was infertile and this guy's like, yeah, you shouldn't have kids. Yeah, though. she's like, I can't. Well, I can't slam anyways. dunk, gotcha, yeah. idiot. <laughs> 100 million isn't a billion. I'm, I'm st- there's nothing going on <laughs> there's in There's nothing yeah. happening. <laughs> Um, she thinks the moon gives off light. I tried to tell her it's a reflection from the sun and she, ar- all caps, argued with me. How dare she argue with you? <laughs> saying that couldn't be true because the sun was down behind the earth and if it was lighting the moon, it would light up the entire world. Which I think is so <laughs> inspirational. I don't understand. Dude, light up the entire light the world. the entire world, baby. Let's fucking... Light up the world. <laughs> She's not an idiot. She's just an inspirational spokesperson. That's yeah. She's, Bro, you think you have a hundred million? A nah, you got a fucking billion. I would billion. love to. I would just yeah. consume it constantly. Yeah. yeah, I would be like, dude, totally, one hundred percent. That's true. I would gaslight this woman. Yeah, and or just supporting her. Yeah, I would support yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. support. Uh, this one's pretty bad. She thought Obama did the "I have a dream" speech. Okay, that's a little. That's pretty not good. That's, that's not good. I'm not in her corner for that one. I don't oh. think that's yeah. Okay, maybe that's points, pretty fucked points up. to OP, but also fuck OP still. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on for days, parentheses, and I might edit this post as I remember more examples of her dumbass moments. And parentheses, she's been with my brother since he was in college. Parentheses, this is so crazy that they had to put this in. She was not in college with him. They met at a music festival. She literally said she didn't want to go to college because it seemed, quote unquote, super hard. I mean, facts. That is, is true. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it is hard. Fuck that listen, talks. listen, dropouts fucking unite. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yes. Fucking- yes. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. I have such a hard time being around her. I do not understand what the fuck my brother sees in her. Do not get it. He's a software engineer making six figures and she works as a hairdresser. So I see why she's with him. There's the misogyny. There it is. Yeah. And we have to yeah. bring Come everything on. down to money, baby. We got to Yeah. If Stop. you're not producing enough capital and you're also happen to be stupid, you can't breed. Sorry. Can't have kids. Hairdressers can also make crazy. Insane. Bank. Oh, for sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. Bank. If you wanted to look through it God. at that lens. Yeah. yeah. You can very easily work your way up as like, and like get higher paying. Like, yeah. yeah. Also, Dude, just because okay. you're a hairdresser doesn't mean you're not smart. Josh's mom started as a hairdresser, oh, yeah. and My now she's got her master's degree. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's also very smart. Everyone's smart. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is so stupid. Um, let's see why she's with him. I want to ask him why he would want to marry such a fucking moron. Jesus, like it's embarrassing when she talks, and he brings her around people he works with. I would be mortified if I was him. I asked my parents about having an intervention with him after he announced that he was proposing to her, and they told me no that they thought she was sweet and that my brother considers her his best friend and they quote unquote work well together. Uh, does no one else worry? <laughs> Am no, I the only one around here that cares about the goddamn rules? <laughs> <laughs> the rules of only smart people get to only people I deem as smart. Yeah. 
get to have children. Wow. Uh, does no one else worry that she could make a terrible decision and severely affect my brother? Or when they have kids, she could put them in harm's way? I mean, how? Two question marks. Please, el- please elaborate on that, because I feel like just not knowing things doesn't uh, extensively mean <laughs> yeah, she you're going to fucking murder someone. I thought babies yeah. were supposed to go into the oven. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, it's their primal instinct that you don't have to, you know, watch them on the upper floors of the yeah, house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You got to give them uh, a knife, goodness. you know, to make sure that they know how to <laughs> so use it. So they can protect they themselves. Protect themselves. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Or when they have kids, she could possibly put them in harm's way. What could she possibly teach them? It's not a matter of her being innocently stupid. She could have real life consequences to being this dim-witted. Which she does not explain because that's the end of the post. <laughs> 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 okay. That's it. Over. Um, I think I want to talk to her more than I want to talk to OP. That, I think yeah. she seems I, I think way more is, interesting than OP. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I just want to be friends with this person. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, like I fucking... Yeah. I, 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 there's nothing wrong with, like... I, I don't know. I feel like there's a... a I, it's hard, because I definitely understand, like, some, like in my mind, like... Mm. I gotta deal with fucking morons on a day to day basis. Sometimes, I sometimes yeah. have that feeling, but I'm never. Li- I always like afterwards. I'm like, why am I such an asshole about that? Yes, yeah, I same. feel like it's That's, it's, it's more same. of an inward focus of like, why am I being mean and why am I not trying to like be more yeah. understanding? It's the way that the post is written too is so like fucking moron. Fucking, I, it's fucking I, I, I'm gonna come moron, back yeah. and write yeah. more things that I hate about her. Yeah, like, it's just bullying. Yeah. Is just being a bully um, about these things that, like, I don't know. I think it's smarter to be kind. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Than knowing things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, the, I feel like the parents said it best where it's like, listen, our son, like, loves her. They're, mm. they, they have best friends. Like, it seems to be great. They seem to, you know, do so much for each other. Like, yeah, absolutely. Like, yes. why, that's all that matters. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. It's just being kind. Like, who cares if she's not, you know, the smartest, whatever. Like, that's the thing that I think about all the time is sometimes they'll be like, because I grew up in a family that like prioritized like intelligence over everything, which is insane how I'm so stupid. But, <laughs> but they really did. But they were also very mean. They were very rude and mean yeah. and judgmental to each other. And I didn't, you know, that's not a vibe. For that's, what? Yeah. yeah for like, why? why oh. Why, why why don't we just be kind to each other and, and enjoy life and yeah. have pink lemonade? Like, yeah, exactly. yeah, pink yeah. lemons. Yeah. Fucking fuck it. I'm about it. Also, like, I'm about the pink another lemons. thing too is like, why don't you trust your brother? Like, okay, benefit of the doubt. That's true. Like, of like, you know, like, okay, yeah, maybe like she's she's dumb and she could do harm, quote unquote. No examples given. But like, yeah. why don't yeah. you trust the brother to also take care of like like uh, what's it called like? A, like, if questions come up, like, he can answer them, and, like, if you're trusting your brother to be smart on your behalf, because I guess that's what you want, like, yeah. I, I don't know why there's no trust on the brother, the judgmental uh, against the uh, sister-in-law is ridiculous, and, like, if the whole family, too, is like, dude, just calm down. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's wild. Yeah. Also, I mean, I don't know. I've known my mom specifically, she would play dumb in situations to be liked like she described a lot of like times where she felt like you know like her boyfriend would be like oh i'm fucking listening to pink floyd and she would be like what's that just to have a conversation with her boyfriend even though she knew pink floyd was she would play that up i wonder if part of that is that because she's maybe this sounds like this guy is judgmental as shit and that's the way that she knows how to interact with this guy and i don't know if you if this guy was more like approachable, maybe he would have better interactions with oh, her. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. What if conspiracy theory? Mm. There was like one, uh, like like what, what did I say? <clears throat> oh, my friend's from Connecticut, and I thought New England was a state, and oh. then so he was just like laughing at me and recording me. But like, that's what classic. if she had a moment like that? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. It's a classic. A moment like that, and then she's like. Oh, he's like a raging asshole. Let me just uh, like keep doing like play play this act. Yeah, Kinda, absolutely. Yeah. That, For sure. I honestly could be... very easily believe that too. I feel like once you if you like if you're smart enough to see someone being like an asshole kind of like, you know, like yeah. all right, how do I make everyone else kind of see this like, you know, like not treating me well and therefore might not treat other people well as well, you know? 
Yeah, there was exactly. the long con here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The long con the real long con. Every time it's I walk the into the room, this guy fucking six hates figures. me. Figures, yeah, yeah, it's just fucking. <laughs> this guy fucking. Your brother sucks, dude. I'm gonna annoy the shit out of your brother on Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say some shit like I thought Dumbo was real. I don't know. <laughs> I, fuck it. <laughs> she might just be like the, the world's best comedian. The, yeah, the the live action movie. movie. Yeah, real. I saw yeah, it. it was I on saw the it. Screen. You're telling me that my eyes are not. You're. This is gaslighting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop gaslighting me. Do not believe in Dumbo. <laughs> yeah. oh I mean, God. and I think everyone has those little moments. Like even on this podcast, I said condone uh, child abuse. Yeah, instead of meant, yeah. Everyone does. <laughs> yeah. It's, it who doesn't know. make fuck ups? They're just like, funny. Yeah, I misspeak yeah. all the time. Like it does Dude, not. Dude, literally. Yeah. Oh my God. It gets me in so much goddamn trouble. Same. Why do we do this professionally? We're so bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's why it's good. That's what makes it good. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the relatability. Like, oh, you guys can do this. <laughs> you guys, can yeah, get your own twenty dollars microphones, and you you get your own podcast. That's yeah. right. I should you go think back. Microphone buys you talent. You're <laughs> yeah, wrong. it doesn't. <laughs> but oh boy, that's oh boy, so insane. <laughs> but I I really I love that so much because I and I want to go back to it because I am I love ranting about random crap, but like. Why do people think that you like Walmart is going to give you a microphone and a camera and uh, <laughs> and, a and like a feed and, and I'll talent take one talent with that? sir. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like Walmart knocks knocks on your door and it's like, hey, listen, I've I've heard just through vibrations that you would be really good at podcasting. Here's your Here podcasting equipment. <laughs> You are the chosen podcaster. Do you think do you, <laughs> this, you will take this mic and fulfill your destiny? If you can take this mic out of Excalibur, <laughs> you shall be the next podcaster. You'll be rated five stars on all platforms. <laughs> the prophecy foretold. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, God. Fucking That's solved it. it. Solved it. Fucking solved it, well, dude. Done. Movie Cheers. magic. Done, done, and done. Cheers yeah. to that. Oh, God. Is that it? Is that that's, I, we're that's past it? an hour now? Yeah. I don't I don't know uh how you're feeling, John. Yeah, I only have one more prepared, but I can save that for the regular show if you're not uh if you got stuff yeah. to do. Let's let's do uh, it. All right. Let's let's Oh all shit. Right, okay. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. More podcasting. We're in it now. All right. This will be our last yeah. story with, with you, John. But I I I, I got us. I, I got I got us in in check. All right. Oh, I got removed. Hold on. <laughs> Oh fuck! Uh, there's, I got the copy here at least. Okay, so did it say why? I think this one was removed specifically just because it's about like uh, romantic relationships, and if I'm not mistaken, am I the asshole? Doesn't allow that. What? Yeah, oh, it's like crazy. kind of a weird rule. I, uh, let me let me double check. Crazy. Is it like you have to go to r slash relationships now to do that? Oh, it got deleted by. So um, oh, it might be. Uh, it, it got removed by spam filters. Oh, and also the wow. account's gone Crazy. now. I think so. I think they deleted Ooh. it afterwards. But the, also, the account isn't like a random string of words. It is missed funeral. Am I the asshole? So, mm. interesting. Way back machine, by the way. If yeah, you ever true. Trying to find a story. That is, yeah, that's actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got the copy here. I don't think it's fake. I think this could very easily happen. So okay, I'm trusting you. Let's fucking go. All right. Am I the asshole for going on a pre-planned and paid-for vacation? After my boyfriend's father passed away. Sorry, babe. <laughs> listen, babe. Sorry, <laughs> can't. Go to Cabo. Listen. It's it's over. <laughs> it's over. It's this over. was been <laughs> planned. Guys, wait. Got hold on, <laughs> hold on. Maybe there's something in the post. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. You're guys, right. I, I shouldn't preach. You really never know. You truly never know. That is true. My boyfriend, 30 male, and I, 28 female, have been dating for four years and have been living together for the past 18 months. Our lease is up at the end of this month, and we were hoping to have purchased a house by now, but that didn't happen. So we decided to just renew our lease and keep the house hunt going. I've also had a very stressful year career-wise, so this fall, a few friends and I booked a girls' trip to Mexico for a yoga wellness retreat. We are leaving next Thursday, and we are all looking really, for really looking forward to it. This week, before Thanksgiving, my boyfriend's dad unexpectedly passed away. My boyfriend immediately flew out to be with his mom and siblings. He ended up staying there for Thanksgiving instead of coming home, which I completely understand. Due to the holiday and scheduling conflicts with other relatives, 
The funeral wasn't scheduled until the Friday after I leave for my trip. When he told me the date of the funeral, I reminded him that I would be gone. He asked if there was any way Mm. I could reschedule the trip or get a refund, and I told him I would look into it. But the trip was booked for the group rate and was 100% non-refundable. And none of my friends wanted to go through the hassle of rescheduling, which sucks, but I get it. I saved a lot of money to take this trip and really need the escape. And if I cancel, I don't get the money back at all. How are you doing, sir? Are you doing good over there? That's so insane that your friends are like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your boyfriend's dead dad. Your boyfriend's dad is dead? Well, I'm, I'm trying to get <laughs> I'm, this downward dog yeah, going I need, on. Yeah, so I need I this. Yeah, the yoga but, wellness, I gotta too. Go, I, gotta, yeah. listen, I gotta get my chakras in line, you know? I, it's, it, it's, I can only do that in so Mexico. Chakras are way yes. off. Yeah. yeah. I explained all of this to my boyfriend and he asked me what I was going to do. I apologized and told him that I think I am going to go on the trip because I don't want that money to go away for nothing. All of this was over the phone because he was still with his family and he told me we would talk about it more when he got back. When he came home, we talked more about it and I apologized so many times when I was explaining why I was still going oh, on you're the good trip. Then. Yeah, you apologized. You're yeah. fun. That's fine. You apologize like 12 times. That's all you. Yeah. yeah. It's over. Everyone knows the oh, amount you of can, times you, can, you apologize. You have your freeze phrase moment of like, I apologize. Yep. And you jump in the air, fist up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Accomplished. Accomplished. Yay. Yeah. Uh, fuck, where was I? God damn it. <laughs> he seemed to understand and told me it was fine. But when I asked him when we were going to sign the papers to renew our lease, because I wanted to do that before I left. He said he's not doing that anymore. He said that when he came back to figure some things out at work and then he's flying back for the funeral and will be staying with his mom while they figure some things out. I asked him why he didn't talk to me about this first and he said that he's talking to me about it right now. He said his mom needs help so he's going to stay with her. I asked him what am I supposed to do about a place to live, and he told me to figure it out while with my friends on our vacation. Live in Mexico. <laughs> I mean, if you're going there, just stay around a little bit. Yeah, right? Just- yeah, Sle- sleep on a yoga mat since you love it so much. <laughs> yeah, you can just catch me on the next time my dad yeah, dies. Exactly, it's yeah, exactly. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, I told him that he's putting me in a bad situation and that he seemed fine with me going on the trip and missing the funeral. He said he wasn't going to beg me to cancel my trip and that I made that decision on my own, so he's making this decision for himself. I told him he's being an asshole and should have talked to me about this first. He said I'm the one who prioritized drinking on a beach over being at his dad's funeral, so if anyone is an asshole here, it's me. Discuss. (laughs) (laughs) Discuss. Okay. Um, this is amazing because we just did a story about, uh, the writer where the boyfriend was going to move in or something and like make, like take over her office for his budding streaming career. And, uh, it was just going to kick her out of her own house that she fully paid for and everything. Wow. And everyone in the TikTok comments were like, he needs to be homeless. Yeah, and I do want to state right off the bat, <laughs> he should I don't be think anyone should be homeless. Because he's a bad person. Yeah, I don't think anyone should be homeless. Oh I don't think you should no, lose access I don't think to housing so. uh, because of the, uh, something like this. Yeah. But I think also you shouldn't, you shouldn't fuck with the person that whose parents signs the lease. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's, that is yeah. true. I do agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my um, gosh. So yeah, what would you guys do if your uh, partner <laughs> passed away? <laughs> like, not, sorry, wait, no, not that your partner passed away, but your partner's no, uh, parent yeah, it's a passed different away, situation. and you were like, I mean, I spent, uh, I think in the in the Am I the Devil post, it, okay, the vacation probably cost about thirty seven hundred dollars. That's what the Am I the Devil uh, money is saying. I see. Yeah, I like, like, I think, like, obviously, like, if I was in OP's position. I'm canceling the trip. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Like that's th- yeah. You know, there's you, you can go, you can yoga in Mexico anytime. It'll you still be there. Yeah. Amazingly. Yeah. It will Believe still it or not. be there. Shockingly. So it's like absolutely, obviously cancel the trip, go to the funeral. 
obviously it's it's unfortunate on in many many ways yeah. mostly that your partner just lost their freaking father yeah, yeah. that's kind of like numero uno yeah. well obviously it you know it, it does suck that you you know worked up save for this and yes of course that that it, it it sucks like for sure but um and but i will say on the uh op's partner I I think you know he is an emotional state like yeah. like he's definitely the one that is like going through it here for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know if if he had explained like I I totally get like hey we can talk about this later like maybe it's like too too much emotionally in that for moment. Sure. Yeah, but I do think it would have been a good move to be like listen here's how I felt when you told oh, me that yeah. you know Better. like yeah absolutely uh, I. You know, I literally just lost my father and like it literally feels like you're prioritizing, you know, going on a yoga retreat over me. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it would have been good to. Yeah. To sit down and explain that. But yeah, it's yikes. It, it's interesting because I'm, I'm literally not think. I mean, I, I I lost my dad when I was 19. So I am literally not thinking about her perspective at all. Yeah. I am very biased. So I wish I had the fucking balls, but like when your parent dies and it's something that no one knows until it happens, everyone around you, you're going to be so shocked when everyone around you is like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's like the, <laughs> the real amount of people that are like, I literally don't fucking care. It was like a couple of months and my close friends were still like, you're still talking about that. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I, when she, people I'm still friends with because they were like 19, they were trying to be like partying and right. doing shit. And they were, they didn't want to be bogged down by that shit. And that's lots of people think that way. Lots of people that are very young, like they just, I want to yeah. have fun. I don't want to go to a fucking funeral. And uh, lots of people think that and they don't know until their that's parents pass crazy. <laughs> yeah but, yeah yeah i wish i had the fucking balls to be like all right i'm getting out of this car yeah see ya the Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> tequila and yoga. Yeah, yeah exactly like, oh my gosh that's that's that is so crazy i i i uh i flew back home uh earlier this year my uh my friend lost his mom and it was very like painful like mm you know, think two weeks in the hospital Gosh. and yeah, it's like, you know, not, not many people showed up. Like it's, yeah. it yeah, is man. a really true, sad thing. Yeah. But your own partner, you would hope to at least yeah. understand, you would hope your own part a little bit like a, like, you know, um, unfortunately is partner duties. You know, you got to do that. Yeah. You got to do that at some point. If you're, is, you yeah, have a partner whose parents are alive. Role. Yeah. yeah like, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I wonder about this because I wonder how much people like value like the idea of like it's it's uh, I guess it's the, I guess it is like a sunk cost fallacy of like I spent all this fucking money. I'm gonna fucking yeah. like do this thing. I wonder how many people actually like kind of believe like when they're confronted with that people love they, money. They do love and money. They love that, vacations. That we, listen, same. they love Cabo love, who and love yoga. <laughs> they hate death and um parents dying i don't want to think about it so i'm going on i want to think about it and they're afraid of losing it like i feel like the fear of like losing the money i spent is like even stronger than the like oh like i love to yeah which also like 3700 as well like um i'm not gonna say that's not a lot of money it is a lot of money but also like for sure uh, for sure is it i'm would that be the whole cost of the trip or is that one person's payment because i it probably is one person's payment never mind because i was gonna say like if it was like uh like the entire group rate or whatever it was like that's what everyone then then they split it up after the fact like because not only that too like it's not only that too like if the friends can still go like I don't even think yeah, they're, they're like four fifth yeah, parties away. Up. They're not even like, yeah. unless like the only thing I can think of is like, is there peer pressure from the friends? And this is like me. Far, this is reaching. This is very honestly much, like, maybe conspiracy. Let's yeah, go. conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> conspiracy. Joel had here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just I, I don't know. I'm just so shocked sometimes when I read a story again to make yourself look good. When someone else is like, no, you're a, right. you're a fucking asshole for not like letting me, lo- not liking the fact that I'm going on this vacation. And like, and honestly, I bet I would not be surprised if a lot of people were like, no, honey, go on that vacation, and dump that guy. He's a downer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that I would not be surprised because people are like, yeah, that's a lot of money. I 
I would go if I had that money and I put that up and I'm not going to get that back. But she's just going to be down $3,700. Yeah. That's insane to me. Yeah. yeah like, it's, like, it's, it's wild. Like, it's not like I'm trying to even think of a, of a, of another scenario, but like this wouldn't even be real, but it's like, I'm going to like, lose my house and become like 500 grand in debt if i'm not here in this location on this one day it's like no yeah, this, this is very like, much like this no. is a, an ancillary yeah. cost you know it's not like oh i have a court thing i gotta do that day and i can't yeah, yeah. even then you, you probably could, get if it's jury it, yeah. duty you could go and be like my partner's dad fucking died now i gotta go to the funeral and then yeah, yeah, probably yeah, be like, oh, yeah. okay yeah. It's like literally the one time like guaranteed you need to yeah. be there for someone else and it's like nope yeah, I'm, I'm crossing my <laughs> arms on no. this. No, 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 not crossing arms. Downward dog. Oh yeah, da- yeah, Downward you gotta do dog. the yoga pose. Yeah, you dude, gotta can do you that imagine shit. having that there conversation with your partner and they're still doing yoga in front of you, or you're like, dude, I gotta go back up. Dude, my chakras. I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Free pose. <laughs> Free pose. Which we're not knocking. I've seen Joshua the Warrior yeah, pose and tree so, pose I very have a often. Yoga Yoga's fire. Yeah, it's yoga good. Is yeah, fire. Any, like, I, yeah. I think exercise is a good thing. Usually, you can do it at home. <laughs> you, can, you, can fucking, you could do it at home. Like, I get, like, you know, like, you don't need to. It's the best yeah, part. Like, listen, yeah, I, I, I love vacations. Sometimes you got to hold off on a vacation, sadly. Yeah. You know what, y'all? I think, I think. That I I might have found a compromise that could have saved this whole relationship. I situation. think I know what you're gonna yeah. say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> bring the yoga retreat to the funeral. I was thinking bring yeah. the funeral to the yoga retreat so everyone gets a vacation. Oh, funeral in Cabo. Yes. Yeah. We're Dude. burying him in Cabo. Dude, Cabo Dude can amazing. you imagine Dude. the uh, the the ad of like the video YouTube ad where it's like come to Cabo for your new Bury funeral? Your father in and Cabo. it's like a casket yeah. getting lowered, and then it's also then a guy on a jet ski. Your fallen ones with this tequila. <laughs> Don Julio for your for your Papa Don <laughs> for your Papa Don or Julio Pour one out yeah <laughs> in paradise it's uh, yeah the mix between like funeral wear but it's still like floral uh, print like it's fucking like a yeah yeah, yeah. like Tommy Bahama f- yeah <laughs> funeral suits like a uh, whatever they wore to um Jimmy Buffett's yeah funeral. exactly yeah yeah uh, the fucking oh, uh, white yeah. tank top opened up a uh, floral shirt, cargo jean uh, shorts and uh flip flops. There you go. Yeah. Legendary. God bless the king. He's wasting away at Margarita. Exactly. Rest we in all peace. love him. <laughs> RIP to the king. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's, I, I, saw, mean, I think we solved, we solved it? it guys. We did it yeah. again. Wow. We did it again. Four, four, four. Yeah. We'd we knock them out of the park every time. Yeah. God bless. Oh, thank y'all so much for, Inviting me no, on to help course. solve solve the yeah, mysteries, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> the yoga funerals of the world have been accomplished. Hell yeah, no, our pleasure. Hell Thank yeah. you for coming on. We really appreciate it. Everyone, please go check and out OKOP. Okay, OK, oh, and anything John wants to plug, yeah, yeah, if you want to plug plugs. stuff. OKOP. Okay, Just ty- type in OKOP OK, show youtube Spotify or wherever you consume your content. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. This is great. Of course, y'all. Thanks. Time. Back to the regular set. Absolutely. Oh, there, there's a cut there. Oh, it's not I guess. Gonna, it's not I guess. Gonna ha- guys, I pranked. Josh I, never I, edits. I, I don't know why he cuts, guys. brought this up. Thank you again to John from OKOP. Please go check out OKOP yes. show. That was a really good. That was, was a, a very good, good collab. collab. Yeah, I very much enjoyed it. We had so much fun going on their show and the doing the collab here, here on our show. On it's our been, show, yeah. it was wonderful. Hell yeah! It's nice to have Reddit friend. Reddit friend. <laughs> Reddit friends. But welcome back to the set for the rest of the Reddit segment because we only did four. We only I did would normally four. do ten, and we're still gonna do ten. And we're still gonna fucking do ten. Because also, I don't expect anyone that comes on the show to do a full yeah. That's seven a ridiculous amount. Sesh. I'm surprised he did as long as he did. Yeah, he was a trooper. Good he really for, was. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, it didn't take too much time away from him. Honestly, but, yeah. it, honestly, definitely go watch them. They're very. Even though, hard even though it was workers. like only like an hour and eight minutes, like still, I think, like yeah. But we got red stories. We do. Sarah, the floor. I don't know. I'm doing like weird hand movements. It's yours. Okay. Am I the asshole for refusing to return the gift? Ooh, the gift of life. <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill <laughs> yeah, him. Damn it. Of course you're not an asshole for not wanting to murder someone. <laughs> I'm crazy. 
Uh, my brother got divorced 11 years ago when his child was only four years old. I was my niece's nanny and I practically raised her. She is like a daughter to me. Mm. Recently, my niece has been asking us to buy a laptop for her because she needs one for school. So we figured that can be her Christmas gift. Okay. With my brother's permission, I bought a gaming laptop for Hell her. Hell yeah. Because I know she is a gamer and I figured she will like it. Hell yeah. Sounds simple enough. This is fine. Yeah, that's cool as hell. Like, yeah. yeah. The problem is that niece's mom called a few days ago and informed us that she brought uh, she bought a Chromebook for my niece since she has been asking for a laptop. Oh. I informed her. <laughs> that's how I feel when I, see, I read the word Chromebook, too. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think there is a place They're for Chromebooks. Fine. I think, yeah, I think that would be good to bring to school. Yeah. But then. That's kind of yeah. the way I think about but if you have, it, too. Like, I feel like you're told, like, oh, you got a day off of school. Go home. Still, yeah, go home. Yeah, and then you go home to your gaming laptop. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I informed her that I bought a laptop for my niece. She told me to return the laptop. Whoa! I told her that this is ridiculous and she should be the one returning the Chromebook. She got mad and said that she is the mom and decides what her daughter should have at should have and asked me to butt out of her parenting and just return the damn laptop. Oh my god! I told her that I'm not returning the laptop, so she has a choice now. She can either return the Chromebook and buy another gift, or watch her daughter's disappointment when she opens her gift Ooh. and realizes how petty and cheap her mom is. She yeah. called me an asshole. <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, the language. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's a little shitty. I think. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Okay, we'll, no, get, we'll, we'll get to that. There's an edit. Okay. Edit. After thinking about your comments, I finally decided what I'm going to do. I decided that I don't really care about how my brother's ex feels. How my niece feels is what matters to me, so I won't return the gaming laptop. Hell yeah. I will also block my brother's ex so that she can't bother me anymore. My brother also agrees with my decision. Yeah, that's fair. Because I, I, I... Okay, I'm a tech guy. We're both techies. We, we're, we're forced to because... You are more than me, like, but yeah. cameras and you know microphones and shit yeah i Um, I don't take very good care of my technology and it really makes you cringe a lot i think the thing is that's fine (laughs) sorry (laughs) but yeah fucking that's fucking bullshit i fucking fucking hate it uh no but like uh 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 (laughs) god threw me a curveball there i don't even know how to react right now (laughs) under the the lights the heat i think okay i i um so some people are saying everybody's shitty here i think the (sighs) I kind of understand the shitty part where it's like, oh, you're cheap. You don't even like for your daughter, you know, like I kind of understand that being shitty, but also are are not the best, but they're not useless. No, I don't don't think they're like also I have more information. I'm sorry. Oh, Okay. So apparently the mom is the weekend parent. Oh, okay. And the dad is the custodial parent. Interesting. So the dad is cool with the gaming laptop. Hmm. And also, um, the the da- the niece's brother or other cousin, yeah, has a gaming laptop that she really wanted and has been talking about. Oh, and that's why she got her specifically this gaming laptop. Oh, okay. Or he got the yeah, and she only got a Chromebook. No, the so mom only got a Chromebook. No, so oh. the niece has a cousin. Yeah, niece has cousin. Who previously has a gaming laptop that she saw and wanted. Oh, okay. And now OP is like, oh, I'm going to get her that gaming laptop for Christmas because that's what she wants. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, yeah. But the mom is telling her, no, return the gift that she wants because I am the mom and I bought her a Chromebook. Sorry, I got got a little confused there, I think, with all the people. No, it's complicated. But okay, so, (laughs) oh, well then, yeah, fucking, if you're the weak parent yeah or if you're the parent the during weak the week parent? no during the week like okay, you're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're the weakest <laughs> link you're the weakest night. link of the parent yeah part. Fucking, no but like um no fucking <laughs> i think yeah i think why okay i wouldn't return it if, i wouldn't if return that's it the case. i would keep it if like you were so goddamn adamant that like my daughter if my yeah can't have it you my see niece all the can't damn have weekends it. yeah you know and it's like um god that's weird so like fucking if anything i think have a have the home have let her have both she takes the chromebook to school she's got a school that's laptop probably more it's better probably honestly yeah because then you're you can get away with like well at least you know you can't put on any other like games on it so you can't right. get distracted at school exactly but then you go home to the gaming laptop unless like she has like a fucking 4080 like gtx <laughs> like uh desktop computer yeah which would be wild i guess i'm yeah, not necessarily wild yeah but like, yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, these are because these are tools because, OK, if we look at computers through the lens of tools, which I think is a good way to look at them. Yeah. 
And I think you should take care of your tools and stuff, you know, and like how they and keep no, it operating. No, fuck that shit up. Uh, you know, no, you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't <laughs> leave. Love that maybe shit. Maybe you shouldn't leave. I don't know. For the example, uh, ESO on the entire time, and then when you turn off your laptop, I see a little thing that's like Sarah's still playing ESO, <laughs> and I see your hard drive twisted up, and the cord is like kind of coming out. Yeah, but <laughs> fucking. It means I love it. That's, That's what it fair. means. Yeah, you do love and you enjoy your stuff. I yeah. use it a lot. That is fair. That is fair. Josh However, comes... Uh, listen, okay, I gotta say this now because you brought it up. Okay. So, you know, I guess we're gonna take jabs at each other. I guess I gotta... I, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I come from a music background with my technology. Okay. And you come from a film yeah. background. And film and sound people take very nice care of their shit. I was throwing shit around like I yeah. the, just the way that you deal with cables is so funny to me because you're very like and then you have you gotta to do over under you have to do over under you gotta and I'm just like fucking what's that one over there fucking <laughs> put it light on fire <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> you put it on fire light on yeah. fire get the to get the waves out you know <laughs> like there's a there's an old uh, off different background. Yeah, there's an old Mitch Hedberg joke where he says like I like to pinch the microphone when I'm reporting and then I unpinch it and then much jokes come out all at once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no fucking uh, uh yeah fucking um no so I think like yeah I think different tools have different purposes. I think a Chromebook is better overall for like if you're taking notes if you're going to school. Yeah, if you want to be all focused. you need is if all you need is yeah uh, like Chrome word and like a few other things or like google docs i guess because i'm willing to bet they they keep it all in house also the storage yeah double you know? the storage you know what i mean really yeah like the chromebooks have more storage no or, i just mean, I mean two laptops double the fucking storage. oh yeah you're right yeah, yeah there's more room there yeah, yeah you know so yeah i think that's fair and then yeah you have your gaming laptop with all the games on it yeah and like if you wanted to bring that to school you could still but like that's only like if you're like i don't want to fucking do anything yeah today. if something fucking like, happens to the chromebook or something yeah or like you have to stay late at school or something you know yeah. And like yeah you have a backup that's good that's also, fine someone made a good point that uh gaming laptops are probably very heavy yeah, you're not going to want to bring those all every day. To school. I used to have a, a red little gaming laptop. Like, that's not as big as the ThinkPad I do. The mm -hmm. ThinkPad, I will not... I try not to bring <laughs> anywhere. Oh, yeah. I once... Uh, remember uh, the the day I went to the... Uh, I was going to the car yes. place. And I was going to go to and Starbucks. And you had it off your... Because you have a messenger yeah. bag for your laptop. And it was, like, so fucking heavy. Yeah, and I had to walk home before... Uh, because I didn't... I forgot my hard drive to yeah. edit the podcast. So I was, I was just in Starbucks, like, I don't know what to fucking do. So I just walked a mile home. Because I had to edit on. the podcast, yeah. So crazy. Yeah, I, if I had a Chromebook... And It'd if it was just like I had to take hell. notes or something, yeah. You wouldn't be, be able to edit, but, but yeah, yeah. You know, I, yeah, it'd be a lot easier to walk home, you know? Yeah. So I think, yeah, they have very different uses. Mm -hmm. And I think you can have both in the same house and no one should be annoyed. Also, my thing is like, if the mom is like, no, don't get her that laptop because then it'll make my gift look like shit. Why did you buy her a gift that looks like shit? Yeah. I don't even think it's a gift that looks like shit. I think, you know. Well, I mean, like, if you know that she's going to be disappointed by the Chromebook, why the fuck did you buy did you, it? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you could have gotten something else. Yeah, that's fair. I understand that. Like, I feel like OP is, was a little dramatic with the... Oh, for sure. Yeah. But like, also, it sounds like this lady's fucking annoying. So maybe I could understand. I'm not too upset with, like, the reaction. Yeah. I do think in general you shouldn't be rude to people. Yeah. But I can understand this is, like, the straw that breaks the camel's back. You know, with this person. Yeah, where you're dealing with this all the time and it's like Yeah, yeah. I just I don't I don't want to deal with it. this person telling me what to do and I'm just also I under like, you know, OP feels like she has raised her kid. I do understand that the mom has definitely parental rights. I'm not saying that she doesn't oh, yeah, have no, any. I, yeah. Um but like OP like I would totally feel like I'm not even this kid's mom. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, chill, dog. Chill out. Fuck. Yeah, please. I'm trying to give my niece a present. That's yeah, it. That's, that's all, all I'm I, trying yeah. to fucking do. Jesus. Yeah. Jeez. God. I don't know. I I think also if the dad is okay with it, I think it's fine. Then it's okay. If the yeah. dad was like, no, that's when I would bring in the like, all right, do what the parent wants to do with the kid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If both the parents are in agreement on this. Yeah. Fucking, well, yeah. Dad's the main but the dad's parent. The main parent. He's yeah. cool with it. Yeah. So yeah. I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Solved it. Easy. Easy. Easy solved. Now, is this one going to be an easy solve? Mm -hmm. You never know. I don't know. This one has the tag serious on Am I the Butt Face, so it's serious. On Am I the Butt Face? Yeah, it's serious. <laughs> if someone's asking me if they're the Butt Face, they're I'm not serious. taking them fucking seriously. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, get ready. Okay.
Am I the butt face for calling my landlord's wife a wife? We'll see. I'm staying at a short-term apartment. My current lease ends in December, but due to job-related stuff, I had to extend my lease to the end of January since this is a short-term l- rental place. This is normal. My property is owned by a couple, Brad and Stacy. Fake, obviously. So, Airbnb. Kinda, yeah. Short-term rentals, or usually that's what that means, is yeah. Airbnb. Yeah. Before the incident, I only talked to Brad. Yeah, incident's a very strong word, yeah. Brad is cool. I've only received emails from Stacy where she listed her name at the bottom, but I've never met her. Okay. I wrote them an email asking them to extend my lease. When I was writing the email, I didn't know Stacy's name off the top of my head. Her previous emails were still in my inbox. Oh. But since I'm paying her rent, I didn't think it was essential to look up her specific name. So I wrote the email starting with, hey, Brad and Brad's wife, followed by my request and an extension. Okay. All right. Brad got Damn. back. Yeah, that's wild. Brad and Brad's wife. And it sounds like Stacy's the only one that's been sending you emails. So yeah. probably Brad and Stacy were like, let's do a short term rental. And then Stacy's like, okay, but you have to do part of it. And then Brad's like, okay. And then he doesn't. And then Stacy gets an email that says Brad and Brad's wife. There is an edit that kind of explains more like what each person does. But okay. like, yeah. So yeah, already. That's it's funny as fuck. Yeah. That's why you lie and say that your name is like, well, I I used to work for a short term rental company where but we also, would all lie like, and say our name you, is Molly. Yeah, but yeah. like even if you're sending an email to someone, you probably should know their name. You, yeah, how often do you even use someone's name? You know, it's very possible. I would totally imagine I would be in the position too where I'm like, I don't remember that lady's name. Fuck. Hey, comma. <laughs> yeah. Hope all is well. This is blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. Brad got back to me a week later saying I had to meet with him before he could approve a lease extension. It took three days to schedule this meeting with him canceling numerous times, oh my God. but I thought I'd be signing a new lease, so I made it work. I went into his office, and he said, my job as the landlord is to ensure we have a safe and supportive community in our apartment. It is not okay to refer someone as a wife. Is she not your wife? I interjected. She is, but she's more than just a wife. She is the building manager and has oh. a name. Stacy. Her name is Stacy. So in your emails, you should refer to her as Stacy, or if not, say building yes, management. Sir. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you're okay. un- if you're unable, then I will not extend your lease. This meeting or lecture from my landlord lasted around 10 minutes. Being essentially threatened with eviction, I just agreed, sucked it up, and fake apologized. Oh God. Frankly, I don't feel like I did anything wrong. No. I don't don't know her very well, and she is his wife. If I had a wife. I would want her to feel proud to be my wife and not ashamed, but my female comrades say it's dehumanizing to address a woman as their husband's wife and lightly misogynistic. I guess. Am I the butt face? I do. I mean, I guess I do think it is lightly misogynistic to be like uh, Brad and Brad's wife. Yeah. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that would just like don't see the job and just be like, oh, Brad, like. Someone was like, oh, it's Josh and Josh's girlfriend. Yeah, right? Like, but if they were referring to the podcast. I don't know if I would evict them. <laughs> that's, I think that's fair. I, you know, that's kind of crazy. Well, it's just yeah. kind of like a little slight. If it kept, if it, this was like the first time it happened though, right? I guess, but it's also like if you're only getting emails from Stacy specifically, like, and not even Brad. I feel like it's a little, I think it's weird. I just a, don't think you deserve to be evicted for that. I don't, yeah, it's, okay, there's an edit, just real quick. Update, my roommate had read this post, and he said I made a mistake in the details. Brad owns the property. The only thing Stacy does is handle the business emails. He objected to me referring to Stacy as a landlord because technically she's not. He also said that most other tenants had similar bad interactions with Stacy as he refers to her as, quote, a wife from hell. Frankly, I don't know if this changes any of the facts, but he's pretty insistent. Wife from hell. Wife from hell is interesting. Yeah. So who? Wait. Who referred to Stacey as the wife from hell? Other Brad? tenants. Other tenants. Other tenants. So this is maybe a big problem for Stacey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like other tenants are like, God damn, Brad's wife is a piece of shit. That's <laughs> the fucking deal with deal it. with people saying Brad's wife. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> That's actually I mean, kinda, yeah. That kind of sucks. Yeah, but I don't suck. think you should evict people. I don't people. think you should evict someone. Yeah. I think that's the worst crime you can do is have a fucking that's empty apartment with I, homelessness on the rise. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand that too. But it's very like it's your just, job is the is the as a landlord is to fucking house people, dude. Yeah. So 
house people. House yeah. people. Like, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so... Because I've been in customer service forever. Yeah. I've done customer service. I've answered emails on behalf of short-term rental people. Some people call me fucking Sandra. Some people thought I was Sandra O from Grey's Anatomy <laughs> because my I had to sign my name as Sarah O. And, oh. Uh, <laughs> they, were, they had to... Some people thought I was Sandra O so bad that they emailed my other colleagues and had them email me and ask me if I was Sandra O. And uh, I would have to be like, no. Why would Sandra O? I don't even know. Why would she be working at a call center? She's famous. She's, she's a probably, wonderful actress. Yeah, she's she's not hurting for money. Yeah, probably. I, I think she's fine. But you know, I, people mistake your name all the goddamn time. Uh, unless it's like a pet peeve, you know. I mean, yeah. I just don't think the response is okay. Well, you won't have a fucking house anymore, bitch. I get it. Yeah, I hate that mentality. Also, I do want to say we had um, uh, a TikTok go viral about the guy. Oh, wanting to move in with his girlfriends. Yeah, and, and kick like, her out of like, her writing study room, or study, so he could yeah. build his stream her setup. Office, yeah, her office. Yeah, and um, uh, that went viral on TikTok because that guy was such a fucking idiot asshole. Yeah. And yeah, but he I, sucked. I don't agree with the people that were like, you should be homeless. Yeah. Lots of people were like, he should be homeless. I think if you're a bad person, it should have not or bad or good it should have nothing to do with your right to housing. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. And uh, you should everyone should have a house. I don't think you should be like that means that you're walking around looking at homeless people and thinking, well, they're bad people. Yeah, they deserve it. Therefore, I don't have to give a shit I about don't homeless agree with that people. Either. Yeah, you know, no. and that's, yeah, it's shitty as shit. Just it's not. I don't think people should be homeless. I don't know or unhoused. I'm sorry. Yeah, the word is unhoused. Yeah, and um, I think everyone's kind of a butt face here. I think. Well, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, everyone is a butt face here. Yeah. I think. I, I agree think it's with bad to threaten eviction. I think you should also like. That's wild to me. Yeah, <laughs> that is. I is that in the least that you have to you have to call. Uh, Stacy. I guess if it's just the Stacey? rule. Well, it's it's one of those vague rules where it's like you have to keep a safe community. Mm. I guess. I guess it's kind of a shitty interpretation of it. But also, I'm kind of like I think go by the law. Call a goddamn lawyer. Call a a goddamn like eviction ass lawyer. What a lawyer that deals specifically with eviction because a lot of them don't. But uh, no, yeah, I feel like do yeah. that because then they have to give you thirty days. Did they give you thirty days? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's the, a short-term rental, so maybe the lease, whatever you signed, is different. But yeah. you said that you were going to sign a lease. What does that fucking mean? Is it mm. month to month? Does that mean that you don't have to give thirty days? Are they saying that they can kick you out whenever? Because I would be afraid of that. Mm. Um, that's pretty fucked up. I think the whole point of the thirty days, sixty days, whatever notice is. So they can't just kick people out for disrespect. Yeah, right. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I, I agree with that. If yeah. a man said to me, like, you have to call me this thing mm. because of respect or else you're not allowed to be here. I would be like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But OK, I guess my thing is like the way that it's, it's OK. Brad and Brad's wife. Mm -hmm. Like if you're being referred uh, again, if it was Josh and Josh's girlfriend. Especially if someone was talking about our show, yeah, would that would that hurt you at all? A little bit. Hmm. Do I think they not deserve housing? <laughs> no, well, that's they, my well, whole they, point. They deserve this podcast. Um, sure, yeah, they deserve the podcast. Uh, okay, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> what do you think? Because I don't think you've given think... me your thing. I think you just told me what do I think, and then you antagonize me about what all I. Right, think. Here's what I think. I yeah. think it does. Okay, when I hear someone saying. Brad's okay. Blank's wife, genuinely. Mm -hmm. I think there is some. There's a little level of like claiming, of like I would never not want as it. important as Brad. Not as important as Brad, and also like Brad's property. That's what it kind of comes off to me. Oh, that's how it comes off to me. Okay, yeah. That's for why sure. I'm like, whoa. That's kind of a wild thing to say. And also, like in the comments of the thing, mm -hmm. most emails, and I've realized this too, where it's kind of like I know that some people will. Like, like the woman does all the admin, that's it, and it's not a big job. No, the comments are like, and when you're writing an email, if you're trying to not make it personal, especially if you're talking to a group of people, yeah, you say, don't, hey y'all, hey y'all, like, hey, the, guys. That, hey guys, yeah, it's very, what's going on? It's very simple. I don't know why. It also, it's less typing as well. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. That's why I'm kind of like, why'd you have to go out of your way? It is definitely a weird thing to do. 
It's weird, right? It is. I don't think he should yeah. be evicted. I do no, agree that he should still be. I don't be think housed. he should be evicted yet at all. I, but I definitely understand why They're she upset. would be annoyed and be annoyed. Yeah, yeah I that, absolutely yeah. would be annoyed. I don't know if I would threaten eviction. I think that's pretty fucking wild. I think yeah, it should have just been like, hey, don't do that again. Yeah, that's what it should be. It's like, oh, by the way, I am the person. Blah blah blah, and then they continue to do it. Maybe you could, I don't know, figure it out. I guess. Yeah. But I think also, I just people do crazy shit, crazy disrespectful shit all the time. And this is okay. You can't just evict everyone for being disrespectful to you. That's fair. Okay, I understand that too. It's again, yeah. it's the punishment outweighing the crime. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I think also, I mean, talk should get hit. Like, don't fuck with your landlord, though. Yeah, and that's good. only in the sense that like this is the system that's currently made and, and we're living in. Yeah, like it's that sucks. in that sense of like you, a smart person wouldn't fuck Start up shit. with their yeah. landlord. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah, and it sucks. And I, I'm not gonna say it's a good thing. Yeah. I don't think landlords should exist, but I'm gonna be honest. I hate how p- has to do a fucking uh, uh fucking housing inspection every year, and she comes in and talks about how we smell like cats. Or whatever, and yeah. how we're fucking dirty, and then it's like, but you can live here another year. I'm like, okay, you didn't have to be disrespectful. You didn't have to be like that at all. But now. am I gonna say that? No, because yeah. I want to live here. <laughs> like you're crazy for that. Yeah, God. Yeah, <laughs> definitely it. everybody should eat here though. Everyone for sure. should eat here. I agree with that. Yeah, everyone's a butt face. Everyone's a butt face. I'm sorry. The butts face. Yeah. Why are the butt face ones so crazy? I don't know, man. I don't know. God bless butt face. God bless you, butt face. Shine on, you crazy butt face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just a d- fucking dude being like, you call my wife by her name or else you don't get to live in a house. Go fuck yourself <laughs> and your wife. Shut the fuck up, you fucking leeches. <laughs> you both were like, let me get into the landlord <laughs> business. That's where the money is. Taking advantage of people and making me call, making them call me sir. Making them do actual, yeah, make them do the work, yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. God. Okay. Okay. All right. Am I the asshole for telling my sister to keep her unsolicited and judgmental opinions to herself and that she's stooping so low it's disgusting? Wow. All right. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. What the of, fuck? Yeah, it's a what lot the of, fuck yeah, do you think this could be about? Something insane, right? It's about like, yeah, it's like, yeah. Something wild. Like naming someone in their email wrong. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, oh, okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, let's go. We do have two, yeah, name. It's about a name. Oh, shit. My wife and I welcomed our daughter into the world in November. Oh. We named her Calla after my wife's favorite flower and to honor my late grandmother, Lily. So mm. a Calla Lily is a flower. Oh, okay. That's nice. I think it's a cute name. You could call her like Callie. Cal, yeah, exactly. Cal. It was great. Yeah, nice. We announced the name uh, once we had all the paperwork. Pa- paperwork. We announced the name once we had all the paperwork <laughs> filled out. <laughs> we announced the name once we had all the paperwork filled out. For us, it was just easier in case anyone decided to comment something negative. Uh, as you can likely tell from the title of the post, my sister did have a problem with the name. Oh. She asked us why we chose a quote unquote weird name. What? And then told us a more classic and sophisticated name would have been far better for our little one. Why? I like, told- what, like what? Like your sister's <laughs> name? Like my name. We're going to have some options. Oh. Um, I told my sister to knock it off and we did not ask her for okay i'm gonna say that again sorry okay i told my sister to knock it off and we did not ask for her opinion fair she said she was only she oh fuck man she said she was only trying to help and i said very clearly we did not need or want her help with our daughter's name and it was already finalized and not up for change yeah that's fair Two days after our daughter was born my sister sent my wife a list of names for girls what they were all very common names that have been used throughout the generations, like Emily, Elizabeth, Hannah, Eleanor, etc. I mean, they're all fine names, but also like fucking. Why is that? So, why is that better than the name already made? Like that's stupid. So sister is like, don't like that name, and then OP is like, I don't, I don't fucking well, care. Yeah. And, and then sister's like, like, okay, I'm gonna send you an email of the names that you should use. Top ten female names. Let's go. <laughs> And he's like, what? What are you doing? What? What? Yeah. 
My wife replied that Cal's name was already official, not up for change. She told me about it when I got back from the store. So also the sister is going around her brother. Oh, real? Oh shit! Yeah, like just get emailing out of here. the wife. Yeah, get out of here. That's a breach of yeah. That's wow. pretty sneaky shit. Ridiculous. The next time we saw my sister, she asked my wife why she wanted such an unusual and out there name that nobody else will have. Why are you being weird and unusual? Period. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You are being very strange. Down. Yeah. <laughs> she told my wife that coming from foster care, you would think she would understand the importance of having a name that blends in and is classic and easy to say and spell. What? 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 Oh my God. Get out of here. Get out I, of here. I don't here. even really know what that means. I guess, like. I don't know even what, how did that Why connect? don't you have a good Christian name, you know, that I can read and understand and I'm not going to get wrong and look like an idiot in front of everybody. Well, we're going to get more into this because it keep, it doesn't keep getting worse. Unfortunately, it keeps going. Yay. This is a train that never this stops. This is only step two in our 10 step program of, <laughs> of keep harassing your, <laughs> your, brother, your brother's wife. wife. Okay. Oh my god. I was not in the room when she said this. Oh my god. But she also told her that she was opening her daughter up for a lifetime of being asked about her name. I don't think Who, so. No, no one's going to care. It's it Callie. Yeah. Just goes by Callie. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to be like, "Okay." Yeah, it's a yeah. Everyone's everyone's going to be like, "Fine." That's more than fine. Yeah. Like California or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like it's not, it's If they like, just hear it, it's fine. Calla. Yeah. Calla. I mean, how far they off did. is that even from, like, Kayla? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, a, like, one, like, fanatic, whatever it's called, like, away from it. You know what I mean? Literally. Like, it's, yeah. It it's doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, like, yeah. That's dumb. I mean, lots of people have weird names. I don't think anyone I don't would think really give a shit about it. names are weird. I think they're just different from what people expect, and I think that's fine. And like, uh, honestly, there are ways to make fun of literally any name. Yeah. Everyone's name's gonna get made fun of at some point. Yeah, uh, kids are mean. They're yeah, just going that's to do the real that. lesson you should be. Yeah, yeah. Now, unless you're a certain Musk and <laughs> you name your kid, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, bah. yeah, like it's a little. Yeah, Someone maybe. actually made a comment about Elon in this thread and was like, even if you did name it something like Elon Musk's fucking weird kids, no one would really. No one would give a shit. Too I much think. of a shit. Yeah, and this much of a shit at least would yeah. be weird. She left behind two baby name lists that day. Can't, are you like printing she them brought out? Them out, wrote them out, like and it's left like 2001, them. and you're doing a map quest, but for baby names. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 2001. That's not when map. I mean, I don't think. <laughs> Fuck, dude. When was map quest around? I remember it. God, maybe it was around 2001. Dude, map quest on 9/11 launched in '96. Fucking Whoa, get out of here. You did that, get man. Wrecked, you really dude. got that. Dude, I sent my sister a text that we needed a break from her. If that's how she was going to behave. She didn't reply right away. And then over the following couple of weeks, she sent many more name suggestions. Stop. And when we did not reply, she sent a very long, very detailed email telling us that we did not stop to think about the name Kala when we chose it. Yes, they did. Oh, my God. She said it might sound pretty to us, but when you have a name almost nobody else has, it causes problems. No, it doesn't. She also said that people want to need names that sound like names and not words or plants that are being used as names now. She said that she has Man, no you're idea. Be real pissed when you find out Rose is a common name. Oh shit! I fucking, fucking hate that lilac shit. Even I don't even fucking know, dude. Like Lila. shit, lavender, like, lavender, yeah, lavender brown. Yeah, fucking yeah, exactly. She said that she had no idea we were that try hard that we would pick a nature name try hard but for names what as if that one isn't one of the most idiotic okay i'm gonna say that whole sentence again because it doesn't make damn sense no, it doesn't to make me. any fucking sense no she said she had no idea we were that try hard that we would pick a nature name as if that isn't one of the most idiotic things in the world then she mentioned my wife being a foster kid again and Please how stop <laughs> And how she should know better of all people. I what are you talking what about? What does that fucking mean? There's something weird it's going weird. on. Yeah. There's some weird judgment. I snapped and called up my sister to read her the riot act over the phone. I told her to keep her unsolicited and judgmental opinions to herself. And if she does not stop sending us baby name suggestions, then she will be permanently blocked. 
I told her I did not like her at all right now, and she is being a major asshole and yeah. stooping so fucking low that it's disgusting. It's very, yeah, it's very bad. Yeah, I ended the call without letting her reply, and she blew up my phone saying I had been so disrespectful and wow, crossed more yeah. line and crossed more lines than her. How? Am I the asshole? No, you're not the asshole. Not. Fuck your sister. Holy shit. So someone asked, does she have any like does she have like a complicated name or something? Yeah. Or what's any her trauma name? or does she know people or whatever? None. No trauma. And this is what OP said. She has no name related trauma. I always knew she had names she liked for her own kids. Never did I expect she would be this bad over what my wife and I chose to name our daughter. Yeah. Even if she has commented in the past that she uh per- uh, even if she has commented in the past that she prefers more classic and or traditional naming standards. I thought she'd respect some people like something uh, like, oh God, I thought she'd respect some people like something a little different. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, just, it's, oh God, people are so weird about names. In a separate comment, though, P is like, so he describes why she keeps bringing up foster care is basically, she's like, why wouldn't you want your kid to have a normal life if you had an abnormal one? Oh my God. Are you serious? I'm being serious. (laughs) I wonder, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, because that is some fucked up shit to tell someone. She specifically uses the word normal. Wow. God, you freak. Oh my god. That is such oh yeah, no, I I will say that is some yeah, that is some like holier than thou fucking bullshit where it's, it's so like weird. Yeah, you you want your kid to have a normal life unlike the one you had. Yeah. I bet it was real tough. Okay. So here it is. She claims that being in foster care, my wife should know how important it is to have stuff be normal. Normal name, not being raised in a too out there or weird way, and shouldn't want to make our daughter's life harder given she, parentheses my wife, had a hard start to her own life. So having a name that isn't like biblical <laughs> is equivalent <laughs> to, to being a foster kid. That's the comparison we're making here. Really? That's so insane to me. Let her have her weird little name. Lots of people love their weird names. You know, the hot dog place. I don't even place, think it's that weird. Sarah, have you thought about the fact that... Uh, Nathan? The, uh, yeah, <laughs> when we have our baby boy and we well, name and him Nathan. Hot, no, no. When, when, we, uh, when I go to a hot dog place uh-huh. and they're out of ketchup, that is the, exactly the same as me getting botulism. Did you know that? It's exactly it's the same. same. It's the My same thing. My tummy be rumbling yeah. the same way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Me getting a paper cut is it uh, you giving me a paper cut it's is the same way as like getting oppression. shot in the head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is what are you talking wrong about? With you? What are these? Yeah. What, they're not what? not the same level. It's a fucking name. It's a goddamn name. It's also, not you're in the foster system. It's not that you're like an adopted kid. If like she hasn't exhibited this behavior, this boundary breaking behavior before. This is deeply worrying. Yeah, because like, why is this? Why? What's happening? This is some weird obsession. Like, yeah. I would even go so far as to be like, "Are you okay? Like, do you need to go yeah, to a like, hospital? What's the problem here? What's going on? Because <laughs> wow. it just makes no damn sense. It makes absolutely no sense." Jesus. Unless there's been stuff that like you're now gonna be like, wait a minute. She's been like this for a little while, actually. Right. Yeah. May- you know? It might be that you're just blind because it's your sister. Yeah, and like, you and know. And then now it's like, what the fuck? My sister's constantly stepping over my boundaries and I just never noticed. And now but now I'm like, oh no, the patterns were always there. Yeah. That's so wild. That's dude, any name is fine, man. I don't I, I think really Cal don't. is cute. Yeah, I think it's a great name, yeah. You can be in the Cal zone, dude. Dude, she's in the cal zone. She's in the fucking cal zone, dude. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. I don't uh, know. I think it's cute as hell. Why don't? Why can't Weird. we have fun? With why can't names? we have fun with names? Fucking, you're an adult. Make make fucking decisions about your own goddamn. Try kids. hard. Try hard is a wild fucking like. <laughs> so dumb, Jesus. That's why. That's kind of what makes me think it's mental illness. Because it's like, what are you? What are you talking, are you about? talking yeah, about? It makes no sense. These observations make zero sense. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully it's not. I, I Well, I mean, hopefully, honestly, it is because then there's a way out of this assholery. So. Yeah. Right. But Jesus, it's I, out of nowhere. It's I don't like, want her to be suffering. I'm just like, 
Yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah, like yeah. hopefully she doesn't have to suffer through mental illness, but also hopefully she can come out of this and be like, damn, yeah, I was just I was a being... raging asshole. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. God. Damn. Fuck. Solved it. Solved it. Sarah, you know what I love more than anything in the world? What? Alcohol. Dash does not drink. I don't drink, but there might be a reason why. I might get into it here. Mm. Uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know how to feel about this one. Okay. So it's like one of those, maybe, ooh, I don't know, we'll see. No, I know exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. okay. I, I don't well, know then what the know. fuck? Why did know. you say that? I don't know how to introduce this one. I don't think there's a way to ease into this, so we're just going to have to go with it, all right? Okay. Sometimes I pick some, you know, questionable stories. I think this is one of those times. I'm aware of that. <laughs> okay? You're like I'm, on your apology tour? I just want to say real... <sighs> maybe I shouldn't have picked this story. However, I did, and we're going with it, okay? <sighs> hey, guys. I picked a bad Reddit story. <laughs> Okay. Am I the asshole for drinking too much at my fiance's family gathering? We'll, we'll see. Me, male 29, and my fiance, female 21, have been dating for over two years, but I have not met her family since they live in another city. Mm. Not gonna gloss on 29, 21. We'll get to that. Don't worry. Okay. My fiance moved to my home city for university, and I met her, her here, but her hometown is over 1.5 hours away, so I have not met her family until this. My fiance invited me to a family gathering at her hometown, and I'm extremely busy as I work in construction, which is why I haven't met her family before. That and the fact that they live so far away. Okay. Before the dinner, I was nervous because I am meeting her family and want to make a good impression. Mm -hmm. She told me that they do drink alcohol, so I drank three to four beers on the way to her house because one, I'm nervous, but two, my fiance said they drink, so I thought it would be fine. Oof. Well, here's the dilemma. I didn't eat that much before I started pre-drinking, oh God. so the couple of beers hit me way harder than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. I showed up slightly buzzed, but when I got there, they offered me some wine. Oh, shit. I happily accept, and they started introducing myself, and I started introducing myself to all of the different family members. Well, my mother-in-law- Wait, this is the first time he's meeting them? Yes. I don't know why I missed that. I'm sorry. This is the first time fiance- Ooh, no. Yeah, okay. There's a lot there's a lot going on here. Yeah. We're gonna get to I all get of why it. He's nervous. I don't know. Three or four <laughs> beers is a lot of beers. It's a pre-game. <laughs> but also I think my brothers and their friends, they used to do that. I remember. Average uh, Atlanta <laughs> fucking... Average Atlanta build thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I happily okay. Uh well my mother in law apparently likes to eat a dinner a lot later than I was expecting. So we didn't end up eating until two and a half to three hours later than when I arrived. Oh, shit. Also, did he drive himself there? I think that's what happened, which is pretty wild that that's you're drinking three asshole. to four beer. Yeah, if you're drunk driving, you're a piece of shit. You're yeah. a piece of shit. Yeah, I yeah. agree with that. By the time dinner came around, the alcohol had hit me hard. I will admit myself, I was decently drunk. Without my fiance preparing any food during the day and my mother-in-law having a late dinner... The alcohol was basically all my body had that day. Oof. This is super embarrassing to admit, but I was really drunk as were, we were all serving ourselves dinner, and I dropped my plate with a good amount of food on it. <laughs> Obviously, I apologized and offered to clean it up, but by this time, my fiancé was pissed and wasn't being understanding of the situation I was in, especially considering I was making first impressions with her family. Um... Yeah, dog. I mean, listen, I'm sorry, but like, yeah, dog. I, I'm so secondhand embarrassed. Yeah. By the time I went to get a second plate, I was becoming dizzy and ill and realized I wouldn't even be able to make it through the dinner and asked her where I could lay down. She was livid as she brought me to her parents' room, basically tossing me in the room and slamming the door, oh making a huge scene. Instead of going into b the bed... I went to the bathroom and threw up, staying there for the rest of the dinner. I spent the rest of the night laying in the washroom, and on the drive home, she was ripping me a new one. It's been two days, and she's still acting pissy about the situation. Yes. All caps. That was all caps. Yes. I know that I am partly to blame, and I fucked up, but... She told me that they like to drink, and she also said she was going to make me lunch, but never ended up making me lunch that day. On top of that, I wasn't expecting dinner to be served so late. My point is, yes, I really fucked up, but at the same time, I wish she would cut me a bit of, bit of slack due to all of the other variables. Am I the asshole because I unwillingly got too drunk at her family gathering? 
I really want to add that her family was the one feeding me liquor. I was not serving myself. Edit. Okay. Yes, okay. I agree I fucked up in this situation and take full responsibility. But I'm taking that butt. <laughs> like, but. no, then you're not taking responsibility, you freak. What the fuck? Like, but I'm talking. I'm talking about how she's still holding it over me and acting disrespectful to me. I uh, I mean, okay. Uh, you uh, no. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> I mean, she, Sarah, this looks really funny. Sarah, did you consider the fact that she didn't make me lunch and that's why I didn't have any food in my system? Dude, this is such a dude like, but babe. <laughs> <laughs> but your family kept feeding me drinks. It would be perfectly fine if he was just like, no. Unless they were like, no, you literally must drink this alcohol. I swear yeah. To God. Like, but if he was like, no, I had a few beers before I got here. That's also pretty <laughs> fucked up. Pretty well, actually, wait a minute. Yeah. I wonder, because I wonder genuinely if it's or like. Or you could just be like, no, it's okay. Yeah. I And then they just wouldn't. Oh, I'll take a the water. Only I'll take I'm a even soda. Like, yeah, uh -huh. remotely hesitant is like, is, are you just like a full blown alcoholic? Like. Okay. Drinking three to four beers before meeting your twenty-one-year-old fiance. Oh, you're okay. So something I read recently about alcoholism that uh, I think is a good way of determining it because it doesn't. It's not about how much alcohol you drink. It's about whether or not it affects your life. Yeah. And this definitely. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a one-time fuck up for this guy or if he consistently drinks three to four beers before, before doing anything being nervous. And there is a lot of situations where like I knew a lot of musicians who would go up on stage and they'd be totally cool and calm and they'd be doing whatever, especially jazz people because they can fuck up and they can they can fix it. But I know a lot of them that were like, yeah, I just do a shot of whiskey before I go on. That's how I perform. And I'm like, Every time? Every time is like... You perform like five times a week. <laughs> you're doing shots of whiskey in the middle of the day. Before you go out and perform and then have to go home. And then you have to drive home or drive to the hangout afterwards. Yeah, where you get more drinks probably. And where you get really drunk, you're just partying for your job. Yeah. And you are an alcoholic <laughs> at that point. Like... But it is, yeah, so that's how someone said it. And I don't know if that even is true. I don't, I'm not the an expert on alcoholism. So I don't know if it is for this guy. It definitely seems like some shit. Like I know for my brothers, when they started getting worried about their drinking, it was like their their friends would come over pregame, like bring cases over. They would all drink in their house for like an hour to two hours. Yeah. And then they would all get in the car and go to a bar and drink further throughout the night for hours and then come back to their house and continue to drink. And it was happening like every weekend. Jesus. And But they were thinking, if I'm not getting drunk every night during the week, they, the, if I'm not drinking this amount of liquor every day or every week or whatever, mm. they were quantifying it in numbers to make it seem like they weren't al alcoholics, but that they just like to party or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get what you mean. <laughs> And no, but that's how it leads into that where you eventually you're dependent on alcohol all the time. Yeah. Um. So I don't know what the rest of this guy's life looks like, whether or not he is an alcoholic. I will say he made a huge ass of himself for sure. That is, yeah, that's 100 percent what happened. And I think, yeah, his, his uh, fiance is for sure able right, to be mad, to be mad at and him, a little pissy about it, a little pissy about it. Yeah, that's kind of when a you're a 21 year old trying to take care of a 29 yeah, year tw old i forgot he's 29 oh my god what an idiot there's a lot of yeah there's a this story has a lot that's like it. a rookie mistake dude how are you th almost 30 and this is what's happening oh my god i remember poor, dude. it's because she didn't cook him didn't dinner cook him or dinner. lunch and they had dinner yeah, too late actually fuck this drunk driving asshole <laughs> grooming ass motherfucker. I think maybe she drove him. I think that's what happened. Because okay, it seemed like they fine. drove together. But still, taking that out of the equation, I'm still like, you're kind of an asshole. Yeah. That's pretty fucked up. Especially if he's going to turn around and be like, upset at her. You made me do this. You make me drink, woman. You, make me, I, you made me like this. Yeah, that's alcoholic, abusive alcoholic shit for sure. Yeah, and you're an asshole about it. Yeah. yeah. You need to get help. Probably, actually. Most likely. Um... It was well okay, and also using alcohol to calm nerves mm. is bad. 
I think so too. I agree with that. You're, yeah. Yeah. If you're dependent on it to be calm, that's not yeah. good. I always wonder because I always wonder like how like <laughs> I, I definitely come off like super anti alcohol sometimes. And I wonder yeah. how crazy I seem about it, where I'm kind of like, I, if uh, alcohol didn't exist in this world, we'd all be better. You were right, though. Yeah. That's the thing. It's just so normalized that I'm like, <sighs> I'm so against it because, like, I've been around people that are so anti alcohol that I'll drink one drink and just they see me every couple of weeks and I'll drink one drink in front of them and they'll pull me aside and be like, I think you're an alcoholic. And I'm not like that. No, you're not. And you know that I don't drink literally ever oh, unless yeah, I'm at your mom's house. Yeah. So that's just to deal with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> to calm your nerves. Yeah. To calm my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> well, and also you're I mean, that's the thing about the feeding them drinks. That's why I was so initially like, yeah, that makes sense cuz your parents definitely do that to me. Yeah. 100%. No, the I understand. The first time I met your parents, your mother asked me, "Whiskey, what's what's my favorite type of liquor?" Liquor. Oh yeah, like full on like full on liquor, and I was like, I like Jack Daniels, I guess. And she was like, Oh damn, you're gonna make me get drunk. And it now it has been a continuous pattern where every time I go over, we get drunk together. And I realized too, I was also not 21 when we first um, no. met, and you probably met my parents. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I'm remembering now during COVID, we had my 21st birthday at the house. Like, fucking, yeah, that was awkward because I was like, I feel like I'm forced to drink right now, kind of. Yeah, and also we showed up late because we were doing the Fringe Festival thing. Oh, really? Yeah, that was that. Oh, no, that was a different birthday. No, it was, that was the 21st. No, because that was uh, COVID. My 21st happened 2020. Oh, yeah, you're right. That was probably that was 2019. Then, yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah. They were really pissed at us, yeah. They were pissed at us, yeah. Yeah, 2020 was the one where Tijuana Flats wasn't open. Yeah. For some fucking reason. COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah, COVID. <laughs> well, yeah, but it was weird. It was in the middle of the day. It was in the middle of the day. It was a little weird, yeah. Yeah, it was strange. Like, yeah. they had been open every day. I guess it was the uh, shortages, probably. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, I don't know. It, it was a big deal, though, for the entire family that Tijuana yeah. Flats wasn't open, because they planned on it. I did plan on it and as well. And then, like, yeah. you went in the car and drove to a different Tijuana Flats, like, hours away, right? I don't remember. Someone picked up food, because it was, I remember getting so pissed, because everyone was like, Josh, what do you want to eat? And I was like, you know he doesn't Wanna like choosing. It, yeah. Like, it's his birthday. Just fucking choose something. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna like it. He likes hanging out with you. But they think you're gonna, like, complain. <laughs> I'm a big complainer. And they, they get, like, Outback or something. No, like, that's I, yeah, crazy. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't give a shit. Wild. But they were like, you were definitely getting anxious. And I was like, guys, can you stop making him anxious on his birthday? Holy shit. Yeah. But they were all definitely drunk for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> guys. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I don't know. Alcohol, man. Yeah. They don't make you do crazy things. <laughs> I mean, it's very easy to fall down the rabbit hole mm. of depending on alcohol to, to be social or to be calm. And um, it's very easy, especially if you are predispositioned to alcoholism and you have that disease. Yeah. It sucks. Ass. Mm. And uh, I don't want to judge someone, but also you are responsible for your actions. Yeah. You know what I mean? I understand that. Yeah. You yeah. can't like, just be like, I was drunk, so nothing like, matters. Part of re the recovery, from what I understand, I don't know if this is even... Because I know AA is like weirdly religious. Like part one of the steps is like you have to attune yeah. with a god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, for what? Okay. It's like, if you don't have... But I have no idea about it, so I don't know. No, I get you. I've, yeah. never, I've never been to a meeting yeah, or anything. Get so. help if you have a problem. Yeah, definitely. And don't um, yell at your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, don't your blame your girlfriend. You need to Sorry, take accountability. Fiance. Oh, yeah, fiance. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't go back and... You made a fool out of yourself, and you should be like, I'm fucking sorry. It's everyone else's fault but mine, though. Have like, you ever considered that? I feel like maybe there's a way to come back from it, but... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If I was, if my daughter showed up with her 29 year old boyfriend, he had to go lay down because he was too drunk. And in he just, my bed. <laughs> in my bed. I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Not the Real best keeper. first impression, I will say. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> Solved it. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed for him, but I'm also like, oh, dude, dude, come, come on. on. Okay, get ready for this one. All right. Final story from you, too. Shit. Yeah. Oh, no. I cannot believe there are, peop there are people out there like this. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm so excited. Am I the asshole for leaving the living room when husband didn't put the movie he invited me to watch on? Oh. 
Damn, yeah. Yeah. No, you should have left. Yeah, if it wasn't if it wasn't Cars 3 or whatever it was. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to stick to the facts because I've been gaslighted about this already by him. Okay. Order events as follows. Bullet point one. He brings home noodles for dinner, sets the bowls on the counter, and asks if I want to watch Oppenheimer. Okay. I grab my bowl and a drink, say yes, sit down sit down on the couch near him as he has control of the remote. Okay. He turns on whatever he was using to stream movies and comes comes across a surgeon movie slash documentary and makes a comment towards it, uh, quote unquote, ah, this is like the Tinder swindler. Oh, okay. So it's like a okay, documentary. All right. I nibble my dinner, scroll through Reddit. He finishes his meal as he watches the documentary. Okay. So it's just on now? Like that's just- He's uh, watching it. Okay. But he said, do you want to watch Oppenheimer? I brought food. She's like, yeah. She gets the food. She sits down, waits for him to put on Oppenheimer. Yeah. And he puts on just like something else. Okay. And that's starts watching it without asking her. ADHD or- king over here, but okay. <laughs> but okay, that's well, a little I don't weird. know if you want to align yourself with this man. I'm not going to align with him, yeah. <sighs> I ask if this is really what he wants to watch. He says 20 more minutes. I get up, put my what? leftovers in the fridge, and go into the bedroom. 15 minutes later, he says, do you want to watch Oppenheimer? <laughs> At this point, I'm not in the mood and said, I thought that was the plan, but you decided to put this other thing on. <laughs> that's kind of funny. That's really, that's what fucked up. Fuck? That's really fucked up, though. Yeah, it's yeah. like, why are you repeating? Like, yeah. why are you coming in and be like, well, I thought we I were thought fucking we were watching, watching this. Like, like, yeah, like, I put, fucking thought too, Putting on bitch. fucking Love Island instead. <laughs> like, fucking... <laughs> Whatever the polar opposite of Oppenheimer is, and it's like, why aren't you watching this with me? Like, what the fuck? That's wild. Okay. Okay. I'd be pissed now, off listen, too if I, I was being I asked would, this question. I would initially be like, okay, maybe, yeah, ADHD, neurodivergent. Okay, this is gonna okay, this is gonna keep. All Here right. we go, though. Here's where emotions get charged. Him. I only watched it for 20 minutes. Okay, hold on. Spoiler. It was a full episode. Me. You invited me to watch Oppenheimer and then didn't turn it on and put on something you wanted to watch without even asking me. I sat down thinking we were going to watch the movie. That's fair. Okay. Okay. He starts in on the classic, you're crazy argument, and I'm not having it. I tell him I'm not interested in dealing with his antics and he behaved selfishly and I'm done. He didn't like being called selfish, but I felt like that's what his behavior was. It was selfish... Uh, to invite me to a specific movie and then put on whatever he wanted to watch instead. It got worse. Much worse. We don't communicate very well, and I said as much. I said no matter what I expressed to him, he will blame me and act like the innocent one. And he did. He kept on defending his actions. Oh my god. And called me crazy again. Jesus Christ. Am I the asshole for walking away from the living room when he started watching something I wasn't interested in after he invited me to watch something I was interested in? And am I the asshole for calling him selfish? No. God damn it. Wow. What a left turn that was of like, you're a fucking crazy motherfucker. I'm really worried about the, oh, he calls me crazy all the time. That is, yeah, that's a problem. That's that's a genuine you, problem. Yeah. I Wow. In general, I think, like, this is, so we were talking about this before, like, I feel like had this just stopped before he was like, you're fucking crazy, I think they could have had a conversation and figured it out. Like, but it was no, just a misunderstanding. He's antagonistic, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it reveals a deeper problem, the communication issue, actually. Yeah. Jesus. Wow, that's wild of like She's exactly like, like neither of them really communicated very well. Like uh, someone else said everybody's shitty here because she didn't immediately immediately say why are we watching this and not Oppenheimer? But like that puts the I kind of don't the, think it's on her. Yeah. He's the guy that fucking brought it up. What the fuck? Yeah. And also probably this is goes on a lot. It probably happens multiple times. Yeah. Jesus. And I just want to bring this up cuz one time the <laughs> Oh, no, I'm about to get blasted. No, it's not, oh. it's not you. Phew. <laughs> One time, I, I was, like, friends with benefits with a guy, and he just, like, came home and was like, yeah, I just got off of work. Do you I was in his bedroom. Oh, wow. On the bed, waiting. Sitting. Waiting to fuck, yeah. Waiting to fuck. Fully clothed. That that's Don't you picture me like, naked. naked like, <laughs> no, no, no. I was just like, Reynolds fucking, it was just like hello. the awkward moment in a friends with benefits situation where you're like in the room where you're gonna fuck, but you <laughs> haven't you fucked wait, yet. Yeah. And you're just kind of waiting. And he just walks in and he goes, yeah, I just, I just got off of work. Can I have dinner? And I was like, okay. And he sure, brings yeah. out dinner that he got from his kitchen. 
in his parents' house where we were. Oh my God. And he brings it out and he sits at a desk and faces away from me and eats his dinner for 30 minutes oh and my then God. takes a phone call <laughs> and talks with someone that sounded flirty also. So oh, I was like, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. If it, I hope it's not a girlfriend. <laughs> Just like, I hope that's not what that is. Yeah. Oh, holy damn. Shit. Shit. That's wild. <laughs> Just like, like, imagine you're dating, you're, you're not really dating, but you know, whatever. Yeah, friends with benefits. You're friends with benefits with someone and they're just like, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Are we going to no, fuck yeah, or what? Out of work. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. They cannot hear you, by the way. I just want to let you. Oh, yeah. I just got out of work. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh no! How was your day? <laughs> like, <laughs> like what the fuck? I would also gr- get up and leave. Yeah, I would. I would leave. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, yeah, man. Wow. All right. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> just I That's don't know. Wild. Yeah. Sometimes people are just selfish. That is fair. He was being very selfish. Yeah. yeah. Fucking wow. God. Thank God. Thank you for catching me yeah, on the ADHD. I, you didn't want to. You didn't yeah, want to align yourself. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> How dare I? <laughs> Solved it. I didn't Solved have all the it. information. Damn. That's okay. Easy one. Easy, easy one. Peasy. I don't remember what my last one is, so we're gonna figure out if that's easy. If, if your boyfriend calls you crazy about anything, you should, uh, yeah, you should leave. Yeah. You should bounce. Oh, this one's fun. Or at least set a boundary and be like, "Don't do yeah, that." Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Am I the asshole for suggesting that my sister-in-law is a hypocrite for ordering a highly caloric meal for my brother who's currently on a diet? This could go either way. Yeah. Either she is sabotaging him or this person is like, so every tortellini is 80 calories. Yeah, you right. Know what yeah, I mean? like some, like you're, yeah. you're putting every tortellini into one of those things that fire it up. Yeah. yeah. God. I have three brothers and my oldest brother, Andrew, is currently dating this girl, Angelina. She is decent but quite antithetical in a lot of ways. Our family always gets together on, at weekends for dinner and stuff, and now my sister-in-law gets to tag along. Mm. Andrew had a health scare in the past and is trying a completely new diet. I had a friend over last Sunday who's a professional chef and he made Indian food, but did, Andrew didn't want to eat it as he thought it was too spicy. Angelina ordered a highly caloric meal for him then, which I thought was funny because, oh well, he's on a diet. I don't know why we're flourishing. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, well. Yeah, he's he's on on a diet. diet. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. I mentioned this and my brother replied that the doctor has given him carte blanche to eat what he wants on the weekends. Oh. I said, oh, well, that's funny because that's not how it works. And I mentioned the expensive treadmill that they just bought for exercise asking, what's the point? How do you? So you know how it works more than the fucking doctor? (laughs) The doctor? And also, do you know that you're not allowed to eat anything that isn't healthy if you own a Ever. highly expensive treadmill? No, you only can eat rice and unseasoned uh, chicken. chicken and broccoli. You can only meal prep once you buy a, a fucking, uh, what are they called? Peloton? Yeah. Oh, God. That's another. The FBI will shoot you if you don't, you know, eat. The FB- FBI. The FBI. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for mocking me. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm ableist. Sorry. <laughs> um, but speaking of my, one of my favorite hate comments was the, the throwing up emoji and, ugh, get a Peloton. That was, that was really good. Yeah. That's a very good, yeah. That's good an hey early guy. one too. That's a very early one. Yeah. That was on Instagram, I think. Get a Peloton. Jesus. Just go and buy one. Damn, dude. $5, I guess I fucking will. dollars overpriced bike. <laughs> yeah. My money tree came in. Yeah. Thanks. God. Angelina is also encouraging my brother to adopt a more active lifestyle. Mm. They run every morning and go on hikes together. But that's nice. I also mentioned this and said it's quite a hypocritical of her to force him to exercise while ordering death on a plate for him. Force? Death? What the fuck is going on in your brain, man? Andrew got mad and told me it's none of my business. It is. Told me to respect Angelina. Yeah. And they both left dinner. Okay. My youngest brother agreed and told me I was just being nasty because I didn't have someone to take care of me. Am I the asshole here? <laughs> That's it. No edits. Take care of me. These people are crazy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little bit like, did Chad GBT write this? Who the fuck there is like a, this? There is a, Opie has offered the following explanation. 
My brother's on a diet and I called my sister-in-law a hypocrite for ordering a highly caloric meal for him. I might be an asshole because he told me it's none of my business. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I missed it. What was the meal? Did They did, they did not mention a meal. Well, what the fuck? You got to explain it's the it's meal. highly caloric well, and it's that, ordered. So it's probably out from like Uber Eats or something. Yeah. But if he's okay, I, it, I guess it doesn't fucking matter. But yeah, this doctor who knows his health. Said you can eat whatever you want on the weekends, but just have a diet yeah. during the week and go exercise. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Death on a plate? When do you get... I fucking hate people like this, <laughs> man. I fucking hate it. You're pretending to be on your high horse what about you, you, fucking fat people or whatever. Also, we don't even know this guy's fat. He's just on a diet. Yeah, he's on a diet because he had a health scare. That's it. That's all we know. He's on a diet because he had a health scare. <sighs> he didn't eat specifically the Indian food only because he's worried about the spice of it. So he, they ordered out and brought the meal. But it's, apparently it's highly caloric. And so it's like, I don't know. Like, also, this is one of those situations where it's like, oh, he had a health scare. He almost went into a diabetic coma. Like, okay, yeah, then I would be worried about the doctor being like, you could eat ice cream all day on that's Saturday. Fair, yeah, right? I think that's fair. You need to fucking describe it in the goddamn post. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like, I, I know you just want people to be like, I, do, I know you just want people to be like you're right I want to suck your dick but that's <laughs> not how it works you have to actually describe the situation what's going on yeah you're not making yourself seem like a good person presentable yeah. at all <laughs> Jesus yeah I, I do fucking hate people that are like oh you're 300 pounds you can only eat lettuce and drink water that's it yeah. otherwise you are not so you trying have, you to lose weight the, the... or you're not healthy you can have liquid water or solid green water. <laughs> and those motherfuckers are eating McDonald's right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I can eat this. I'm skinny. And my mom. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, it's so fun. And it's also, that's not how fatness works. Like, yeah. you think if I just stop eating big burger, big fry, uh, big cake. Your body will react to it and actually try to store more energy yeah. because you're not bringing in more energy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or I'm a, I'm a very sedentary person and most of my... Part of me being fat is weight. Part mm. of it is I've never... I've been feeding myself since I was like 10. Yeah, so it's like... Uh, and it's been mostly pasta because that's the only thing I can make. Yeah, same. Gabagool. Yeah. Gabagool, yeah. Um, also grew up not we didn't have very much money we had so you, yeah money was coming in but i don't know where it was fucking going because it wasn't of groceries but <laughs> my mom thought that food was a way for us to bond together so we would go out to eat a lot mm. um and uh fucking lots of different things that are more emotional really than uh clinical you know yeah i get what you mean yeah like just stopping eating a burger probably wouldn't work for me because then i would break down in tears and go back and eat three burgers yeah <laughs> <laughs> actually it would exponentially be worse because you're yeah. just gonna eat more burger yeah. actually yeah that's the thing it's like and, and health is such a complicated thing and all it these is. fucking armchair critics lots of them yeah, just think just like, oh you just do this one thing and then you'll lose weight Okay, they did that one thing, then they lost weight, and then they gained it all back because they are they don't like it. They don't like. Well, that's dieting. the thing too. Like you know, remember, like like the shows, like The Biggest Loser, where yes. like everyone would yes. like that. It'd be like, oh my god, they're all skinny now. My six hundred pound life, dude. But like the thing about like Biggest Loser specifically is like they dedicated entire lives to working out, and then they had to go back to the real world. Uh, yeah, where you can't work. work out for twenty four hours a day. Yeah, they got fat again because yeah. the the system is designed to fuck yeah. you. Like I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not i love the uh rob mcelhaney um oh the men's health uh interview where he was like yeah. how do you get uh, how, rob how do you get fit because he specifically it's um mac from always sunny in philadelphia if you don't know rob mcelhaney he's very good yeah but he specifically got fat for the show so that they can make fat jokes on the show <laughs> yeah and then he specifically got fit fit I think just in his real life. Yeah, just think, to do it. Yeah. Maybe even also for the show so they could make the opposite jokes. jokes. Yeah. Um, and uh, also, I've never really been offended by any of their fat jokes on that show. Somehow, it's always sunny is like one been... of the only good shows that like does edgy humor in a good way. Yeah, it, it should be studied. It's a really fucking it's fantastic, a fantastic show. Fantastic show, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it and he did that, and so Men's Health Ed did an interview with him and asked or him. It was like the the tweet, like response. To I tweet, think it yeah. was or an Instagram post. I think yes, yeah, where he like was that. talking about like his progress, and he was like, 
dude, it's so easy. All you need to do is just <laughs> right. work out, hire a very expensive personal trainer. Alcohol, fun stuff. Get that away. Yeah. <laughs> throw, that, throw that out. <laughs> throw that out. Just don't do that. And uh, get up in the morning for your uh, uh, cardiovascular workout. Mm -hmm. Go to work. Have your chef make a very yeah. specific rice and things. Yeah. And then do your strength workout after you're done shooting your famous TV show that pays for all this. Yes, exactly. Do it for a do it for a TV show so the network pays for all yeah, of it. Literally, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it's, it's like yeah, it's a bunch of amazed, privilege. It's, you'd be amazed what you can do yeah. with hundreds of thousands of dollars and yeah. a studio backing you. Yeah. To do all these stupid jokes. Absolutely. Yeah. Like uh, I mean I. I think a large amount of like uh, my family bef even you know my grandmother was raising three kids going and getting her fucking phd yeah did she have a PhD? i don't remember she was getting she had higher education she was going getting her higher education with three kids as a single mom mm. they didn't learn good fucking food shit yeah my grandmother herself moved away from her family that were kind of privileged and moved to an area where she probably didn't fucking learn good he healthy food habits either and made shitty food for my parents who then made shitty food for me who then neglected me and then i made shitty food for myself yeah and uh that's a generational curse i have to break like if i had a kid right now and i had to feed that kid healthy fucking meals God, yeah. What would we do? <laughs> I yeah, have right. no idea. I don't know how parents fucking do it. Because it's it seems really hard. Yeah. Like, yeah, it seems like really hard to me. And I've just never, God. I've just never known. That's why, yeah. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. But also, I from what I understand about dieting and from the many, many times that my family has tried dieting and mm. I've been dieting, moderation is the key yes yeah it's not even like uh oh if you just eat vegetable all day you're good no that's not how it works at all yeah yeah there's a uh, dieting uh, food is complex it, it is, is it is the most complex thing and it's the most important thing yeah for everything yeah it is the most important thing period and uh fucking there's like macro and micronutrients there's fucking vitamins there's minerals there's fucking yeah, I have no you know idea. and you have to make sure and like but if you're if you're working out you're trying to build muscle you need more protein but if you want to be like more if you want more cardiovascular stuff you gotta have more carbs or some bullshit i'm whatever. also depressed as hell <laughs> yeah and it's like to some people are like food that helps with depression cheese chocolate <laughs> That, yeah, turkey, you know, uh, salmon, good tasting foods, great, yeah, things that people fucking like because it and even breeds then, the like, happy hormone. Yeah, and like even like, then, oh, okay. like it's all about again, it's all about privilege. It's yeah. all about what you have access to. If you mm -hmm. live in the middle of fucking nowhere, yeah, there's a uh, the folding ideas food video. Desert. Yeah, food, food deserts. Yeah, where it's like yeah. uh, the folding ideas had a great quote in its uh, Jamie Oliver video about mm -hmm. like the war on chicken nuggets. Great video. Oh, Watch it. Okay. Uh, it basically, uh, or Jamie Oliver's War on Chicken Nuggets is what it's about. And it's about Jamie Oliver being like, oh, this is all fucking chicken byproduct. And it's like, yeah, but that's all we have access to. Yeah, yeah, literally. And it's like, he said something about like, we're the most, like, it's, it's sometimes the only thing. It's uh, something along the lines of like, the most lettuce a person will get is on the Big Mac. You know what I mean? It was what Jamie Oliver said? No, what, uh, folding ideas said oh yeah yeah like if if you live in an area where there's no access to food jamie oliver is from the uk isn't he yeah he's from the uk and he was is he very northern popular. or southern i don't remember i'm gonna look it up look it up but yeah he's very specifically like you should have fresh chicken nuggets you just gotta spend 20 minutes cooking it <laughs> the fuck are you and chopping about? up chicken and using knife skills and, <laughs> and have knife skills and have uh, also food processing materials because you still gotta process the food and then you gotta know how to bread it, and you gotta know how to bake it properly, and fry it. Mm -mm. Well, not even fry it, because I guess frying's the bad part. I don't know. It's wild. Frying's the bad part. What about an air fryer, though? Wasn't that supposed to be healthier or whatever? I mean, it's just an oven. Mm. No one. That's what. That's what big air fryer doesn't want to let you know. <laughs> Early life in Essex. Where's Essex? I have no idea. Oh, oh he's from the south. Damn. Yeah, I think that's from the south. But so, because uh, I was gonna say, like, I've been talking to my friend from the UK, and I don't know anything, and I'm not gonna ever be an expert on UK things. But like, yeah, just talking about like turkey twisters <laughs> in kids, and I know it sounds funny, but like, it's just turkey meat 
byproduct yeah, that their kids eat. And that's and all they have just access to. It's in the shape to. of a corkscrew. Yeah. And that's what they have access to. But it's like a big deal because they're taking it away. Yeah. And uh, it's not just taking away a, a thing the kids like. It's taking away their only food that they really have access to afford. Well, a thing that they like. And yeah, it is affordable. Yeah. And it's like, it's just like a, you know, a UK Southern idea that mm. <laughs> it's just like, fuck that. The unhealthy foods, you shouldn't blah, blah, blah. But we're not going to lower the price of the healthy foods. Yeah, exactly. To make it available for kids. Yeah. I would just rather poor kids starve than eat unhealthy foods. Epic. And uh, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb as hell. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, that's wild, man. Yeah. But yeah, go watch Folding Ideas and solved it. Definitely do that. Also, fuck you, Jamie Oliver. Shit. Yeah, fuck Jamie Oliver. Damn, dog. Damn. What the hell? My least favorite British Everyone person. Everyone loves last chicken name nuggets. Oliver. Shit. Yeah, chicken nugs. Chicken nugs. <laughs> and that's our show. We did it. Yeah. We still recorded for the same amount of time we did yesterday. God fucking damn it. I'm sorry. So, five hour long podcast? We'll see. Well, oh. four hour max, I think. I think we have a total of four and a half hours of raw footage to get through. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the gosh darn bell. Sarah, what do you want to plug? Um, not Twitter, because I'm not on there anymore. Uh, find me on Blue Sky, I believe it's that's so here in dot blue sky dot com or whatever, whatever the fuck the it is. Whatever the thing is, yeah. Um, but it's the same, or just fucking Google my name and I'm on there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's so here in, yeah. <laughs> that's so here in on Instagram and TikTok as well. That's where I'm also on um, and talking about shit. And yeah. Uh, I'm Joshua Chinland on Blue Sky, a uh, guy named JC on Twitch and TikTok. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are the main things I do. I guess uh, Joshua Chinland also on Instagram, I believe. Oh, uh, I'm on Tumblr, too. Yeah, so there's on Tumblr. Yeah. Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. Uh, a podcast will save this on Instagram, ABWS here on TikTok, ABWS here Productions on YouTube. A podcast saves relationship on all podcasting platforms. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell, raise five stars on Apple and pod- Spotify podcasts. Mm. If you're listening, wherever it is, raise the best, the high stars that can be. The most, the, the most, most stars. stars. And check out our Patreon, buy me a coffee at those websites, forward slash ABWSTR. Check out Straight for Coffee. Yeah. And all the links for all the support for Palestine is down in the description. And also, go watch the OKOP show. And go watch OKOP. Thank you With to them Sam again. And John. Yeah, thank you again for coming on to our show, John. We, yeah, appreciate, we really it. appreciate it. And go check and us out when... Thank you to Sam and John for having us on their show as well. Exactly, yeah. We'll put that in the link below. Yeah, Once it comes out, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we'll figure it out. You guys enjoy the rest of the, your day. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, outro. Quick outro. Woo! Quick outro. <laughs> Quick outro. I gotta edit right now. Dude, what if you're out of focus the entire time again? I, I swear to fucking God. Wait, hold <laughs> on. Are you good? All right, we're looking. Oh, God. No, oh, fuck. Oh, boy. This is this is the Josh check. Oh, shit. It's the Josh check. Am I in focus? <laughs> well, I can't tell. <laughs> Don't tickle my ass. I tickled ass. his ass. Oh, my fucking God. That's sexual harassment. You f- Stop! <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. <laughs>